Hmm? Oh. oh no. Oh yeah. The stream's no longer on the big screen out there. No, it is. Oh, now it is, yes. Oh. We uh we lost internet here at the at the venue. Uh, sorry about that, folks. But we are ready to get into it here. Yep, Rob and Greninja versus Dark Samus and Steve. Winners finals. Oh, it looks like Onan and Lunges already took a game. <laughs> Alone in lunges, and then so you have two teams that are can. While Steve doesn't have a projectile, thank goodness. Um, uh, unless you count the mine card. Well, yeah. At the oh, very least, wait, it's right. a resource. Uh, we're gonna see a lot of Adorable Knight and uh, Blue Bear. Very, very good players. Yes. Uh, it's a very common team to see them go, but that's a nut right there. That kind of setup with the back air, exactly what he's looking for. Golden tools for Steve. Yep, and he's behind his wall, and there's uh, there's the bodyguard lunges, oh. like, and hey, don't get close to him until he has his stuff. Right, exactly. He went straight for the diamonds. This could be a big game changer. Although the unfortunate team hit with the dash attack. But... Okay. Right, Down tilt trains. Here. These are looking pretty good for uh, Uber and Adorable Knight so far, taking that first stock of lunges, getting the down throw on Steve. And Not what's quite a follow up, be, though. Yeah. It's a little back here for it. Steve just sitting Ooh, out, the, hang that out up there. Platform setup. Nasty stuff. There, oh. Up he had a shield catching both of them. Yep. Girl will not gotta be careful. Don't want to land in the minecart. That's true. Just stop straight <laughs> straight at him. This is a little bit of a quiet moment on the battlefield there. Oh, the there forward throw forward. almost getting that back air connection. This team, you can tell they're always thinking about what kind of follow-ups they Side beat. Like, there you go. There's the block. Tech off, of the, off of the block. Unfortunately, not going to save him for long. Because I, I believe Lund just hit him with his own back air. Yes. It, yeah, it's looking like there's actually a lot of uh, team damage being taken in this game so far. But, oh, the, the notorious down tilt coming out from Rob. Down tilt tech chases. Boo Bear's specialty. Oh, oh, going Steve going very What deep. was that? That was a heck very of a intimidating. That was going a, for the diamond tools. That was a heck of a I thought that was a push tool for a second. It could it that might be what he was going for. I wouldn't be shocked by it. Forward throw into the laser, but that's a deep Ooh, Wow, a talk about attack. Uh, off of that anvil. Unfortunately Lunges loses losing their second stock before uh, Adorable Knight has lost their oh never mind. Shouldn't be talking about it. That's the commentator's curse, hey. Yes. I've, Welcome I've to the game. Much about it. it. You see, it's real. Yes. Okay. Charging gyro. Big laser gonna do nothing. Gyro still oh, holding on. Caught in the minecart. His and child. Their follow up takes the stock. Things are looking a little bit more even here, but the percents are still very low on Boo Bear and Adorable Knight. They have a lot of work to do. Yeah. They want to take this game. Getting oh, rid of this steep forward step. air. There's the backer he wanted. Didn't quite get it, close. but a nair's gonna. Rob, a very powerful character with some of his aerials. Nair in particular, very safe, very effective. Ooh, and that's a stock gone for Onan. One stock each here, and Lunges looks like he's not long for this world in disadvantage. But he does manage to maneuver his way back with the bombs. Did we tech those? Ooh, a back air nearly taking <laughs> Adorable Knight's last stock. I'm sorry, Boo Bear. Yeah, and Boo Bear going up to the high heavens to uh, recover. Very hectic situation here. A lot of big laser landing. Around. Back throw. Okay, we're going to make it back. Just down like throw. It. Spot dodge. Doesn't want to get hit by the. Had to help their teammate. Uh, situation. Rob down throw. Okay, minecart coming in. More disadvantage. Oh, no. Lunges made it back to center stage. Alfred's going to land, and there's the uh, side view. Fortunate. Uh oh, this is not looking good. 126%. Yep, it's up to Onan. For Onan. This, this is pretty tough, especially considering. Okay, he's taking the stock. Yes, okay, okay. If he can manage to take out. Um, <laughs> I'm sorry, I keep forgetting their names. Yeah, Boo Bear. Who's who? Boo Bear. Boo Bear. Things will be uh, looking much better. There's a tense moment. You don't want a Dortmund to go down. That's true. But 162 for a relative lightweight like Steve, it's a tall order. Oh, the up smash is going to seal the deal. There's the down smash. Up smash on shield. 
punished by a Greninja down smash. Yes, the problem with that up smash is that although it lasts a really long time, it is very unsafe on shield. Yeah, if you whiff that. It's a big commitment, but still, uh, very pretty close game. Um, both teams putting in a lot of work. Uh, adorable not putting in the most is I think he got all six kills for his team. That's cool. Pretty impressive. And uh, remember, since this is winner's finals, we're going to a best three out of five. Ah, yes. Okay, okay. Team battle. So this might be a bit of a longer set. Let's yeah. see if we can, uh, can game five situation. Going to PS2, it looks like. As well as giving uh, Team battle. giving losers a, uh, some time to catch up. That's true. That's true. Okay, no character changes, obviously. They're, these, all these players are very comfortable uh, with doing what they do. Oh, Enderman, except. Enderman, very that's the true. That's Onan's true main. He may play Steve and Alex, but this man is Enderman. Enderman Already, all projectiles time. flying. That's a rapid jab, but don't want to get walked the dog on by Onan. Oh, yep, he had a shield, but gets caught by the tail end of that up smash. Maybe a case where pretty dangerous for lunges here. Yeah, this is oh, not the this mine is having the save. This is sort of how uh, the strategy that Onan and lunges is based on is if you split them up, uh, like if you can just sort of split them up and play their like essentially play their game where one protects the other. Right. Uh, yeah, they are 100% built to just be like one behind the other and then follow up. Definitely, definitely true. Yeah, kind of a reversal from Onan who manages to um, uh, a couple up tilts. It's sent to hit right on back. Oh no, didn't get the throw off. Good mash out from Onan. going a bit off stage, but coming back. Ooh, just missing a follow up on lunges. Ooh, going through the back air, but just to avoid it and make it on stage with the mind part. And there goes the anvil once again. That's a D. Oh, that's a good charge shot right there. The series of F tilts. He's not done yet, though. He's staying off stage. Onan's oh. still sitting on one stock. Still sitting on his first stock. That is true. That is true. Lunge is not so lucky, unfortunately. But, oh, oh, but there goes Lunge. Second stock. Okay, okay. So, same number of stocks here. At 4v4. The, the distribution, though, is a tad bit off. Yeah, a little bit skewed. Okay, yeah, you got that uh, lighting the uh, TNT well immediately air dodging to avoid the blast. And then Nair will do it to take Onan's first stock. He's doing some mining and building some iron tools, but is punished for this by Blue Bears. Oh, going for that big up high ferret. Still Probably kill that Onan's still mining. A lot of uh, setup involved. Oh, but the empowered mine car will do it. And now still three to three. Uber on his last stock. In fact, Nair, good parry up air. Oh, he wanted more. He, he wanted, wanted more knockback on that. Yeah. Interesting. Oh, big laser coming through. Followed up by a back air. Another right. F smash laser. Text it on the block. There's the side beat. Oh, but a retaliation by lunges. Still oh, mining. Lunges almost losing their last stock there. Now Lunge is living, uh, but Adorable Knight losing their second stock, making it a 2v3 situation. Oh, that's a big back air. Back air. That completely changed the tide of this match. And now it's just Onan. Now it's a 2v1. You hate to see these. It's Onan very adds. difficult to come back, but if anyone could do it, Onan Steve seems like the one who could. But here's the ping-ponging. Yes, the ping-ponging man. Manages to escape, but is caught by the down tilt. So what that what you'll see here is a lot of the ping pong is mac is mix up base where somebody will be keep dying away in right. you know, kind of thing and then as soon as you know they're doing that that's when you let them go patch and you hit them with a back air so you, they just basically di into their own death right right yeah okay so I'm trying to cause way into a victory but the up air very not, strong but not, do not yet, quite but that. enough to kill it laser snipe going in for the glide manages to make it back a hard read up smash. Ooh, just launched a yeah. little bit too far. Too, too high too percent. High. Okay, wow, this is actually pretty interesting. Onan seems to be making some progress here. Yeah. Uh, he's running very low on materials, though. He's actually out of iron, uh, left with only stone. So unable to do mine carts or anvils of any kind. And it looks like some of his tools have actually broken. So it's forward throw. interesting to see if he manages to get the oh, there it side, is. he'll do it. Okay, that's game two. Not the end of the set yet, though.
they got. There is still hope out there for Conan and Lunges. Up until that big back air from Boo Bear, it was looking pretty close there. In fact, mm -hmm. it looked like Onan and Lunges had the advantage, so clearly it's not uh, a done deal. Yeah, reverse 3 O's do happen. No character swaps, not at this point. Nope. Although back to Steve, it looks like. Ooh, tennis. Ooh, Steve. Yeah, they got the tennis man. Or oh, maybe not. Oh, oh. Rob. Okay. Switching to Rob and, and oh. This is no, nope, nope. Sticking okay. with Rob. Rob Ditto here. Got two Robs, a Greninja, and a Stark I mean, If you're gonna change things up and try something new to throw your opponent off, uh, this would be the time to do it. Yep. Let's see me. how these two Robs, uh, how this uh, Onan's Rob matches up. Here. We did already, see it earlier. Already Greninja taking. Uh, I'm sorry, uh, Blue Bear, adorable knight, taking command and control of the game, keeping lunges in the air. Gyro putting out the work here, holding down the neutral. There's grab oh, up smash. Ooh, forward throw up smash. Very, very confident. It, it, yeah, it looked, from the looks of things, Blue Bear and Adorable Knight, much, much more confident on uh, those team. Co yeah, comboing against a, uh, a Rob. Oh, yeah, I mean, Rob is much easier to combo than Steve. The heaviness. Uh, but there's another up smash. See if this counter pick will bite Onan. But not looking too bad so far. Okay. Oh, yeah, almost the dash attack forward air. Famous Greninja confirmed. Up, up air is going to do it there. Onan already losing his first stock. Yes. Going in deep. Gyro. And, oh, Gyro. Can they gimp Samus? Samus is pretty difficult to gimp with that down B. Um, lunges making good use of it to maneuver around. Yeah. And taking uh taking through their stock. The down throw up smash not gonna land there. Adorable Keeps knight going. keeping them off stage with those back airs. I like the aggression coming out from Blue Bear. Even if that up smash didn't land, he kept following him with the side beats, yeah. trying like, okay, as soon if you drift in even a little bit, this is gonna catch you and you're gonna die. Right? So I just wanted to push the advantage. Okay, uh Oh, that's just going to shield poke, and there goes Adorable Knight's first stock. And actually, Lunges is holding on to this stock. Uh, Samus is pretty heavy, I believe. That but, oh, that is a deep, deep back air coming oh, out from Blue Bear. unfortunate. Opponent losing a second stock. Still 4-4 four and four here. Um, uh, that was I'm an interesting thing. Onan attempting to save Lunges from uh, not being able to recover, but the percent was too high, and Lunges died anyways. Unfortunate stuff, but a good thought. Onan, put, Onan putting in the work against Adorable Knight there. Good offstage combo. Here's another back throw. Oh, followed by the F tilt to keep uh, Onan at bay. Onan going very high. Laser. This is down throw. Any follow up? Oh, not quite what they wanted. There is a lot going on this there time. We got the we got the Rob Ditto going on the bottom corner, switching over to Rob versus the Ninja. The back here not going to land there. Adorable Knight looking for the fair. Not going to do it. Gonna do very it. chaotic man. So much chaos, and that is an up high up air, not going to land. Kill. I'm actually kind of surprised at that height that wouldn't do it. Yeah, it killed, didn't, it landed, but it didn't kill. It is an up high up air, and it lands in Onan. Yes, Frame one taking that stop. like Blue Bear is uh, at least in some ways outclassing um, Onan's Rob. It makes sense it's a more warmed up. But that is a tough, you do not want to be in that situation in between Rob and his gyro. I like to call that the meat grinder. Yeah, absolutely. Because you just take down tilt, down tilt into up smash, and you're dead. Yeah, I think he understated uh, how well um, Adorable Knight is doing in keeping control of the match. Very, very good neutral. On the but this would still be very, very close because they're putting on the damage on uh, on Blue Bear. Yep. And Adorable Knight is very nearly losing their last hope. Oh, and there, there it goes. Is. No stocks to take. Yeah. So if they can manage to take this first stock and make it a 2v1, they have a very good shot at taking this game. Uh, it's just who dies next is going to decide everything here. Oh, ooh, very close. Oh, oh, and there it and is. the conversion. Yeah. That now it's quite the reversal. Uh, up to Adorable Knight caught in the meat grinder. Adorable Knight like at low percent, but that could change very quickly with a 2v1 situation. And again, as we've seen in previous matches, Onan and Lunges are no slouches when it comes to the team combos. Oh, there it Coming is. Yeah, the Gyro back in the back here does it. Absolutely insane. What a, uh, this could be the start of a pretty... Pretty crazy comeback. And we were all thinking, like, at the very start of that, it wasn't looking good for the no, red team, so. That's that's the thing with doubles, is that things can change in a, in a blink of an eye. Split second. It's all of a sudden, it's just different. Very good play from Onan and Lunges Built there. Different. Keeping themselves alive in winners. Now they're just thinking about what stage to come by next. Yep. 
Are they going to keep it on PS2? It seems like it's been working out pretty okay for both teams. Yeah. Yep, and they're keeping it there. Now, I'm assuming Onan will be sticking with the Rob, as it did end up working out pretty well for him. All right. Now, ooh, Ness. Okay, yeah, he Another thought about it. He thought about it at the beginning of the last yeah, game, but did. now he's sticking to it now, coming out with the Ness. So Very from one, one projectile character to now a uh, heavy combo heavy projectile character. That's true, yes. Ness is a very tricky character. A lot of interesting movement when he gets on that. But that tether grab starting out right away, leading into quite a bit of damage. But now also just, just as quickly, taking things back to neutral. Oh, okay. Lunge is avoiding that forward air follow up. Not going to get the drag down up air either, but. Okay, fire. First projectile battle here, but PSI Magnet's going to make it very hard for lunges to get much off against him. Yeah. The one wrong move gives Ness a lot of help. Oh, oh but that's a spike. Insane spike on Onan. Sent to the Shadow Realm. Crazy you. awareness right there. It can be very difficult to read what's happening on all this chaos. Another fair. Oh. And now Onan trying to get some up tilt shenanigans. Not going to do it there. Wow, this Ness seems like it's been a pretty good pick so far. There's a grab, you see forward throw, down smash, not going to do it. There's a little, little baby charge shot. And oh, he's yeah, yeah. absorbing the laser, keeping himself alive. Oh, just barely missing the back air. Okay, oh, Thunder, yeah. very nearly punishing the recovery. And oh, vaporizing the gyro with the forward air to prevent himself from being killed by it. Good stuff there. Yeah, good back air on lunges, lunges on the get up. 151, pretty high percent. Uh, Oh, but oh. Gyro's going to land. Oh, Gyro landed. Um, Blueberry losing his first stock. Yeah. But there goes lunges. Taking lunges from the stock. Okay. It's a pretty even game here, on it, all things considered. Although up I here. give the slight is... Uh, oh, I'm sorry. Yeah. Looks like we've got to let him in here. Yeah, our, uh, our, our stream tech accidentally locked himself out. Uh-oh, I don't like that. Got to be careful these wires. As it's still going into things here. Oh, that's a deep back air, and there goes Boo Bear's second stock. Oh, wow. Now it's I miss? all tied up here. Very in tied up, yeah. Only a 70% real difference in, in, in what's going on here. Okay. Yeah, there goes Only in a bad spot, but PK Thunder Chase, that can get real dangerous up at the ceiling. Oh, there's a fair on, on lunges. Oh, oh, he bounced himself into the ground. He's got, he got his own gyro. Throw him up air. Ooh, a needy F smash, very nearly taking on his final stock, and the yo-yo threatening at ledge. Very difficult thing to get around, but if you're Rob, you have that fantastic recovery where you can stall almost indefinitely. Out there at landing, who's dead off of this? Lunges. Lunges Ooh. is dead. Okay, but still very close here. This is a matter Blue of... Bear shield of getting through pretty low. Okay, so Onan hanging back, not wanting to lose his final stock and condemn... Uh, his teammate to a 2v1, trying to throw in with the projectile support, but it is a little bit difficult. Oh, gets a throw, back throw, gonna do it. Oh, yeah, you Ooh, gotta be careful in that situation. That was very dangerous. But that was a good thinking from Onan. Uh, or, sorry, good thinking from the Global Knight. Uh, yes, uh, rather than doing the throw. Okay, so it's a 2v2 stock situation. Very now a 1v2. Oh, this looks like it could be the end for Onan and Lunges and Rainers. Yeah, and, and that back air seals the deal. All right. On the third Three try, one. does it. 3-1, Boo Bear and Adorable Knight. And they move on to Grands, as now it looks like we're going to be heading over and seeing what stuff's going on on the, the loser's side. side. So who we got are Wilf we of and Vandio at? taking on Dark Nova and Crustifier. Ah, Dark Nova and Crustifier. We've already seen them on stream once. And Copal and Desi versus Swordfish and Berserk. So we're going to see uh, one okay. new team on stream next. Yes, indeed. Seeing like we're going to see, and as we get back to the two of us, hey, people, thank Hello. you for I think you've tuned in. Uh, I, I, am like seeing, I am seeing. I think he's sticking up here. A little tuft. Oh, well. Vandio. Yep, Vandio and Wilf versus Dark Nova and Crustifier. So we get okay. more hero okay. play. More hero play, yeah. I mean, I guess we'll have to see if they've stuck with the hero through the uh, through losers. I mean, they did a pretty good job the first time we saw them. That is true. That is true. And things are getting settled here. 
Uh, looks like the opponent players are sitting down. Things going by pretty smoothly today. Uh, unfortunately, like we said earlier, not the biggest of turnouts. So uh, certain brackets are going to move a lot faster than uh, anticipated. But because of that, we have a lot more time to you know make sure things are getting done well. Right. You know, right. There's no real rush. And I don't think we're quality we were in, over quantity. Yeah, I don't think we're in any risk of uh, going late today. Oh, no, I would doubt that. I would doubt it. As looks like either names are being made or they're picking a the stage. Oh, yeah, it's hard to say. Yeah. Oh, there we go. Yeah, here we go. Picking characters. Press the stick with the hero. With the hero. All right. Pretty bopping theme on the menu. We got the villager. We get okay here. This is a, gonna be a fun one. We got a villager and a Wii Fit trainer and a hero and a bayonetta. This is gonna be good. A very interesting zoner duo. Two two pretty uh, unconventional zoners with the soccer ball and the slingshot uh, and the pocket especially. That could be really dangerous when someone like Hero is in play. Yep. Um, there it is. And here already got new breathing online. And the up tilt coming out. There's an F smash already. Wow, yeah, pretty dominant showing from Wilf and Vandio so far. Yeah, Vandio, former Ferris State Smash Club president. The and the hatchet man getting interrupted by that slingshot. And the slingshot is a very incredibly good zoning tool for the villager. And, you know, spacing out with those areas is uh, effective. The bowling ball almost catching Dark Nova on the recovery. And it looks like, ooh. Oh, Unfortunate yeah. SD from Dark Nova, you hate to see it. Maybe we wanted to take Vandio with him, see what he was yeah, trying to do. It looked like they almost made it back, but the down air definitely made it back. Oh, snooze. Don't want to snooze your opponent, oh, but there it goes across the fire. Yes. Wilf taking advantage of the end lag from that move, hitting the up air. Um, interestingly, Villager's up air is also an element of RNG, where its power is determined by how many turnips it pulls between one and three. Bounce is going to be very effective against the Villager specifically because so much of the neutral revolves around the uh, forward and back air. Sizz? Sizzle? Sizz, yep, very very strong projectile and a crit there taking Wilf to crit. 200 before getting launched off stage. Oh, and followed up by a forward air kill as well. This hero is putting in work. I've always found hero quite difficult to play because of uh, the lackluster frame data, but that does not seem to be an obstacle for press the fire. Don't have a thwack there. Not gonna. Not a thwack. No. No. Yeah. Oh, and a thwack. Well, yeah, back both to of them. Back. Uh, we have not seen a thwack whack kill yet, but it, with the number he's thrown out, it seems like it's only a matter of time. Oh, getting spiked for his troubles. Vandio trying to put in the work here. Everyone's at two stocks, so we got some higher percents of Dark Nova and Crescent Fire. Yep. We'll have to see what happens. Green team's still holding a pretty solid lead here. And there comes the tree. Yeah, the tree, yeah, that's an interesting one. The zoom getting uh, Crescent Fire back to center stage safely, where they've taken up hold. Of Interesting, Dark Nova jumping uh -oh. over to the left. Wilf has pocketed Kaboom. Wilf oh. has pocketed Kaboom. Kaboom is already one of the probably the most powerful raw projectile in the game. It's, it's short of like Sephiroth's Giga Flare. Mm -hmm. And a pocketed, it gets a multiplier that makes it even stronger. I wouldn't be surprised if it could take a lighter character stock at zero. Oh, and there goes Vandio's stock, and there goes the Kaboom to take there out it Dark is. Nova. Take out Dark Nova. Yeah, Bayonetta did not stand a chance. Crustifier still, never mind. Okay, all right. And Wilf almost on his last stock here. Yes, uh, it's pretty close here, honestly. For how many chaotic big plays have been happening, uh, the keeping things pretty close. But taking uh, Wilf's stock as soon as possible is paramount. Dark Nova and Crustifier's on two survival. But oh, but the bowling ball. Wow, the insane bowling ball way deep there. Taking out Crustifier, and now it's a 2v1. Oh, timing was just a bit off on that one. Right 2v1, the rapid jab keeping him in, not quite getting the down air. Getting a sour, sour spot. spot. Oh, keeping him off with the soccer ball. That might be the gimp. Oh, no, just barely just a way. little off on the timing on that X smash. So many things flying off stage trying to hit Dark Nova, but still recovering. Oh, getting hit soccer by the soccer ball. ball. Forward throw. Yes, yeah, the thing is, is you want to keep the two characters from uniting against you. So, oh, 115 for Bayo though. And the, the tree at ledge. Oof. Oh, almost getting it tree. It has that big sprouting hitbox that is quite powerful. We got, okay. Still staying alive here at this yeah. ledge. Pulling off some pretty competent stuff, but Wilf still has a second stock, so it's going to be pretty tough. That, that, wow, that soccer ball very nearly did it, and a missed tech at the ledge will seal the deal for game one.
villager, and we fit. Two relatively unconventional characters that can be tough to fight in solos, singles, let alone doubles. Yeah. Very annoying, uh, some, some relatively annoying characters, depending on how you feel about the game. Yeah, although to be fair, we've got Hero on the other side of things, so, yeah. you know, sort of balances out. Yeah. And one of the most, at one point, most hated characters in Smash, Bayonetta, too. That's true, yes. Although Bayonetta, the, had the hate wind... has certainly mellowed out in yeah. Ultimate. I like to say she had her wings clipped a bit in this game. Yes, but although I think she's a pretty competently balanced character at this point. Can still pull off some, some saucy stuff, but um, not quite as easily as she used to be able to. Yeah, and the interesting thing is that we've seen, at least in terms of kills, we've seen Hero putting in the most of the legwork of those two. Probably because Bayonetta is a good. lot better at racking up damage than taking stocks. Exactly. And Hero's bag of tricks where he's got a, a lot of big, strong hitboxes uh, definitely makes it easier for him to take them. Well, while his neutral is a bit lackluster compared to Bayonetta's. Hey, an attempt at deep breathing from Vandio right at the start, unfortunately stuffed out. Getting lots of, of up tilt oh, and The bounce, very important. Two projectiles characters like this. Oh, and that was, I believe, it was a zap, followed by Kaboom, followed by <laughs> more uh, reach in the bag. What spells we got here? Yeah, I mean, we haven't seen much use of neutral B and side B from Crust of Fire, but those we are haven't really seen very side good moves. Yeah, we haven't seen really side B at all. Okay, Accelerator. Forward air. Chasing off stage with another forward air. That is Accelerator yep, for you. Yeah, that's how that move goes. Allow for insane combos. A tree set up in the corner by Will, but getting forward throw. Thrown by Get the heel. Which timing the projectile? Oh, but the wrong direction on that down smash, costing Dark Nova the first stock. But a better yep. time down smash. Yeah. Sizzle. Shielding Sizzle. Here's the psych up. Oh, psych up. We've seen what this can do. Oh, okay. Sun Salutation. Oh, that. Dangerous, dangerous bowling ball. Yeah, you just sort of drop that. It's like, what's going to happen? Uh, who's going to die this time? Yep, it makes recovering directly below the ledge impossible against Villager. The witch time. Okay, Get, lay on some good damage on Bandio's uh, second stock here. Oh, but an unfortunate missed attack. Crustifier losing their second stock pretty early. Yeah, are going to last one. It's, it's not looking, that's not looking too great. Wolf oh, is still on their third stock. Yeah, Wilf's still living here. Yeah, pretty impressive. Villagers. I guess villager is pretty small, though. It can be evasive. Oh, no. Cross the fire in a terrible a lot. position. He's got plenty. Oh, just yeah. barely holding out to avoid that bowling ball. Lucky he had plenty of MP. That's, that's true. Ooh, Sun Salutation almost taken. Just a boom. Okay, Will finally losing that first stock, and Vantio losing the second. Suddenly, it looks a little bit more even. There's a bounce, too. Oh, a bounce. You're wobbling. Try to keep your balance. Your balance. Gotta love we fit. Oh, he thought about Magic Burst for seconds. Uh, it seems like the muscle memory bringing out that soccer ball, despite the fact that Crescent had to bounce up. Tried, landed the thwack, but did nothing to it. Oh, offstage Hatchet Man costing Crestifier the final stock. Very unfortunate, uh, possibly a missed input. You do not like to see that. Now this is going to be a pretty difficult game uh, Game two for Dark Nova. The tree hit box. Getting treed. And, and the down sent to the Shadow Realm. Oh, and the pause. pause the the pause. pause. I wonder who paused is, is what I'm thinking. But, okay, another decisive win from Wilton Vandio. Um, yes, so that uh, offstage hatchet man really was not good for them. Okay, what stage will they be taken to next? Small Battlefield was a good thought. Uh, uh, that is it. That's best, of, that's best of three. Oh, it's losers. I'm sorry. Yeah. All right, well, that's the 2-0 for Wilf and Vandio. Uh, and going, looking at who's up next, it should be Swordfish and Berserk versus Copal and Desi. Yes, okay, okay. So I know Swordfish and Berserk are the uh, Palutena Ike team. Okay. Uh, both pretty competent characters. And then Copal and Desi, the Jigglypuff and ZSS combo that we saw in Winners. Mm -hmm. Who will make it to face Wilf and Vandio in Losers Semis? I'm trying to think here. I know, uh, and then after that, they have uh, Onan and Lunges. Waiting in the wings. In Losers Finals. Well, Boo Bear and Adorable Knight await them all at the top. 
Things running pretty smoothly today. That's true. Yes, this bracket is uh, going by pretty quick here. Catch the stage pick, but I guess we'll find out. We have the Pountain at the Ike. Yep. ZSS and Jigglypuff. Yes. Jigglypuff uh, might, I mean, again, two light characters here might struggle to stay alive against. Uh, Palutena and Ike both having very competent kill power and disjoints. Especially as, yes, I guess crazy disjoints. Palutena's got some of those invincible shield moves. Oh, the Nair catching both of them. I think at this point we should call that a happy birthday. <laughs> so we divided into pairs here. Split up, going strong here. What is Popo's going to do? Can avoid that. Berserk taking a hefty bit of damage so far. Being the heavy that he is against CSS, I kind of have to expect it. Coco is trying to do anything to land on Swordfish. Swordfish. Oh, oh, the forward air train very nearly and it does oh, it. Yeah. Unable to make it back. That's a decisive first stock. But it's a full Ike up B. That's true. Ike up B is a very powerful move. Great out of shield option with some good kill power. I never got yeah. buffed in one of the previous matches. Uh, still putting the damage on. Uh, oh, but he gets hit by Desi's up B. Oh, what an unfortunate happening. That evens things up pretty nicely for uh, for Swordfish and Berserk after that uh, offstage uh, kill on the Swordfish. Okay. Forward throw, what's gonna be? Keep going. Flip kick, almost. Uh, There's the back air too, not gonna take that stock just yet. Nair to forward air. Oh, but the, the team combo, surprising. Uh, B, yeah. And the, and the rest? rest? Punished, insane. But is he dead? Ooh, almost a no, shield Copa break. No, lives! Here. She, almost a shield break on Kobo, which is very deadly for Jigglypuff because it is instantaneous death. Exactly, yes. Uh, you gotta be care careful. Yeah, Ooh, and that almost, Uppie is almost gonna kill. At if, it was a, if it was center stage, that would have been it. Kobo getting the fourth throw, still going, but Ooh, gets all just. That Uppie is a difficult thing to challenge. Not quite as deadly as Krom's at the ledge, but. Oh, and a Gimp. This game is moving incredibly quickly. Yeah, Berserk dying Sword again. Swordfish and Berserk down to one stock each. That's not looking so great. It's the name of the game when, with Kobo fighting is uh, Kobo versus Ike. Uh, sorry, Kobo versus Berserk in particular. Is, is Kobo can get Berserk off stage and just land like a Nair or something, keep him going away. Right, exactly. He can't recover. And Palutena has a bit of trouble with two frames as well, being a teleport without a hitbox, uh, which I think is something Kobo is also trying to take advantage of. Okay. Yeah, just, oh, oh, another I team kill, but they've got a little bit of a cushion in place, and the percent's getting pretty high, especially for Swordfish. Oh, and that S-Mash is very, yeah, the very -mash. missing. But the but dash the attack, counter... oh, dash attack from Berserk is going to take it. That is unfortunate. And now it's a 2v1 with uh, Desi having two stocks. Oh, yeah, Nair, it, they added Super that Armor in one of the previous passes. Yes, Actions. that, that up the, uh did not fully connect. Oh, and there it is. That uh, call out anti air up B will take it. That does it for game number one. Cool. Very decisive cool. victory there. A lot of interesting. Uh, uh, I think that was three team kills total. And the interesting thing is that two of them were for, from the winning team. Yeah. Uh, so uh, it's a bit of a, uh, a bit of whiplash from the some of the the teamwork we've been seeing earlier on winners side. But, uh, let's see if they can. Uh, so they keep things going. Swordfish and Berserk on their last uh, game here, yeah, fighting for their tournament lives. Trying to see if they can make it and keep move on. <laughs> make it to that uh, enticing loser semis. Hey, Battlefield, I don't think we've seen this stage yet. Well, we have, I think one of the earlier uh, games. Oh, gotcha, before I was on commentary. Yeah. I'm gonna say. A lot of upbeats coming out from Berserk. Um, it is very punishable, but the super armor and the power and the coverage uh, do make it very competent too. Kobo gonna miss a grab. Swordfish also gonna miss a double near. Swordfish getting hit by the pound, and then the back air, and then another back air from Desi. Going, going for the edge for guard. Ooh. Ooh, that was very nearly another team kill with that dash attack. Okay, up at the ledge, not fully connecting, and uh, Kobo is taking the time to punish it. 
Oh yeah, interrupting that up two at the top of it with the back here. Oh, but an up smash and forward air combination there. Here. Let's grab back throw. Berserk coming in with some aerials. Nair, unfortunately, not quite as good of a kill confirm machine as it was at the beginning of the game's lifetime. Yeah, uh, a, a very notable nerf, as nerfs have been pretty rare in ultimate matches. Another fair. Berserk loving oh, this. Wow, that double offstage combo. Nair sending him the wrong way that Gopa wanted. Oh, an up air strike. That's Potentially, two. that could be very deadly. Holocaine's up air is large and powerful. Oh, and Desi losing a the stock there, too. Oh, okay. And Berserk, so everybody's sitting at two Berserk's stocks right now. Very even game. Uh, the percents are almost identical, actually. Look at this. Perfect timing. That's just the way this game works out. Oh, that up air could have been lethal, even at such a low percent. Yeah, and at the other side, Copal almost getting spiked by Berserk. Things happening no matter where you look. Doing a good job to uh, make it back safely. Nair into up air. The Ike almost special. another follow up. Forward air. Yeah, Copel getting grabbed. Copel for going for a big up. rest. Not going to do it and gets F smash for his yes. troubles. Yep. That is something we saw in the previous sets as well. Those raw rests, they don't always work out. But Swordfish still on their last stock. Yes. So it's, again, very even, like almost down to the percent. Oh, but it looks like Desi's taking some punishment off stage, getting caught by that upbeat. Explosive flame. Gonna, gonna catch Copal, doesn't get the follow-up from Berserk, though. That was almost a pretty bad for Berserk. Yeah, and Copal almost getting sent to the shadow room with the upbeat down. That upbeat can definitely spike at the ledge. It doesn't quite uh, vacuum like uh, Proms does. Proms is very, very good at that. Another back air. Is this going to be it for Berserk? No, he's going to make it back easy, but that Ooh, is going to be it for Swordfish. Swordfish. Takes the stock. A pretty interesting move, given that Berserk is at 1.2. But Being heavy, but, though. Yeah, Ike is quite the heavy character. Perhaps he could oh, but never mind. You can't. Yeah, not, not a Jigglypuff us. Now it's 2v1. Dare loops. Holly's, Holly's, oh, oh. Swordfish not doing anything for a moment there. Yeah, sort of, uh, oh. Is it, is this potentially a, a forfeit of some? No, no, okay. nope, they're still playing. Okay, okay, good. Got the back air coming Yeah, just out. thinking. Sometimes, sometimes the best thing to do is not push a button. That's true, that's true. Maybe even discussing strategy with the teammate. Okay, okay. Ooh. Gets the flip, flip kick. Thankfully not the grounding, though. That would have definitely sealed it. Very risky challenging that up smash at ledge. Oh, and rest. rest. Wow. <laughs> and Desi parried the rest. <laughs> Very flashy victory for Kobo and Desi, and unfortunately, Swordfish and Berserk are now out of the tournament. I believe. Yes, uh, I, there was a game one, it just never got updated. Yeah. But that was a, a, the 2-0 from Kobo and Desi, I believe. Uh, are they getting up? Yeah, they are. Okay. All right, Kobo and Desi are finding their way to loser semis. Um, where they're going to have Wilf and company waiting for them. Wilf and yes. Vendio. Wilf and Vendio. So, a lot of very decisive victories here. Uh, very few 2-1 uh, sets we're having, actually. Oh, and it looks like we're jumping right back in. Yeah. No time. No time to that's waste. That's fair. This is the only set that's going on in this tournament at this point. We're down to, what, the final four teams? I believe so. Very impressive. For everyone involved to get this far. Oh no, he's not. A <laughs> very nearly came and watch pick. Zandy open time guessing. Yeah, Zandy has Zandy had a cousin. The cacophony of Minecraft happening. They're just they're just wanting to hear the names. They're having fun. They see that they're on the screen. Absolutely. They look. Just, they can all just look straight up. <laughs> well, he's uh, tracing through every character on the roster. It looks like going down row by row uh, on the brawl cast currently. But it's the it's on Smash Four. Oh, there's the villager. The villager. And I think we're waiting on Vandio because he might be in the bathroom or something. Ah, gotcha, gotcha. Yeah, I mean. It's important. Nature calls. Oh, 
Oh, there's the uh, here's a look at the bracket currently. Uh, Wilf Vandio versus Copel and Desi. Winner goes on to face Onan in lunges. Yep, and then the winner of that goes on to face Boo Bear in Adorable Night uh, in Grands as the losers. From here on out, it is all best three of fives. That's true. So we're going to be seeing some longer sets here, more chances uh, to make some crazy comebacks. <laughs> hey, guys. You know what's kind of funny? Oh. Uh, I just got an email saying that Crimson Clash 3 is eligible to join the Smash World Tour. Interesting. I am Unfortunately, not... we have to apply. Ah, I see. And, and the tournament is currently happening, so yeah. it's a bit late. Now, I don't actually know what Smash World Tour is. So Smash World Tour is basically just uh, think of it like the big grand circuit where okay. if a tournament is on Smash GG and it meets certain criteria, it can apply to be a part of the Smash World Tour, oh. which uh, has tournaments from all over the world right. of players you know, gaining points and stuff, similar to uh, the Shellshocked offline invitational that we did here in the States, gotcha. sorry, that we did here in Michigan not too long back. Mm -hmm. uh, and it's pretty funny that as once the tournament starts and we have some people that uh, show up and register a bit late, then we get the email that, hey, this qualifies. So I this mean, goes to show you people, if you people out there had pre-registered, look at me, I'm looking at you. <laughs> if you people out there had pre-registered for this event, this could be Smash World Tour eligible. We could be in the Smash World Tour right now. And guess what? It's all your fault. It's all your fault. So I'm looking at you. I'm just as guilty I can as hear, the audience Listen, here. I'm, I'm looking straight into your soul, the east side. I'm looking straight into your soul, the Detroiters, people from MSU, people from Detroit. Hey, I get you. Come on. What are you doing? Looking pretty scary. I, up I, there I said from the start, if anybody from Solstice ever shows up here, I'd eat my hat. And guess what? It's still on my head. Ooh. That's Hat's still in my head. Mm? So, uh, called funny out. story. Called out. Mm? In order for me to get into the singles bracket, I actually had to pull some nepotism and talk to Jeremy <laughs> right before it started. Oh, yeah. So, yeah I'm, I'm just as guilty here. So uh, it's your fault, too. It is definitely my fault as well. He's pr also probably part of the reason, but hey. Yes, absolutely. And like I said, y'all also missed out on an extra 50 bucks because if 50 people were to pre-register for this event before... Oh. Also, we're getting into this oh, thing. Oh, wow. If okay. 50 people pre-registered for this event before before today, I would have thrown in another $50 in this prize pool. But guess what? No, not enough did. Well, okay. 32. Well, this game went well underway. Um, we're seeing yeah. a lot of projectiles. Will's already at very high percent. Quite gonna do it going oh, deep. Oh. There's the fair. Yep, that that Jigglypuff edge guarding. Okay. Ooh, the F smash, not quite at the ledge. Uh, okay. Oh wow, what just happened there? Some kind of a sweet spot back air situation from Will taking uh, Copel's first stop. Copel still going deep here. Copel, yes. Copel has been a real uh, standout here. He's been putting in a lot of work. Vandio almost got in almost getting PS2 and caught below the stage. Out of the classic pineapple, it will happen. But luckily, uh, Z uh, luckily V Fit has a uh, pretty good recovery. Yeah, pretty good recovery. That's, uh, oh, a missed deep breathing. We haven't seen much deep breathing from Vandio. And that may be why, because it just sort of sets him up there. Oh, yeah. Oh, ooh. But he oh, tanks those. Back, it back. Good, good. Oh, off stage again. And uh, deep breathing we fit actually has a faster fall speed than non deep breathing we fit, which makes recovery situations a little bit more difficult. Um, everyone down to two stocks at this point. Pretty even game. The soccer ball coming up to save Copel. Or, sorry, save Will from Copel. Oh, a, a, a hard read down smash, not working out. Gets hit into his own teammate's F smash. Offstage oh, Ganry on both sides here. A couple fares. Is that a Nair? Wolf going to be able to make it back? Yep, he still has balloons Ooh, active. Very close. Oh, There's the bowling ball. Smash, That's the a strike. That will do it. Nice throw. So, yep, we got Wolf and Vandio holding the advantage so far, and now it's four stocks to two. This is a Copal pretty Desi big said, yeah. deficit. And we got Copal. But. Okay. Back okay. air being strong Can't enough to go through yet. both balloons and to hit Wilf into an untackable. Yep. And Van, if they can take Vandio's stock, then they have a definite shot at this game one. But Ooh, you, the team paralyzer. Yeah, you don't want to be paralyzing your teammate, especially now because they're 73% on Copal. Soccer yeah. ball. 82% is kill percent for a Jigglypuff, so things are looking a little dicey. Oh, but Copal gets spiked! The team spike, but Jigglypuff makes it back not quite. Caught by at the ledge, Vandy, um, 
Desi is now by themselves after an unfortunate mix-up with the flip kick. That's not the first time we've seen that with yeah. this team. Uh, actually, the last the set that they lost in winners uh, ended with a an accidental burying. The spite! Oh my gosh! The volley and the, send them home. The three turnips. Uh, maximum damage and knockback on that up air. There. Bounce the man off the stage, and then he's like, "Here's your turn, sir." Look at the stock taking on Wilf there. All six stocks. But look at the damage given by Vandio there. Yeah. 415 percent. The combo starter and Wilf being the combo ender. Yep. yep absolutely. Max launch speed. Copa looking at some stats. Yep. Desi you got to take in the data. Stats. You got to take in the data. It's a best of five, so they've got some time to get the download if they can manage it. Oh, I, sorry, I didn't quite catch the stage once again, but we'll see where they end up. I didn't either, but I am going to, I'm sorry I'm going to do this, but I'm going to hop off real quick. Oh, I'm going to make a good. quick announcement. I'll be right back. All right. I will uh, hold down the fort. All right, folks, it's just me. Uh, we're going into game two, Culpo and Desi versus Wilton Bandio on, uh, looks like Smash. Uh, I haven't seen this stage on stream yet. But right off the bat, we got Culpo going for a decisive edge guarding against Wilf. Wow. Very deep. Uh, doesn't quite manage to take the stock off of it, though. But racking up a good amount of percent on Wolf Vandio. This is looking like a very different game from last time. Already we got 50% on each. Ooh, but a very close turnip down air. Almost took the stock. Yeah, okay, Copel and Desi seem to really be pulling it out. But okay, Copel going deep. He's going to get the fair two to take Vandio's first stock. Wolf with those decisive kills. Oh, the tree planted, but not watered. That could come up later. <laughs> it's a very... Uh, Kobo putting out so much offstage damage, and Vandio somehow getting vacuumed off the side. Oh, yeah, Kobo's offstage shenanigans have been top-notch. Although, Vandio almost took it. Ooh, that forward air. And the soccer oh, ball, the soccer too. ball, just not letting up on the pressure. Gotta be Meanwhile, careful. Meanwhile, we've got uh, Desi and Will boxing it out on the left side of the stage. There's the soccer ball. One, not gonna get it, but oh, almost spiking almost his teammate. Team kill. Good. So, so much risk of that these days. But the fireworks went fly in as Wilf taking out Desi's first stock. Uh, Wilf looking pretty. Wilf and Copel both looking in pretty poor shape percent wise. Oh, oh he's almost taking out Wilf's balloons. Okay, but Wilf still manages to get the back. And now Copel still sitting at three stocks at 133% on Jiggly Puff. Very That's impressive scary. for a Jiggly Puff. Exactly. Yeah. Oh, but, oh he's going to pound direct. directly into the projectile up smash. Oh, well, that's a pound on the shield. That's a skittle great. That's a skittle sized shield. We got Vandio uh, being bullied off stage by Destiny. And Destiny finds themselves on the other side. I do like how Copel at one point uh, just jumps completely over Wilf to go very, very deep against the errant back air. Copel is Wilf just is just getting bullied, and he gets team killed because Vandio's soccer ball hits him. Oh, it me. Okay, looking at the stock count here, things are still pretty even. It's impressive with all of these crazy things happening that uh, these two teams are managing to keep things close. And yeah, oh, there's the up smash. Not going to get into it. Gets double jab. Doesn't get a jab locked. Oh wow! Yeah, uh, Desi taking control there. Managing to hit both of them with a forward air. Nair, Nair, there's the gyro. Gyro? 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 Sandwich? What are we talking about? Gyro? I'm hungry. Uh, fair enough. I... Back air. The big pink boot. Yeah, a little bit yep. of a lead for, uh, for Copel and Desi. Yep. Wilf, uh, Wilf on his last stock. Yeah, at 112. Yeah, no stocks scared. to be taken, so no second chances here. Do or die. Ooh, another down B spike on a uh, from Desi. And Get Sun Salutation. Me. Okay, everyone's down to their last lockdown. The full Sun Kiss Orb. And oh, there goes Wilf. I didn't even notice Wilf got star KO'd. So now it's a 2v1 for uh, for Vandio. Let's see if Vandio's zoning game can really come into its own and bring Wow, that, back. that is that a soccer ball or a pinball? Oh my gosh. <laughs> the deep breathing, very dangerous. Oh. Just grounded. Ooh, it looks like it's stuck on the platform a bit, unable to get that full yeah. punish. These these platforms in Ultimate, uh, oh, they oh. got some sticky ledges. Oh. Looks like they were going for some kind of a... The Gimp. Oh, oh but there goes Desi. It's up to Vandio. Okay, nearly identical percents here. Who's going to take it? Copel has been shown to be very competent offstage, so we'll see who manages to. Interesting down Back air, not going to do it. There's Nair. Back air does it. Down air. 
There's the fair. He's off stage. What's he gonna do? Down he's just pressure by just floating. Ooh, back air oh. lands. It's anyone's game here, though. He gets a deep breathing, though, so this yeah, is gonna be breathing. extra careful. Very powerful. Uh, Jiggy Puff is at percent enough that a few hits will do it. Interesting up B trying to catch the. Is going to be forward throw? throw? Not nah. quite going to do it. No. Nope. Deep breathing is about to wear off. This is very close. The real nail biter. Gets forward thrown Another again. Forward throw, but no deep breathing means it's not going to kill. But deep, deep breathing's breathing back again. online again. Sun Ooh. citation, not going to do it. Oh, but the up the tilt. back hit of the F tilt. Oh, is that F? That, that is F tilt. Yes, we're that. Fit is full of those strange hitboxes. And this one was also a best two or three. What? So is it's it? only the finals. Only the finals are three out of five. Gotcha. Okay, so that is it then. And now heading into incredibly close game. And now it's just West Michigan. Now it's literally just West Michigan. So that was, I think, that was the closest game I've seen in the tournament, honestly. Uh, coming down to the very wire. We lied to you, folks. I apologize. Is that was the best. Five? That was the best two or three. That was the oh, best two or three. Best I know on the I know on the screen it currently says best of five, but that was best two or three. Yep. So, uh, Copel and Desi taking a bow. Unfortunately, the screen's going to stick like this because apparently our, uh, our uh, stream tech had to run somewhere. Uh-oh. Uh, I know. So Highest pay call. no attention to the overlay for now. Yeah. It's not going to be showing the correct names of the, the players nor the correct scores. Nope. But we're heading on into Losers Finals here. We've got um, Wilf and Van Dio versus Onan and Lunges. Lunges, yes. Onan and Lunges. We got Poopy Pants, the return of Poopy Pants. The Dark Samus is expected from Lunges, and the Enderman from Poopy Pants. I mean, own it. I'm sorry. Hoo wee. Hoo wee. Yeah, wow, I'm still, uh. That, that last game still has me going. Yeah, man. I think uh, I definitely think after doubles, there's going to be a bit of a break. Uh, pools may not start with a commentator. Um, yes, because I mean we are both competing in yeah. the singles bracket. So uh, wish we're us luck see, if you want. We're going to try and get it so that people that are in pool B, two people that are in pool B, commentate pool A, and you know, so on. All right, getting into Get it. Started. Let's see, we've seen a lot of uh, play from both of these teams so far. Both have shown that they are very competent at what they do. So we'll see who does it better. Going it straight in for the grab uh, from Onan. Okay. So and I know I have a good feeling that both these teams were practicing against each other earlier today. Ah, okay. Okay, so matchup experience here. That's always interesting to see. The, 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 the players that know each other and know how they play, it always makes for the most dynamic and interesting matches. Setting up a wall here for Vendio to get past. Um, okay. Deep breathing from Vendio. We got the soccer ball coming in, unfortunately, hitting his teammate. And, and Nair, Villager Nair beats Sun Salutation in a weird way I didn't expect. But uh, Villager Nair is a very interesting A little, just a little baby charge shot, but he's going to get screw attacked for his troubles. Oh, Onan setting up the fort here. Yeah, he's building the fort. Tools, but eating an F smash, and with Steve's weight, that was almost enough to do it. Still more mining, got the diamonds on deck for next stop. Sun Salutation gonna kill you. It's not one of the more powerful charge shots, so you don't even really see that. Onan oh, trying to put some pressure on Vandio offstage. Gonna limit his options. Oh, interesting TNT, TNT does it. And Wilf wow. is dead. Absolutely carrying people away on that minecart. Just the, uh, the, the the stage control that Steve can assert with the minecart and the blocks is charge fantastic. Sh charge shot landing there. Quick 34% on Wilf with those famous uh, up tilt strings from Steve. That's deep. Going off stage. Ooh, but it almost backfired. A lot of off stage to have. Yeah, a lot, of, a lot of ledge trumping going on as the back throw is not going to take out Onan. It's pretty surprising. Back throw is quite strong. The villagers grab is a little bit slower than average, so they usually get a bit of reward for it. But uh, not quite enough to do it there. Nair out of shield does not connect with lunges. Another sun salutation. That's not been the bane of lunges existence so far, it seems. But uh, something hits Onan. And lunges get spiked. Big ol' okay, spike. We got Vandio clinging to that first stock for dear life. Doing pretty well here. Okay, okay. And of course, we've got uh, Onan now with the, uh, the diamond equipment. Very powerful. Oh, 
call up there is the Diamond F Smash taken. Very powerful. Vandio, though, still sitting at three yes, stocks. quite impressive. Um, that, that defensive play is really paying off, but an untackable uh, anvil is going to take that. But he gets a free deep breathing for it. That's true. Yep. Taking advantage of that uh, starting invincibility is very important. That F-Tilt almost does it for... Uh, I'm sorry, I looked at the names up top now. I'm yeah. Onan. <laughs> yep, Onan. But don't worry. We will keep track of the score for you, Yes. Folks. We'll, we'll remind uh, every once in a while. We apologize that uh, we can't update the scoreboard at this time. That's all right. Bro. Okay, there's a grab. Going, get a nice down throw. F. Wow. There the uh, uh, Onan just ate a, a sweet spotted forward air to the face. Lost the second stock. And there Lunch goes Lunch. out of here. Wow. Well, it is a it is one. three stocks to one. That is. Plus, Bandy breathing. Yeah, Bandio is also at the point where if Wilf loses, this is like the golden percent. Absolutely correct. So basically, it's going to be a 2v1 for a while. There's the jabs. Ooh, interesting. Oh, goes for the big spike. Wow. Yeah, that was, that was some pretty good maneuvering from Onan on the up here. But the neutral get up into the up smash. That. That makes waiting, sense. the patience, lands on stage, gets up neutral. And Vandio covering the roll options with the Sun Salutation. Very, very solid team exactly. play there. Genius, um, genius. So now it is 1-0, Wilf Vandio. Um, so we'll see if, because uh, now we're, in, we're solidly into the best of fives here. Uh, a lot can happen. Yeah. Now, I wonder if we're going to see the return of the Rob in this. That, that'd be it interesting. it did work out for them last set. Although, I do think that with Pocket being in play from Villager. That's true. Pocket, yes. I mean, it's pretty hard to Pocket Steve stuff. Because you probably could Pocket Minecart, but it doesn't quite have the same punch. Yeah, no. Uh, but Pocketing Gyro. Would... Yes, Pocketing Gyro is absolutely devastating. Go! Go! Deep breathing from Vanio already out. Okay. So, Lunge's got a little bit bullied last game. But, I was trying um, to uh, reassert himself. Absolutely looking for that redemption. Ooh, a double hit down air there. Going for the tether grabs, not quite dead. It's an air, and then back air, and wow. Lunges is already what dead. Conversion. Lunges is already gone. Oh, good. They are just finding ways to abuse this character in ways I didn't think possible. So, the, uh, for reference, the current score... 1-0. Uh, 1-0, one zero. One zero, and the other deal. team is... Uh, the other team is Onan and Lunches. Lunches. Yep, Onan and Lunches. And this one is actually a best of five. Yes. Best of finals. Losers finals, best of five. So hopefully we're going to get that score updated here soon. Back oh, here as well. Lunges, okay. Two, uh, five stocks to five right now. Looking fairly even. But five stocks to four. That F smash has been taking stocks so consistently yep. this set. It is insane. I, I know for a fact Wolf probably has the high score on eSports bowling because of that. I that think is. I thought you were going to say that Wilf probably has the most kills of any individual. Oh, no, th this, this, man, this man knows how to do the uh, like the 100 pin challenge. He knows how to have it, the pins explode. Exactly this man knows exactly about. everything. <laughs> the anvil on the platform, uh, not going to amount to much. High yeah. school bowling champion, Wilf. Yeah, he gets 300s on the reg. So the thing about Wii Fit Deep Breathing is that if you try it too soon after your initial one, it will be a very slow ring closing, so yeah. it's not really viable at that point, but we've got a lot of crazy stuff happening in the corner while Van Dio sits off to the side throwing sun salutations. Yeah, Will, uh, Wilf was just caught between a rock and a hard place, unable to get around Steve, managed to get out of that Thunderdome corner pretty easily. Yes. Okay, very high percent across the board here, uh, four stocks to five. Um, Somebody's going to explode here pretty soon. Yes, absolutely. Uh, it looks like it might be lunges given the 171 percent. There, there it is. is. There it is. Oh, and Poopy, sorry, Onan is not looking very far behind. I keep seeing the tag throwing me for a loop here. Um, all right. Now this is oh, ooh, but you gotta shield. You gotta shield the whole thing. Absolutely crazy. Now he has diamond and gold on the next stock. Yep. Which means empowered mine carts and diamond tools uh, starting right now. Gets that next stock getting free because of that invincibility. Gets the diamond free. But Wilf old, not mashing out of no the mash. Grab. Mr. No Mash. Very Wilf over there. How, I've never seen that. Honestly, I don't think it's that difficult to mash out of that. Um, potentially a little bit of a fumble there from Wilf. It could be pretty impactful in this game. Oh, the F smash catching Wilf, and Wilf is out of here. But Dead, taking, taking the stock. Yep. 
low enough percent, it's worth that. it. But now, a Wilf getting just, that's 60%. 60. That is the power of the diamond tools right there. And the up smash. Wilf Almost dead. Wilf. Almost dead. Wilf oh my. going from 0 to 100 in a matter of seconds. Utterly incredible. And, and he's dead. With he's dead. Smash, Wilf got absolutely annihilated those last three stops. Just did not get a chance to breathe whatsoever. There is the Bandio TNT. And went from confident to on the back foot in a big way. This looks like it's almost a done deal. Uh, for game two, that is, of course. Yes. Uh, Wilf and Vandio have that lead, so they're not in as bad of a situation. But uh oh, and there's a diamond heart, and. directly into the back air. Sent him. Absolutely clean. Sent him. Sent the man. Wow. Sent for the man. An exciting game, too. What a reversal for Onan and Lunges. Uh, Wilf, I don't know what was happening there. First, there was the, uh, the minecart kill, and then two very quick stocks to follow that. Uh, that was a lot to take in. There was a lot going on at that time. Going back to PS2 for game three. I wonder if we'll see any character changes. Probably not. The Steve worked out so fantastically game two. Yep, we got all four of these characters. Uh, interestingly, a lot of, uh, almost entirely, I would say, composed of characters that are a little bit more on the defensive side, but we've been seeing a lot of explosive uh, kills regardless of that. Mm -hmm. Go right here. Right Van, I like like it. Vandio immediately runs backwards to give himself enough space to get that deep breathing online. And Onan doing something very similar, running back to the mining, as we've seen while Lunges fights to protect him. So it basically ends up becoming a Wilf versus. Uh, oh, but there's an there's an SD oh, no. falling way too far low. Wow, that and is now that's rough. That's second an, SD from this team. This set. And now Onan already has diamond, diamond online. Fifty six percent from a single string. That is insane. And it's not over yet. Vandio is still fighting to get back on the stage. Now getting harassed by Lunges instead. Ooh, almost getting almost spiked too. That down air, yeah. And getting spiked no matter what. Sent to the Shadow Realm. Wow. Goodbye, Vandio. Vandio already on their last stock, and it is less than a minute into the game. Absolutely crazy stuff. This but is what ha this is this is just what oh, wow. I mean it's not as uneven as it might look though. Uh, Onan just ate an F smash from Wilt, losing his first stock, and Lunges doesn't look that far behind at 137%. Okay, missed up, he had a shield there. Vandio uh, has got to put in... Uh, I, think for, I think for a while you might just see Vandio just sit back and just throw a bunch of stuff. Try and extend... You don't want to lose that last stock. Yeah, you're just trying to extend the stock as much as you can. Unfortunately, that's going to put Wilt yeah, out... Yeah, Wilt in a bad situation. You don't want to put Wilt out to pasture already. But there you go, there's Lunge's one stock gone, and... Wilf's second, first stock gone as well. I'll be honest, I thought that was... Uh, I thought that was Owen going. <laughs> you thought what? I thought that was Owen going. Oh, yeah, no, Owen's still in it. Owen's actually got diamonds on deck for next stock, so... Pretty, it's very interesting offstage play from Owen, throwing out that cart under the stage, and trying to catch Wilf. Uh, unsuccessful. Owen is almost out of iron. What's he gonna use it for? Not much. Okay. Forwarder into the up air into the forward air. There's a lot of stuff going on here. Okay. And there goes Onan just yep, sliding just on in. Cruising on by. Yep, and oh, so even when Onan loses the second stock, he has the diamonds, so he will still be a huge oh it might lose the diamonds. Yeah, and there goes and that's Wilf's on his last stock too, so pretty well, this is uh, pretty insane. It was a very decisive game one victory for Wolf and Bandio, but now, come game three, uh, these are not looking nearly as good for them. Just goes to show what a couple extra games in this. Owen is just mean. building his own, like, he's building a third platform. Yeah. Oh, he's, oh, come on! Oh, a little bit vulgar there, Onan. You're going to get us taken down. We, can, <laughs> we can't control and that, folks. it stands folks. there as a monument. Yeah, it's, it's only now fading away. <laughs> Perhaps Onan uh, believes victory is assured and is not taking things quite as seriously. Yeah. Some odd, some odd air stalling off stage, but there goes Will. Pretty insane back air there, and now just mining for materials. And there goes Owen. So now you know it's it's, a, it's doable. doable. It's doable Two on paper. Oh, he's just play. building him in a corner. Oh, yes, very dangerous stuff. Using that building to facilitate lunges. Uh, lunges up. Oh, the hard read on the F smash, but Lunges isn't doing anything. He's just like, I'm just gonna let this go. That's a bit of a show of cockiness on the on the part of Onan and Lunges. It seemed like they weren't really taking things super seriously there at the end. And who can really blame them? Yeah, exactly. But
come game four. Uh, it's 2-1. We'll see what happens. Um, are we going to see a game five, or does uh, Wilf and Vandio's journey end here? It's going to be tough to see. I know because uh, we keep going back to it, that, that brutal, like, commanding game one. But it just seems like after the SDs have come into play, it's yes. been uh, it's yes. been rough Very trying rough. to call your way back. Because game game two, uh, Wilf lost three stocks in a matter of a minute, and uh, game three, Vandio was not quite so different. So we'll see if they can uh, pull it together. Yeah. Because we've seen this team put on some dominant showings. There's uh, already the sun salutation, and uh, hey, yeah, Wolf, Wolf getting to the back lines here. <laughs> Wolf managed to get to the back lines, but there's a nice double parry yeah. update. Parry up. Up there, up there. Oh, getting saved by Van. Up tilt, but you're just letting... You've got Onan getting the materials there. Yeah, you're just dangerous. letting him mine away. It's that's something you can't do as that the sets go on. That really has been the crux of Onan and Lunge's game plan, is that if they can get Onan some diamonds, uh, he becomes a real threat real quick. Even if it means that Lunges has to fend for himself. Oh, there's the there's diamond. the first diamond. Okay. Might save it for second stock, but we will have to see. Oh, there goes Lunges for stock. And the snipe almost taking Onan's first stock. And Onan and Wolf in a DBZ moment. Okay, Both yeah. of them going down. Andio only taken 21% this entire game. Parry this is two. A far cry from last game. And they but got the deep breathing sun salutation. There goes Onan and Wolf giving them. Wolf getting 66 already. Yes, wow. Okay. Uh, this is anyone's game here. There's been a lot of interesting things on both sides of it. Air dash not meaty enough or not long enough to survive. Man, a lot of upbeats coming up from one. Just a lot of connections here. Okay, more mining from Onan. And there goes Wilf. Okay. Wilf on his last stock. Bandio still having three. Yes, even stocks here. A pretty even game, I would say. But um, you got to keep an eye on it. Yeah, Bandio's uh, got that deep reading on Jack. But interesting. There's the F tilt. The F tilt, that'll do it. Okay. Onan on his last stock. Wilf on the last lunches, stock. Onan's uh, um, uh, on the back foot here. Doing their best. Okay, okay Wilf way off stage. Is it gonna you know, use the projectile to come? Odin is doing a very good job here of just building a wall to make sure that any and all of Vandio's projectiles just cannot get through. Great they want to just time, they just start focusing down Wilf in this situation. And they know that if they take out Wilf, that Vandio's gonna lose a stock. Wow, he's gonna give him two one. Wow. Like okay. here you go, frame one. Wilf was in that minecart for a very long time, yet again, managed to match out, but caught a back air, I believe, from lunch. So was it might have been. I believe it was oh, Onan. Yeah, it was Onan. Okay. Either way, how do you take that stock from Vandio, who's still impressively on their first stop? The back throw, and up there. Lunge is still wow. on it's his last insane stock now. how even this game really seems. Um, yeah, Vandio still has not gotten killed even once. It's no, he's. No, he had. Yeah, you're right. He hasn't Wilf, been killed. Wilf took the stock. It's pretty crazy. This is so very different from losing those stocks so early in game three. Uh, totally up tilt, up smash. Here. Dang. Absolutely insane. Uh, Vandio definitely putting in the work. And then there goes Lunges. Okay, it looks like this is a game. Uh, this is uh, Wilf and Vandio's game to take. And there you go. Taking a second stock, but I would say it is worth it if uh, Vandio hangs back and provides that projectile support. But now you're seeing Onan is trying to focus Vandio. And, like, if, yes, if you can take out Vandio, then this is much more work. That diamond. That diamond forward air is... Oh, and the backer doesn't land! The missed, the missed conversion resulting in a 1v1. Still, a Wilf has a decisive lead in terms of percent and a line cart in the pocket. But, I mean, we'll see what happens. This game's going to slow down yes, way I mean, they're both down. Play very carefully here. They do not want to lose this last stock. They want to force a game five more than anything. But, uh-oh, walking the dog. I was at six, now it's 64%. That back air almost did it. I almost... Uh oh, Ooh. uh oh. With that minecart. Oh my oh, but goodness. Ne messed up the conversion. Again, another nail bite. That's 77%. 77. Gotta be careful here. Backer's gonna land. No sweet spot. Just need one clean There's the diamond. Milk. Back yeah, air that, does it. That is that uh, confirmed that we've seen so many times from Onan. He just knows when you're gonna pop out and where, and he hits you with that incredibly powerful back air every single time. And that is it, I believe. Yeah, that's gonna yeah, do it. A pretty the first one uh, v two comeback we've seen, I believe. Yeah, Onan, Onan pulling it out. Took it's, us until losers finals yeah, to get there, and now 
that's a very decisive victory, and they get to go to Grands for it. Yeah, and Grands, we get the run back. A, a yes. Adorable Knight and Boo Bear versus Lunges and Onans. Yes. Interesting. Uh, if I remember correctly, when they first fought in Winners, um, Boo Bear and Adorable Knight took it pretty pretty decisively. Yeah, they but... made Onan. Onan had to uh, swap to Rob. Yes, they did take a game off of that swap, um, so I don't know if they're going to do it again or not. I'm assuming to start out, they'll stick with Steve, though. Yep. Because that Steve put in a ton of work. Okay. Paper Ninja. The finale of it all. Oh, and the rally. Here we go. Yeah, they're good to go. Well, I am sure that the outcome will be an exciting one. And here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Grand finals of doubles starts now. Absolutely. Let's uh, get it underway. You have Pooh Bear and Oni. Sorry, Pooh Bear and Adorable Knight. Only need to take three games. Yep. But then there's uh, then there's Oni and Lunges. Got to take six, but they're in the loser side. Yep, yep, yep. An uphill battle to be sure, but we've seen them make those uphill battles before. They crawled their way through losers uh, and made that two, <laughs> 1v2 comeback. In order to get here, they've certainly earned their spot in the strands. Let's see if they can uh, really make it a reality to win. Oh, back throw. Fair is going to do it. Oh, going for a big spike. Not going to land it there. Instead, he's just mm, climbing up, up high. Smash on the on the block. Very interesting. They're they're forcing Boo Bear to like go keep just climbing higher and higher because Boo Bear was a real menace last time. They want to neutralize him. Just the wall that splits the two teams. Oh, yeah, no, oh, has got diamonds on deck. There's, and there's gyro, gyro to play with. The and they're taking out that whole wall and reading the jump with the laser. But Len just comes to the rescue with some charge shots. Oh, and Onan taking the, the first stop. Oh, AK. Interesting stuff. This, I'm very excited to see how this set turns out. Oh, almost gyro going over top of Lunges, almost getting uh, Onan. Ooh, Ooh we might. Oh, down smash, gets it, no gyro play, but there's the dash attack that... Questionable wow. DI, but that's going to take okay, the stock. Okay, Boo Bear and on the back foot. Fully shielding that side beat, but getting caught by the F smash. Good team play there, a lot of shield pressure. The diamond's coming out from Onan, though. Uh, this is deadly, we've seen what he can do with yeah. those. One up tilt, and it's off to the races. Exactly. There's a parry. One, one up tilt, and you've got yourself eating 60%. Um, oh. Okay, grab match, matches yep. out. Yep, but he was at 0%, grab at 0%, easy to match out of him. But there's uh, the up air up high, and Lunges loses his first stock. Hey, uh, yeah, they're evening things up here. Um, I, Boo Bear and Adorable Knight surprised by Onan and Lunges' ferocity, but they're adjusting to it now. Up tilt, up air, there's the fair. Ooh, the back air for repositioning. Up tilt to forward air. Oh, and he's trying to take an up air into an up air string, not going to land right there. Oh. Ooh, the TMT yeah, knocking, put, uh, knocking Golden Knight off the ledge and the dash, dash attack. Just dash attack. Just dash attack. It's so crazy how much kill power Steve has uh, with these diamonds. And he just collected the second diamond and made a new set of tools. Oh, oh putting the hurt on uh, on Adorable Knight. Blue Bear managing to find his way back to stage. Oh, eating that F smash. This is a crazy game one. Yeah. I oh, honestly man. did not expect it to be this uh, this much in the favor of one of the lunges I was expecting. And there goes Adorable Knight. And that basically seals it. There, I think there's very little way that Blue Bear can take four stocks. I don't it want to count him out yet, though. Yeah, it He's wouldn't need to be a miracle. But in this case, like, there's the grab. Oh, Ooh, almost, almost guessed got it. it. The up E, okay. Can Blue Bear manage to pull this out? It would be, uh, it would be very impressive. There's the dash attack. Almost yeah, dash attack almost four percent. Uh, can he make it? Nope. There's the fair. The bomb into forward air. Some great ledge pressure from lunges. All right, that's game one. A very decisive victory. Only yeah. losing two stocks. Oh, and lunges one step closer to forcing a reset. Yeah, wow. Is the reset best of three? Uh, the reset would be best of five once again. So there's okay, potential gotcha. here for ten games. Yeah, wow. Ooh. We uh, we might have our work cut out for us. Yeah. Uh, and after and after this set, we're gonna take a bit of a break. Of course, of course. Reload. See who else wants to hop on commentary. Yeah, no character changes here. <clears throat> Let's see what happens. 
So Onan and Lunges have all the momentum right now. They just they're fresh off of a, a crazy victory in losers finals, and then they just had a very solid game one. Um, so it's gonna be tough to put a stop to them. Go back to PS2. Uh, Blue Bear and Adorable Knight do have that cushion of the reset, but uh, I would say a good 7 out of 10 times when it comes to the reset, the person on loser's side takes it. Mm -hmm. It's all about that momentum. Onan and Lunges, uh, sorry, uh, Blue Bear and Adorable Knight though, did, are coming in a bit cold here. They didn't, uh, uh, Lunges and Onan haven't stopped playing. Like, obviously coming into this thing, so. Exactly, that's another thing, is that although the losers have to win more, they have much more more hands than they've been playing. Uh, although, it can be assumed that Blue Bear and Adorable might have been playing some friendlies yeah. off screen here. Might even be playing, uh, might even be playing against each other, just to see some of those to keep sure. Diamonds on deck for Onan. 101% uh, for both um, Blue Bear and Lunges. Blue Bear losing the first stock. Uh, Adorable Knight doesn't look that far behind, but almost a crazy back there. A huge damage on... on That's uh, a Blue lot Bear. of damage. 56, becoming 75. There's so only 50. Oh, back here. This Steve is a monster. And I find it funny because uh, Onan's Twitter handle is we need to ban Steve. <laughs> well, he seems to be abusing that I, nature. Exactly. He's, I think he's out here trying to make a case like, hey, this ban game, this character. This game is moving at the speed of sound. We've got uh, Blue Bear on last stop here, and it's about a minute and a half in. Yeah. Just going, going hard in the paint. I mean, no one has been unscathed so far. There's just stocks flying left and right. Up to combos. combos. There goes the uh, minecart. Back air into the fair. Into the, oh, almost a long back air. <laughs> It's a big place. Those, uh, those exa the exhaust on that Rob is uh, getting some work. Wow, the interesting. Zerf but there go. Here. Yeah, and there's a big spike from Boober on that. That is a, a big common complaint from Samus Mains that I have talked to is that the Zare can fail at ledge sometimes, even when it reasonably should, and it led to a stop there. That could be a decisive thing. I've been saying decisive a lot. <laughs> oh, you'll you'll catch that. Got to like, pull up a thesaurus. There's there's quite a few phrases I catch myself saying from time to time. <laughs> yeah. Like I gotta stop saying that so much. And there goes. Wow. Okay. Oh, so still definitely in uh, in Lunge's favor here, despite the fact that um, there was there have been some big plays from the other side. And already 51 percent. Uh, no doubt the work of uh, Onan's crazy damage output with those diamond tools. Nair, oh, almost going for an up air situation, but that's a high up air from Uber. Uh, okay, okay. uh, uh, Fourth throw into the, oh, give him the blender Absolutely special. Insane. Goodbye. And he's not going to be taking a stock, I would bet, because Onan is at such a high percent. Uh, now, Onan does have diamonds for next stock, and we've seen him in these kinds of situations. It is not out of the question that he and, takes this. Yeah, and so far he's putting in the work. Oh, in the a back air thrown. That's a back air to uh, back air. To back air. So but now, he's got the diamonds. Yeah, he's at 0%. It's 72 to 93 yes. as well. It's going to take a couple hits to, to end one of these stocks, and then he has the advantage. So he's just building himself a wall. Goodness me. Build the, it uh, thicker. The defensive play here. And there goes, there goes Blue Bear. And there goes Adorable Knight. Unbelievable. Uno card the out of nowhere. Does it twice. Two out of the three games we've seen on screen here have ended with Onan making a comeback from a 1v2 situation. It is unbelievable. That is a, that is really the toughest situation to go it against so a Steve. Then if, like, you're both very close to Don. Like, he knows... Yeah. He has diamond unlock. He yep. just needs to poke both of you just a couple of yep. times. Yep. You're dead. Yep. 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 So, lunges the, and Onan take The omnipresence of Onan's diamonds uh, in this tournament has been the bane of so many teams' existence. Lunges and Onan up two games to nothing. Uh, indeed, indeed. Mr. St Mr. Stream Tech, if you could also do do us all a favor and next to Onan and Lunges name in uh, brackets, put a big capital L. That way people ah, yes. know that they're in the loser's side. Yeah. So bracket is, uh, I mean, reset is, could be as uh, soon as a game away. Mm -hmm. um, although Punches is getting put through the ringer yeah, as Onan gets their tools ready. Could be one of the biggest things, but wow, Onan is that walking the dog. String. That was insane. That's, that's jab, buddy. That's yeah. walking jab. Yeah, walking jab. Taking them. Or whatever. The same, walking the dog. The same. It's a Mega Man situation where they're all the same move. Nair, and tilt, and jab. And Lunge is already losing his first stock. Goodness, goodness. 
Yeah, because that is the side effect of their strategy. Uh, early game, Lunges can really take some heavy hits. Uh, and you can't really blame him being put in that 1v2 situation, but usually it ends up being worth it because Oni can pull out those crazy tools and start taking stocks like they're candy from a baby. Stealing stocks, like bags of chips. Indeed. He's got iron tools right now, but if he has the diamonds, he also has the gold, so his minecart will be a lot faster. A little, little phantom footstool. Bear. Oh, that's a lot of shield pressure. But Boo Bear is still alive. Oh, busting out the diamond tools a little early. Uh, Bear, uh, not maybe gonna... a little too early, because if he loses his stock here, that'll be a bit of a waste. Uh, the block actually saving Adorable Knight's life there. Uh, down tilt, down tilt. Yeah, okay. Reads the roll in, but no follow up. Gets reversal on. So Onan lost their first stock. Might have been a bit of a misplay as they ended up losing those diamond tools very early. And those are absolutely crucial. Wow, I am surprised he didn't live that. Yeah, wow. He, he, he was like living just on the side of the blast zone for us. Living. We've got adorable night here at 153. Still, yeah, still sitting on three stocks. Uh, and Lunges is coming up on the twilight years of his second stock at 83%. But Samus being like, I believe, 10th heaviest in the game, hold on for a bit longer than you think. Uh, famously being heavier than Ridley, her giant uh, space dragon adversary. Which is just so funny. It's quite funny. It's only a one space difference. Um, but still, uh, definitely something uh, that comes up a lot, much to the chagrin of Ridley Mains. However many of them there are. <laughs> exactly. Oh, almost got him in the meat grinder. Didn't quite get the conversion he wanted. Lunges picking up the advantage. Uh, getting that tough beat. Oh, oh, that TNT could have been deadly. But, Down uh, smash gets the Adorable Knight is on it. Oh, that TNT. Almost taking Lunges sent to stop. Oh, but, but there's, there's the Anvil. Stock taking themselves. See, Anvil and Bowling Ball are like one and the same. They're just these big metal things that drop from the sky and take stocks. They just, yeah, but the difference is one of them is smash attack, and the other one you can just sort of drop that's and leave. That's true, that's true. Although he does need to keep track of his iron count to make sure he can still drop those. There's oh, two up airs for Lunges. Lunges at 161. We're getting back throw. Oh, there's a meaty. Crazy bag. Okay. Caught a little bit there. Three stocks to one. Wow. Are we going to see an uncontested 3-0 reset? It's possible. But uh, Onan is looking a little fragile, so I guess we'll have to see. But he still has, yeah. Early. He has diamond, though, for he the next stock, diamond. too. Yes. Looking low on materials overall, though. He's not going to be able to build for much longer if he doesn't do some mining. But they're keeping the pressure on him. <clears throat> not going to get the spike either. Down tilt. Ooh. There goes Onan. Onan on his Great last stock. Conversion. Every player now on their last stock here. Got diamonds. Uber and Overnight. Trying to force a game four. Don't want to get the have it reset already. Yeah, but I mean, like, Boo Bear is just a couple diamond tool hits from death here, even at 100%. Because Rob is also quite heavy. Falling a little bit deep there. Okay. Oh, the minecart putting on some shield damage. Uh oh, mm. spike his teammate. Spike his teammate. That could, that might mean a lot overall. Like a small thing like that could decide a whole game. Up there in. Oh. Boo Bear's alive. Boo Bear's alive. Boo Bear's alive, folks. Boo Bear is alive. Ooh. Following the, that air dodge, but not capitalizing on it. Okay, the laser sending lunges reeling. It's it, it basically just He's comes down to. Onan, Onan using his other diamond, and there goes the minecart, and Boo Bear is out. It's up to, to Adorable Knight, but there's the ping pong coming out. There's the fair, doesn't do it yet. Bomb dropped. Oh, using the gyro. Yep, the last the the gyro. gyro. <laughs> the last remnant of, uh, of Boo Bear in this game. Knocking the TNT back towards him, but don't want to fall <laughs> into an up smash like that. Okay. Kinder Ninja joined the comeback club and make it back from this uh, 1v2. It's very possible. There's here. back throw. He's got it. Oh, he went for a. Ooh, he bet risky it all. Counter, the risky. That could have been the game right there if he had hit it, because that might have killed Onan being a light character like he is. But that is a reset. We've got ourselves. We're going into the final set here yeah. of the tournament. The true final. Yes. Grand Grands. Grandest of Grands. So there's only going to be, uh, at maximum, five more games uh, with us on commentary for this doubles tournament. But uh, you've been a wonderful crowd. Yeah, y'all been great. Okay, what's the stage going to be for game one of this reset? Uh, I'm thinking PS2. Probably. It seems 
you know, most people don't feel like go, going bands when they can just uh, gentlemen's PS2. And I'm in that camp. I usually do that. <clears throat> okay. Interesting. I'm just uh, running their course here. They're thinking. They're big yeah, thinking. Uh, maybe they are going for bands. It's possible. They could be playing some rock, paper, scissors over there. <clears throat> Goodness me. Oh, they are deliberating. Oh, okay, Town, town and City. city for game one. All right. <clears throat> Regular Samus instead just, of Dark Samus. Yeah, Switch normal Samus. I'm sorry, I'm going to cough real quick. <coughs> All right. Heading into game one of this reset. So, again, when we're talking about momentum, Onan and Lunges have it in spades right now. They are fresh off of some very decisive wins. Uh, there I go saying decisive again. But you know what I yeah, mean. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're commanding wins. Absolutely commanding is the word for it. Um... They, uh, Boo Bear and Adorable Knight, despite their dominant showings early on the tournament, now have to really claw their way back into the win. Because now, no more safety nets here. Every lost game is one step closer to a, the final loss. Okay, so, the gyro's coming out. Big old gyro. The neutral, as, uh, as my friends call it. Yep, go my child, hold down the neutral. Absolutely. Uh, definitely. One of the best projectiles in the game. Okay, that down throw. Very dangerous, but in doubles, uh, it's a lot easier to interrupt in those follow-ups. Walking the dog. Walking the dog. Oh, setting up shop at the ledge. Almost hitting with that dash attack. So lunges as we've... And there goes Boo Bear. Oh, wow. Boo Bear is cool. I didn't even notice this. Uh, Adorable Knight already lost their first stock as well. Yeah, I didn't even notice that one either. That, oh my and there goes okay, lunges, there goes so lunges. it's... It's just uh, Onan with Onan at only 62% at this point in the game. Pretty impressive. Um, wow, okay. So right off the bat, Onan and Lunges do have the lead. Not a crazy one, but a lead nonetheless. And that can explain it really quickly it's when, when you're hitting the dying Jeez, death matches. dude. Goodness me. Come on. What in the world is that? Onan has just been a force of nature in this tournament. Time after time, we've seen him obliterate stocks. Making a pretty good case that maybe Steve should be banned, <laughs> as his Twitter tag suggests. Oh, more up air strings coming out of Greninja. <clears throat> oh, and he went on line with that. Here's on the forward throw, putting Onan off stage, but getting clipped by the back air, but quite finishing it off. Fair. Up air, forward air, keeping him off fair. stage. Carrying the gyro to get that frame advantage and jump the laser. Good stuff. Charging Ooh. up a big old water shuriken. I believe that was um, Onan himself that knocked Lunges into that shuriken. Uh, that could be a pretty damaging projection. Catching the up air out of the down throw. But he DI's it perfectly. That is Samus's way right there. Unlike Lunges DI'ing that up air perfectly. We've got too. Onan losing the first stock, but Diamond's on deck. Uh, he hasn't built the Diamond tools yet, which is a little confusing to me. But maybe he's just forgotten. There we go. Hey, wow, Boo Bear has last stock. Four stocks to two, and we've seen this so many times. Oh, actually, messing up the TNT setup and getting hit by it himself. But I, if I were Onan and Lunges, I would not have too much to fear here, I wouldn't think. Oh, water shirt. Putting in work. Another up air. This is definitely still doable for, uh, for a Boo Bear and a Dwarble Knight. It is. Oh, he fares the. Not anymore. He fares the up smash and then it sucks him into yep. it. Yep, that up smash. Brutal. And, and the, the mine cart. Wow. Okay, yeah, another, another strong victory. It's just game after game. They are. This is their day job. Yeah, they are on the doorstep of a 6 0. Yes. Oh, my goodness. Because what was that? Game two of the reset? That was, that was game one of the reset. That was game one of the reset. Okay, so that's four straight. Yeah. Blue Bear and Adorable Knight, they got to pull something out. They're thinking. They're thinking. Small battlefield. We go to PS2. It really makes you question the. Uh, the, if the winner's side really does have the advantage here, because, you know, 
the loser side has that momentum and they have the warm hands. You know, they are on the top of their game. And uh, the winner side kind of has to take some time to warm up into it. And it seems like uh, Boo Bear and Adorable have been having trouble getting started. Yeah, and here we go, sticking with it. Game two of the reset. Three, two, one, on to PS2. Go. We return to the land of PS2. Oh, that's there. <laughs> that tether grab almost will me. But just coming out with the up tilts. Walking up tilt just puts so much shield pressure. It's, oh, yeah. it's insane. Yep, yep, yep. If you let down your shield, you're going to give a lot of damage. Okay, the iron tool is coming out. While, um... <clears throat> that's a lot of damage putting on... Own it. I think that's got to be the strategy for that going forward is uh, lunges is just going to be there, but if you can just, the more you can put pressure on Own it, oh, the, yes. the better you're going to be. Lunges is more consistent, but Onin is more explosive. Uh, if you let Onin get get done what he needs to get done, then it's almost already game over. Oh, what was what, what? Minecart putting in work. Uh, yeah, that minecart's been putting in a lot of work. Because that's Will. We can ask him yeah, later. Putting up the, yeah, putting up the wall and mining some more. Down smash. But oh. saving uh, his partner from that down throw kill confirm. But getting up not there for his troubles in either way. Not from, not from the job there. Oh, diamonds have been found. Okay, so honestly, uh, it looks like Uber and Adorable Knight are kind of getting, getting, getting somewhere. Yeah. We're getting somewhere. That's another start shot. Oh, Onan. Now he might lose his stock here. Nope, not quite. Oh, Up but smash. he will, that scoop. Scoop? Okay, six stocks to four here, but obviously pretty fragile. All right, all right. Ooh, that, that grab would have been a hit, I think. A little spinner spike. Spike. Spike getting punished for that arm rotor. Out of row. Into the up air. Okay. I'm trying, to, I'm trying to extend it with another fair. Yeah, they're bullying Onan now. I think that's really the key. Uh, Onan cannot be left to his own devices. He's far too dangerous. The drag down up air and get a down smash from uh, Adorable Knight's got those on lock. Yes, finally showing their stuff. The set is far from over, is what they're saying right now. Oh, using the grab invincibility to avoid that minecart. Good stuff by Adorable Knight. Minecart, wow. excuse me, that pardon was me. Insane. Excuse me, sir. Not only did it scoop up Boo Bear, it almost killed lunges. You want to tell you that one to me again? And there goes Boo Bear now. Or okay. stock on the back foot again, but it's only going to take a few plays to bring it back around. There's a grab. Oh, okay. oh lunges grab an own. Yeah, that's not good. Oh, okay. Good okay. job for uh, Adorable Knight yes. to uh, save his buddy. Yes, he still took a mean 50%, but what are you going to do? <laughs> okay, so we got uh, three stocks to three here. Um, it's anyone's game, but I think we can all agree that uh, it's definitely the, more important for Boo Bear and Adorable Knight yeah. to take this one. The, mo one the momentum chance. is in uh, Onan and Lunge's corner. Absolutely. If they win this, I think it's pretty unlikely that they'll be able to pull off a reverse 3 -0. Yeah, if, if they win this, you might see a character swap. Yes, it's possible. It, uh, this is like night and day compared to the set that we saw in winners between these two. Why? Well, I said it better. Okay, we got... There's Gyro. Oh, only the lunges on only two stocks here. I like that. Missed up, he had a shield, but that mine cart pulled down the floor. Up, he had a shield. Yeah, putting in work. Go gyro deflecting that mine cart. Good stuff. Tense, tense situation. The door back forward there was insane. Oh, more diamonds. Okay, charge shot missing. There's. My cart again, Ooh, down smash, not gonna nice. take it. Oh, not gonna take lunches out yet. Whoever. And there goes oh, Boo Bear, but does he take the sleep? He does. does. I think that honestly is the recommended move here because if they can just take out one of these two, they basically got it. And they really need this game. Laser hitting the block. And, and that, there goes There it is, that's owning. Okay. Now it's just a 145% lunges standing between them and their first victory in this grand finals. 
Ninja going in for the kill. Just up air, falling out of it. Inconsistencies with the multi-hit there. And inconsistencies falling out of Blue Bear's up there too. That is so, that's not fun, but they, 170, it's... There, there it is. Okay. First game for Boo Bear and Adorable Knight this set. Fine. Now it's, it's really heating up. Um, because with that momentum Onan and Lunges had finally put to a bit of a halt, it's honestly, it's anyone's guess as to who's going to win this next game. Mm -hmm. And I think whoever wins this next game, it might decide the entire tournament. It might. It's starting to feel like momentum's shifting mm -hmm. back the other way. Yes. They, they fought long and hard through four losses to uh, finally get this one win, and that might be all they needed. Okay, okay. And we go to game three. Whew. Oh boy. A lot going on. There is. Come back to PS2. Some fittingly intense music. Playing. Yeah. I believe this is Chairman Rose from Pokemon Sword and Shield. Nice. And right now, Odin still has yet to be touched. That's... Oh, even though he's boxing it out with uh, a Durable Knight, he still has yet to take a hit. Yeah, 68 on wow. Durable Knight. Iron tools. Ugh. Oh my god, he's putting the hurt on everybody. <laughs> Cannot that is 56 be on Boo Bear. Okay, yeah. It looks like Onan and Lunges are not going to go quietly. And there goes Adorable Knight's first stock. Yeah. We got the TNT. Shooting the laser. He's running out of gas. He's, oh, He's out of gas. Fortunate SD. That pressure from that Onan just exerts off that off stage is insane. Enough to scare a Rob at SD. It's a very rare sight because Rob has such a great recovery. Oh, back air is going to do it? Not. Ooh, okay, a reversal not potentially, but not throwing out any hitboxes to catch Onan's recovery. You know, Lunge is sitting at 116. You know, he's holding on. Holding on strong. Yeah, they really, Blue Bear and Redorable, they need to take a stock here. Wow. Wow, that's that's Thunderdome oh, moment. Goodness. There goes Blue Bear on his last stock already for this game. This is not looking good. Minute and a half in, and Boo Bear and Adorable Knight are at a two stock deficit. Make that a one stock yep. deficit. Make that a no stock, stock deficit. No, no well, wait, technically still, one, still one, still one. They were three, then two, now they're one. Right, 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 right. Okay. There's two. What? There's Nair. Okay, getting Ooh. getting Odin Ooh. off stage. Wow, almost a kill there. That, that, with Steve's being as light as he is, and that arm rotor, uh, that could have been real bad. Oh, not a back air, but a forward air. Throwing the gyro straight up. Oh, he's obtained the neutral. Spike, oh, goes for back air. Hey, wow, yeah. Ooh, last two stocks for uh, Blue Bear and Adorable Knight. Tough Blue Bear is already at 88%. There's forward throw thrown into it. Another back air. Gyro coming in, getting shielded by Onan as he continues to mine. It's really, the, it's really the easiest way to get rid of uh, Gyro. Yep, just to shield it. Absolutely. Oh, oh wow. wow, nice. Great kill on Lunges. This is definitely not over. Oh, that, Especially if they can take that Onan's counter stock. Or that Shadow Sneak almost took one stock. But there goes Adorable Knight. There were sparks there. I, it was probably for... for uh, oh, but uh, it's going to be tough. It's going to have to take two stocks. Especially with uh, Onan having Diamond on already. Yes, yep, the Diamond is very scary. Running out of places to go here. They're covering everything. Oh, they can and think jumps of into it. Getting that charge shot. Now, all right. That is game three. One, potentially one more game here. Yeah. Onan and Lunges on the doorstep of taking the whole doubles bracket. Yeah, and after coming back from losers, pretty impressive stuff, but we cannot. We cannot count out Pooh Bear and Adorable Knight. They are on the winner's side of this for a reason. Oh, it looks like we've got a little bit of an error on the, uh, on the screen there. It should be, I believe, 2-1 Onan Lunges. There we go. All right, there, there we go. Good stuff. Team battle. Red Ninja. Any character Draw. changes, I wonder? No, there are not. 
heading into game four. The atmosphere is thick. Cut the tension with a knife. <laughs> All right. Go to Smashville. Here we go. Game. Smashville. An action-packed stage. Moving platform in the middle. Setting up his famous wall to build his tools. And uh, Lunges is kind of getting hit a bit, but he's already got his 90s. That is insane how quickly he got those. Now the tables have turned. Yep, and there's back wow, air. That back air. Roman Knight jumping up, over. Okay. Lunge is doing a good job of uh, of, avo of uh, avoiding moves. Only, really only taking 5% so far. So they've, they've really got to start pressuring him. Wow. Mine, minecart into, into the up. Yeah. And oh, there goes a Roman Knight first stop. Raw F smash will do it. And a down smash at ledge. And the TNT. Oh, but he hits himself a little bit. Up there. Lunges living. There's a big laser. Okay, both of them off stage now. Oh, okay. Uh, One recovers to the other side. Yes. Stage. Oh, but gets charge shot for his trouble. Sitting at 119. Charge shot is one of the best projectiles in the game. It's not the best projectile in the game. And there. Oh, okay. Good mash out. Makes him it off, back. But he makes it. This is Rob, after all. That's a lot of damage to the shield, and he's got another diamond already. Oh, goodness. Only 35% on Onan, and we are a minute and a half into this game. They really have to start hitting that, that Steve. Gyro coming out. There's a mine cart. There's a back throw. Oh, and another Ooh, charge shot's going to take it. charge shot at ledge. Very close here. Okay, there goes Lunge's first stock, but still Onan Harry's, sub 100. Carries the anvil, but still gets hit by the landing hitbox. I can relate to that. Landing hitboxes are the bane of my existence. Almost a shield break on Onan, too. Yeah. Wow. Looking out for that. And there, wow, oh, dash attack. Goodness. There goes, there goes Adorable Knight. Adorable on his last stock. Stock's getting evaporated. Already eating uh, another charge shot. Walking the Ooh. literally Onan did not care. Just started walking the dog. And oh, there goes Adorable a Knight! Very unfortunate SD. That might I think yep, that might have sealed it. the deal. So now there it is five stocks to two. This is a, a massive deficit. Just to break even, they'd have to take three stocks on opposed. And there goes there Blue Bear. Is. Wow. Uh, this the most dominant this is a, I'm gonna call this a Molly Whomping. This is yes, just the most dominant victory we've seen in this tournament in the very last game it was like, because honestly, I really don't think Adorable Knight can. Put Adorable this Knight off. is going. Will have to be some hero of West Michigan in order to do this. Yeah, well, okay, he's doing okay so far, but there's still so much ground to make, and getting hit by that minecart is not the way you want to go. But an SD from Onan. Onan's on his last stock here. Yeah, I don't think he's playing it very seriously. But now and it's two. Already, the it's one to one. Oh, it never, nope, up smash. Smash will do it. And congratulations, Onan and Lunges, winning doubles here at Crimson Clash Three. Well done uh, to all parties. It was a fantastic tournament. Yeah, and a fantastic bracket. We got more coming up for you. As we got singles starting up soon. Soon, singles pool A. We're gonna take a little bit of a break here, and we'll be back. Stay tuned. <laughs>
All right. Uh, welcome to Crimson Clash 3. We're about to get singles uh, underway here. My name is Lunges, and with me today is... Uh, my name is uh, Max. I go by Drip as my tag. Cool. Yeah, and we're about to start singles here, I believe. Uh, we have about 37 entrants here today over in Big Rapids, Michigan, over in the Ferris State campus. Uh, I believe up first we have two players, one named Easy. Uh, and one named Combat Disc. Oh, we're actually just gonna get into the game. Now a little bit about these two players. Uh, the Cloud, his tag is easy. He's one of the best players in Northern Michigan. In fact, I think on their power rankings, he's been number one for quite some time. And the Pokemon trainer here is Combat Disc. He is from Grand Rapids, Michigan. Uh, and yeah, just a little, little bit about the players. Looks like uh, started off pretty even so far. Oh, and early stock take from Easy. Yep, that, that up smash is so strong by Cloud, you really got to be careful about what you do when you pressure him like that. Because, uh, you know, you're going you're gonna to get an up smash or a, uh, an up yet a shield. And already easy kind of running away with this lead. Let's see if Combat Disc can get anything out of it. Combat Disc is a very aggressive player. Uh, it, it, it can be very good. It can also be uh, part of his downfall, too, if, uh, you know, if, if people start to catch a lot of his options like that. They can kind of control the pace of the match. Let's stay in with Charizard here, which uh, got an early kill against Easy. Yep, and there we go, there we two go. to he one. Yep, but it, I mean, from here it's going to be kind of an uphill climb, right? I mean, yeah. unless he's able to find some kind of gimp on uh, on Cloud, yeah. then it would even it right up. But not looking like that's going to be the case. As Combat Disc is over 100 percent, a very quick game as well so far. Yeah, uh, very, very, quick. very fast paced. But it isn't over quite yet. It is not over yet, but let's see here. Let's see if Comet Disc is able to get something started. Limit and cross slash. That's game. <laughs> That's game. Very quick game one. Yeah, very quick. <laughs> we cut into. Um, let's see here. Try to think of a couple things uh, that might be important going into game two. I think based off of like just what we saw <laughs> is that momentum had a lot to do uh, with. I think Easy's victory because we, when we came in, when we panned in, it was uh, right like yeah, it was like a hundred percent, hundred percent. But they both had three stocks, and you know, I don't really think I, I think Easy kind of just caught on adaptation-wise to a couple of things that Combat Disc was doing. Like he was kind of jumping back to stage, uh, close to ledge, quite often. And I mean, of course, Cloud can catch that with forward air and such. But let's see yeah. if it, if he can switch anything else up going into game two. Yeah. It definitely looked like uh, Combat Disc was looking for a, a place to breathe in the matchup, but just under that relentless cloud. Yeah. The cloud, I mean, pretty good with those. I mean, his jab is, seems to be stuffing Squirtle out, which kind of honestly surprises me a little bit. I mean, usually you, you expect Squirtle to be the one that you know, kind of uses his frame data to get early percent leads. And, I mean, he's such a light character. He's got to really be careful about what Cloud can do. I mean, we saw up smash kill quite early yeah. last yeah. time, but <laughs> Squirtle hanging on ledge there. That could have been disastrous <laughs> if his uh, down air had connected, but you know, quick backer off the stage is going to take the stock first. Now let's see if uh, Easy is going to kind of you know continue to ride the momentum like he did last game, or if Combat Disc is going to be able to try to find something, pull something together. Quick conversion on 95. Oh, I, that was the right idea. If you yeah. know, if you didn't have a limit, that would have that definitely would have been the stock. Yeah, definitely. Up air just coming out a little bit late there. Oh, an excellent switch to Charizard. Get that extra jump. Pivotal for, pivotal for that recovery. All right, excellent tech, and I'm kind of surprised. I, you know, sometimes when when clouds uh, activate the second part of their up B, it just kind of surprised me how it doesn't cling or uh, snap to ledge. But I mean, yeah. this, this is uh, almost an even game for sure. It's about 60% separating, but with Charizard, I mean, that's that's kind of really nothing. Yeah, um, character can kill mad early. With the rage just starting to set in and stuff, like I would not be surprised at a fairly early. Oh, he, <laughs> he went for uh, Flare Blitz. <laughs> Blitz. Oh, yeah. yikes. Yeah, no, I mean, not yikes. I mean, you might as well go for it. I mean, you gotta get, you gotta pull something up to be able to come back, but let's yeah. see here. All right. Now, again, this this match is a lot quicker than last time. 
Just a couple a couple instances where Comet Disc is just a tad late, a uh, little hesitancy or a little hesitating, but none there because he's able to yeah. find the up air. 60%. Yeah, I would say this is still anyone's game at this point. Yeah, definitely, definitely. Has been combat disc kind of like uh, trying to, you know, win the game from behind the whole time. He is not really operating the lead, but we're about to have, you know, he's about to find himself a percent lead here. There it is. Up there, just within kill. Awesome adaptation. There and that's going to be go. the game. Yeah, that's game. All wow. right, we're going to be going to game three, combat disc against easy. Again, if you're just tuning in, this is Crimson Clash 3 over at Ferry State Campus. Winners round one. And I know Easy is, I, I believe Easy is a top eight seed in this entire event. So, oh, wow. excellent adaptation for Combat Disc. It really kind of seems like he's starting to find his footing. Again, Easy, one of the best players in Northern Michigan. Yeah, combat disc is definitely holding his own own here. Three, two, one, go! And a lot of the adaptation, I mean, a lot of the, well, that was kind of a comeback too. I mean, he, he's definitely coming up from behind. So, I mean, we'll see if uh, if he's able to kind of break that momentum as we go into game three. Excellent read there. A little bit of a little bit of flub though. Yeah, both kind of looking for an opening here. Dash attack from the bottom. Okay. Oh no, that's so unfortunate. Uh, yep. Yeah. And uh, Easy definitely knew about it the way he charged limit all the way up yep. and then waited for the dash attack to connect. Yeah, now at this point, Combat Disc just can't get flustered or can't like you know, aggressively just get at a disadvantage. Like, he's been jumping back to stage a lot, and that's something that Easy caught on to in game one. Like, like right there, like, it was like mm -hmm. three times he just tried to jump back on a stage. Uh, you know, Easy's a really good player who's going to catch on to that. Now it's already close. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> uh, yeah, uh, this is tough. He's really just kind of catching the momentum, really. Yeah, he's got all the momentum in this game so far. Yeah, and I think it's definitely not looking good for combat disc unless he can find a way to break past that momentum. Yeah. I mean, with the way that the momentum's swinging, this this could be a three stock. Yeah, definitely. Which is yeah, really unfortunate. But it kind of it kind of is going back to uh, kind of game one where we're talking about with momentum and uh, so I mean some players are very momentum based, right? I think combat disc might be one of those one of those types of players. Another up smash. That game was very quick. <laughs> very, very quick. Yeah, but Easy takes it. Uh, that was 2-1. Uh, dang, that, I wonder if that was, that might be the closest we get to a winner's round, winner's round one upset. Yeah, wow. Because that was, game two especially with that um, comeback kill from Combat Disc. Very impressive. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm sure, I'm sure he's kicking himself because, I mean, that game started off fine, too. It was all, you know, when he Comet Disc side Bs a lot into as Squirtle, because uh, if he bounces, if it bounces off a shield, for a lot of characters, it's safe, right? But it looks like Easy knew exactly how to punish that with, uh, with Limit Cross Slash, so. Good job, the Combat Disc, but Easy will be moving on into Bracket. Let's take a look here. Let's see here. Where's Easy? Easy's going to be going up against Ivan, who's from Ferris State University, one of Ferris's best players. Mm -hmm. uh, let's see. Elsewhere in the bracket, we have looks like what's probably going to be Onan against Vanio to make top 16 winner side. Coming up next, we have CK47, uh, a oh. <laughs> CK47, <laughs> Grand Rapids player. He's a Mario main. Uh, I'd say he's in all of West, probably about the gatekeeper status. You know, he's not within the top ten. He's not on West Michigan power rankings, but he's he's awfully close. Had a good run yesterday as well uh, over Grand Revival, and going up against Wilf, another player from Grand Rapids. 
I honestly put them also in the uh, in the kind of the gatekeeper category. They're both very talented players uh, over in West Michigan. Wilf, usually a villager main, trying to pick up uh, trying to pick up some Diddy Kong for some matchups he struggles with as villager. Let's see, a couple straight hits so far. Nobody's really found their footing, but I mean, quick 50% though on Diddy, he did certainly rack it up pretty quickly. Just like that, CK47. Responding very quickly with uh, his own percent. We have a very even first stock. Now, I actually haven't seen too much of Wilf's uh, Diddy Kong. Excuse me. I'm curious to see. I, I bet. I mean, both these players, from what I imagine, like CK47 plays very fundamental based. Like, you're not going to be seeing him do too many, like, touch of death Mario combos. And since Wilf is pretty new to Diddy Kong, I imagine he's going to be playing a very neutral-based uh, style as well. Yeah, and I think you can see a lot of that in kind of how he's playing there. Yeah. Early Up smash, though, at a shield, going to take the stock. Now, at this point, you got to be, I guess, afraid of that. <laughs> yeah. I was gonna say up smash or something, but you know I've noticed from Clay though, from or Clay is CK47. I've noticed from uh, Clay that a lot of times when he kind of goes for that F smash a lot, a lot more than I see other uh, Mario mains kind of go for. He, he's very good at catching people's landings with it, or kind of just like looking to. He's very good at spacing it out. Is I guess what I'm trying to say. Good up air string from CK47. Yeah, but I mean, one of the tough parts about uh, stages like this against Mario is you really got to be careful about your positioning. Oh my Ooh. gosh! Wow. All right, Will. <laughs> I see yeah. you. <laughs> yeah, we see you. <laughs> yeah, I believe like Lifetime, uh, or at least in the past couple seasons of uh, power rankings for West Michigan, mm -hmm. uh, CK47 has beaten Will. I think he has the lead. I'm not sure what the exact count is. And Clay with another one of those F smashes coming through for him. But I think that's probably why we're seeing the Diddy Kong out instead of uh, Will's uh, Villager, who you saw in doubles a little bit earlier. It's because, uh, yeah, he definitely wants to try to see if he can find something new against against CK47. See if he can, you know, well, advance further in bracket. <laughs> yeah. That is the end goal. But yeah, very even game so far. We're starting to get up into that 80, 90, 100% where we're going to see some burst options come out. Maybe the gameplay is slowed down just a little bit as people, both players try to respect uh, the kill options. I don't think, I don't know if uh, up smash will kill at this point. Uh, there's not too many Diddy Kongs over in West Michigan, so I'm not going to get to see too many of them. But you're probably going to see a lot of uh, like banana and, uh, and up smash coming out of Will. I, I bet at this point, uh, Mario up smash is probably going to kill. Yeah, probably. Oh yeah, Diddy Kong's light. What am I talking about? <laughs> oh gosh. Ooh, very yeah. dicey situation. Yep. Seeing a lot more shields being held than previously. <laughs> you, you know, they're both very scared. Yeah. Very oh my gosh. And a third F smash there. Three out of three. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> I was going to say, I think I recall, you know, kind of how he plays. Uh, you know, I'm kind of glad I made the right call there. Three out of three F smashes uh, uh, for CK47. Now, I'm curious now if we're going to see Will move to Villager, uh, something he's much more confident on. He also plays a Bowser as well. Um, I hope he's going to stick with Diddy Kong because that, that match was definitely close. It's just, you know... I mean, you kind of caught. You just gotta be careful. I mean, it, it seems like you, you're really fishing for those F smashes. Uh, so I think if you watch out for up smash, F smash, I think you're gonna have a lot more success. Kind of stand right outside that threat range with uh, with banana maybe or something and try to whiff punish. But I guess we'll see what kind of adaptations Will can make or if uh, CK47 is going to adapt on his own and even you know, maybe win the set with a lot more, a lot more greed. Right at the start of the match, we have CK47 just missing that up to finish off the string. Yeah, that was that was an interesting up B. <laughs> Clay goes for a lot of interesting options. You know, I, I don't want to call them bad because a lot of times it, they'll connect, <laughs> but yeah. like they're just strange. <laughs> yeah, good for mix-ups. Yeah. <laughs> Very 
Rich to see Clay with a, about a 30% lead here. First match was pretty back and forth the entire time, but looks like uh, Clay is able to find his footing a lot more. Yeah, definitely a scary spot to be in as Diddy Kong. Especially with all those Mario smashes. Most likely killing at this point. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, you're going to be watching out for back airs, up smashes, up smashes. There's a lot that can probably kill Diddy at this point. Not Smash 4, not going to make it back, and CK47 with a, with a very healthy lead uh, going into this game, too. And he takes advantage right off there. Goes for another very early up B, but no punish found on the side of Will. Yeah, Clay's been, Clay's been on a tear lately. Uh, he you know, he went game 3 with Suspect. Oh, my gosh. Wow. Yeah, a little bit of a miss him. Well, not a little bit. Big miss input there for Will. Yeah, and I don't think he did really any percent. He maybe got like one stray hit that entire match. But this game has been all, all, all CK47. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Oh, there it is. <laughs> quick 2-0. That was another yeah. quick match. Dang. Yeah. Wow. CK47 moving on further into bracket. I'm not sure who they play next. But again, if you're just tuning in, we have we're here at Crimson Clash Three, over at Fair State University. Pool A going on right now. Looks like oh that was uh, that was to advance into winner side top sixteen. Oh wow. Now next we might have maybe Easy and Ivan. I'm not quite sure uh, what match we're going to be putting on stream next. Yeah. We will have to see, but yeah. Vandio taking the game over Zora Hyde. That, uh, those those players both used to be competing in the collegiate scene. Vandio for Fair State, and Zora High for Central Michigan. So definitely a matchup that's been played many times in the past. But Vandio taking that one 2-0. Oh, very interesting. Yeah, there's a lot of good people here today uh, from Mid Michigan as well as West Michigan. We have got Onan, who is number three in the state overall, uh, and number one in West Michigan. Uh, in addition, we have Boo Bear, who I believe is number three in West Michigan. Adorable Knight, number six in West Michigan. Just looking at in this pool. Of course, we talked about Easy earlier, who uh, Easy was like number one in Northern Michigan. And then in the other pool, I believe we have Copal, who I think is now that Nico is gone. Nico, uh, famous Shulk player, moved to California. Copal is going to be number one in mid Michigan. Oh. So a lot of sub regional threats here today. And I believe this tournament is Smash World Tour eligible now that there's thirty seven entrants in it. So whoever wins and whoever places high at this event is going to be getting global circuit points. Uh oh. so yeah, I'm sure a lot of players are going to be looking forward to snagging those up. Um but yeah, yeah yeah. Definitely some high stakes here in the tournament today. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I know, uh, like, usually, like, springtime and winter is pretty pretty slow for tournaments. Uh, so I don't think there's been anything on the west side of the state that would have otherwise qualified for Smash World Tour so far. Uh, so I know a lot of the players talking to them, they were pretty excited about having the opportunity to get some of those points, rack them up. So looks like... Uh, Let's see here. Yeah, if I were to guess, we're going to be facing uh, Ivan and Easy, I'd guess, because that matches up next, but maybe not. I guess we'll have to see. Now, are you part of the, the Fair State Club, the Smash Club? or? Uh, yes, I am. Yes, okay, I am. so Ivan, can you remind me who he plays again? Oh, Ivan plays King DDD most of the time. Um, uh, pretty good at uh, ledge traps and the like. Uh, yeah. Now, do you... Uh, do you know what rank he is in Fair State? I forget. I believe he is number one. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Uh, number one, if not, um, then two or three. Okay. And it looks like it's actually going to be Onan and Vandio up next. Uh, yeah, Onan, Steve Main. He also has a couple other characters he might be pulling out today, like Joker or Rob. But this match actually kind of already happened in doubles. Uh, it was Wilf and Vandio against me and Onan. And 
let's see how Vandio is able to, I know, I know Onan kind of has a little, little bit of issues with, uh, we fit nothing, nothing major, but the character definitely has given him some trouble before in the past. So let's see if Vandio is able to pull, uh, pull a game out or, you know, even potentially pull a pretty big upset over Onan. Uh, I know Onan, he, it, when, when you get in the later points in bracket, at least lately, he, really he never really loses to people uh but sometimes when he if he's messing around early on a bracket if he underestimates his opponent he <laughs> he's definitely dropped some sets to people he shouldn't have so yeah and in a tournament like this not necessarily what you want to do early on yeah yeah i mean he's made big losers run brackets before <laughs> but like yeah he i definitely think he's here to win smash world two points to you know i mean get money too <laughs> yeah. yeah um ike also is a character that vandio plays i wonder i'm not really sure what you know he's you know what what he thinks is going <laughs> to be the best thing because maybe, maybe he saw the steve and doubles and thought nah i don't want any of that with we fit <laughs> uh so could very well be the case but yeah that remains to be seen. <laughs> I see Onan eating some pizza, so we might. Oh, I think someone just told me he's to play. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yep. <laughs> yeah. Against Vandio, yeah. Yeah, Vandio's been a veteran in the scene for a long time. Kind of got some old blood and new blood coming in. Onan, of course, was a Wi Fi warrior uh, during the quarantine era. That's kind of when he really started getting into the game. And when he came into the offline play. I believe his first season of competition, he was ranked 14th in the state. Had an incredible run at Riptide where he got 49th out of about 1,000 competitors. Uh, and that kind of cemented him as you know being one of the best in the state. Following that season, you know the one that Q4, so end of last year is when he was ranked third. Proving himself to be one of the best Steve players in the entire world, uh, without a doubt, uh, in, the, in the conversation in the top five. Looks like Vandio is going to be locking in Wii Fit. Did you see what stage they're going to be going to? I think I missed that. Uh, I did as well. Yeah, uh, I guess we'll see. Probably PS2. <laughs> Most likely. <laughs> yeah, it's always awkward. I mean, this is like a pet peeve. I'm just going to vent about when when people when you want to go PS2 and here we are. Uh, so you just you know you you want a gentleman's to it and someone insists on banning. Right, and then you just end up right at PS2, anyways. <laughs> yep. It's like okay, all right. <laughs> yeah. It's like, gonna, why be one of, with it? gonna be one of those kind of sets, I suppose. But a uh, little bit of mining off for Onan here, so he's, he's able to get stone tools. A little bit surprised he's not camping a little bit more, but obviously he doesn't need it. As you know, Bando's already up to 80 percent. Oh. And that's the stock. Yeah, early kill off of that Ando. Now, I know Vanyo isn't super active in the scene anymore. Obviously, he, he, he did very well in doubles. He still knows how to play the game. He's still smart. Uh, but I wonder, I do wonder how much Steve experience he has. If I were to bet, probably none. Uh, you know, because a lot of the times these days, he's speed running and such. But I already has owned it up to 100%. So, let's see how quickly he's going to be able to figure out some of the, the tricks. Like, you know, how to work around mine cart, how to apply pressure properly against his, his walls and such. And with that deep breathing activated, this is the perfect time to fish for him. Yeah, I don't even know. I mean, like, we has so many weird moves and just hit in weird directions, like like F-Tilt. <laughs> yeah. There is another one with that backwards yeah, spike. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Very close game so far, despite starting off extremely, like, <laughs> explosive in the favor of Onan. That was, again, why did that move go up? What is this? Why did that kill? Yeah, this character is so strange. <laughs> Definitely unorthodox in how those hitboxes will send you. Yeah, I'm sure there's this this match globally has only been played like maybe ten times. <laughs> maybe. Like two very like weird characters, obscure properties. Yep. Both kind of like testing each other's knowledge of the matchup here. Yeah. Onan now with diamond tools, I believe, so he's going to be able to rack up a lot of damage if able to, but Vandio keeping it very competitive at this point. You know, the thing about Steve is, like, his range is pretty it's pretty short. Like, like a lot of characters that do well against him are able to kind of outspace him in the mid range. Uh, so let's see if Vandio's going to be able to 
Oh, the another. same thing, just on the other side of the stage. <laughs> Vandio not respecting uh, Anvil and not teching either, not knowing the timing on that. Oh, no way that my God. Yeah, I was going to say. that that That's, a, I believe, called a... Just SD. <laughs> oh. oh, no. Yeah, there's some kind of tech where if you ask Steve, place a block, there's like a small frame. Like if you place a block and like jump on top of it or something, it's called nilling. Oh. Anyways, the game's over. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know how Steve tech works, but he's he can act <laughs> extremely quickly out of block placing if he's jumping and doing it in the air. Uh, if he times it quick, it's like a one or two frame window, so definitely tough to do, but that's why that S smash is able to come out so quick is did a uh, you know, place a block and nail F smash, but yeah. honestly, Vanyo did very well in that match for, I'm assuming, not knowing very much Steve counterplay. Yeah, uh, very good at adaptation. That match. Yeah, and, yeah, I mean, <laughs> hopefully he doesn't get stage spiked by uh, by Anvil now. I kind of wonder <laughs> how the match, is, the match would have played out had that not happened. I believe Anvil was responsible for all three stocks there. Was it? Yep, because the end kill was uh, oh, yeah. Anvil yeah, yeah. lock. So. Hey, I mean, if, if CK47 taught us anything, you know, if it isn't broke, you don't got to fix it. Yep. Game two going to Battlefield. Now, what we're going to see a lot of teams do usually is they'll place up a one or two block uh, defense and then start mining so they can get some kind of tools. Uh, they, they definitely need them in order to... I guess cheese people, one might say. <laughs> well, even the, uh, the matchup like this, something uh, as simple as Anvil does require iron, and uh, getting that mining done early on is very important. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, I know Onan, he knows so many crazy, 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 uh, like, lead traps and stuff. Of course, kind of hit uh, Vandio with them a little bit already. I wonder if we're going to see any more of that. Again, yeah, match pretty close. Yeah. Once he, well, I mean, once Vano gets deep breathing too, I mean, he'll be at kill percent pretty much right now. Yeah. Oh yeah, absolutely. Goes to charge the. What even is Wee Fit's neutral Wee Uh, Sun Salutation. Yes. It's a very long name <laughs> for a move to say on commentary. <laughs> yeah. Of course, Vanu actually taking the percent lead, but that anvil coming in again. Yeah. I mean, that's kind of the thing. If you're Odin, if he isn't respecting, uh, whether it's on stage or off stage, if he isn't respecting uh, that option, you know, you kind of just wait for him to commit to something and then anvil, because you know, it'll give you protection. Of course, Vanu able to take that stock right away. Still pretty close, but diamond tools on the hand for Steve now. And you see Vandio respecting the anvil there. Yeah, of yeah, yeah. <laughs> does not hit. <laughs> Let's see what, what he's going to set up. Nothing nothing crazy. <laughs> kind of just waiting to see what Vandio does. He's, I, he's just trying <laughs> to like fish for something. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Yeah, back here. Not going to take it yet. Not going to take I'm it. I'm so used to seeing Steve Diamond just kill at ridiculous percents that I don't even... <laughs> I just expect it to kill every time it connects, to be honest. If he's, like, over 50% and he gets hit by something Diamond, like a back air up smash, I just pretty much think it's over. Yeah. And again. All Anvil. right. Let's see if, if we're going to... I mean, that's four out of five stocks taken so far in Anvil. Yep. <laughs> All right, already at, uh, already at ninety percent. That was a very quick stock, and that's what I'm talking about. Diamond tools, like they're so good if he's able to get his combo starters in. That it's up tilt to get stuff going. That was weird. Oh, and I think block probably. Yeah, saved no, block him definitely there. saved in there. That's that's for sure. I just thought he was gonna die off the top after that too. It's very hard to tell with Steve, I find. Of course, Steve has no materials now, and he really doesn't get anything after he dies, too. So he's definitely going to be looking to uh, you know, to mine up, even though you know, he might take, you know, lose his stock. And one thing you're going to see from Steve players is they often will place a block on the other side of ledge like that to catch themselves with attack if they do get hit. What are you <laughs> Caught himself off a ledge. All right. 
Vanio, one stock to one stock. Let's see if he's gonna you'll be able to pull out anything with deep breathing. Uh, I don't. Oh gosh, that was close. <laughs> yeah, a lot of teams will do that. They'll build like a three. Oh gosh, I think he's dead. Oh, oh. all oh, right, five and out of six kills yep. with Anvil. With, <laughs> with Anvil. Yeah, very powerful option. I went in 2-0, going to be moving on in top 16 winner side. Definitely, uh, it, I'd say the expected the expected thing to happen. Onan's kind of a monster. Uh, but Vanyo doing very well. I would not be surprised if he was able to pull through and make top 16 loser side. Uh, dude is definitely, even if he has you know not been competing very much, definitely very good at the game and uh, has you know very good fundamentally. So good job to him. Yeah, and even in that match, you saw a lot of very good adaptation and uh, kind of responding, though Anvil did get the majority of the kills, um, kind of avoiding it off stage and things like that you did get to see across the match. Yeah, I'm kind of curious how a game three would have went in that, but quick look at the bracket. We have Easy taking it 2-0 over Ivan. He'll advance in the top 16 winner side. Uh, looks like we are probably going to be waiting a little bit. Uh, <laughs> we have Adorable Knight against Hash Beans. Uh, Hash Beans, of course, taking it 2-0 over Maid Link, one of Northern, or excuse me, Northwood University's varsity players. Uh, let's see here. I, I don't know if they're going to put Adorable Knight Hash Beans on set. They might. Mm -hmm. um, if if they don't, we're just going to be sitting here for <laughs> talking about nothing for 10 or 15 minutes. So, <laughs> 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 yeah. Uh, unless they put something on losers in the bracket. Uh, let's see here. Oh gosh, yeah, we've we got a long ways to go. A lot, a lot of loser sets playing out. Yep. Yeah, I wonder, I wonder what we're gonna be, what we're gonna be seeing on stream next. Yeah, we could see Mist versus the winner of uh, Hash Beans and Adorable Knight. Yeah. Uh, Mist being another Fair State uh, player plays mm -hmm. Duck Hunt. Yeah. I think that's his uh, his modded setup, isn't it? The one that stream is being played on. Yep. Okay. Yeah. So are you in pool B then? Yes. Are you competing yes, today? Yes, I am. Okay. Yep. Are you, you competing as well? I am. Yeah. Yeah. I'm playing singles. Um, who Who do you play? I play Samus actually. Oh yeah, you mentioned that earlier. Duh. <laughs> oh yes. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yep. Um, I I just really like the Metroid characters, so I play a lot of uh, Samus, Ridley. Um, Stuff like that. <laughs> Honestly, I I should play character. I, I mean, so I've never played a Metroid game before. I don't know why I play Samus because I feel like every time I meet <laughs> a Samus main, it's because they they like the Metroid series or they like the Metroid characters. Yep. <laughs> I don't know what led me to choose this character, but yeah. Yeah, I mean, it's a fairly fun play style, at least to play. <laughs> Maybe yeah, not, not so play, much against. To play against. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but. <laughs> Certainly, a lot of creativity you can do there with uh, bombs and. Yeah, I mean, her disadvantage is just there. You have a lot of mix-ups between bomb and, you know, air dodge, and her her aerial drift too isn't isn't that bad. So, yeah, a lot of, lot of stalling and walling out you can do with that character. And even like mix-ups on ledge with tether and things you can do with uh, canceling tether early and mm -hmm. stuff like that. Lots of different options you can have at your disposal. <laughs> yeah. All right, so we will be cutting to a quick break here uh, as we kind of prepare the next match. Uh, again, my name is Lunges. And my name is Max. <laughs> All right, <laughs> nice to you know, nice to commentate with you so far, and uh, yep. let's see, uh, let's see, who we're going to be commentating in the next match in a couple minutes. Yep, absolutely. I started the esports program here at Ferris because I saw that there was a need that needed to be filled. I know me and all of my friends really enjoyed watching esports and I said, hey, we don't have anything like this here at Ferris. I actually came to Ferris and the first thing I did was look up in the clubs if there was an esports program. Before I joined esports, I didn't really feel like I had any sense of identity with her university. When I was growing up, I started seeing this esports scene, watching these professional players and I said, that's something I want to do. When I joined the esports team, it was really cool because I could say, hey, yeah, I'm a bulldog. I do this. Honestly, I thought it'd be a cool way for someone like in my condition to honestly be able to play a sport. Because it's kind of hard for someone with a disability to actually find a place to in college where they can belong. Esports has really made me proud to be a Bulldog. Um, it gives me a way to compete and represent Ferris. So I am a Ferris player. Enjoying Ferris as a whole more so than just taking classes to get a degree. It's given me more discipline. 
so I get my assignments done like before games and before practice. Gaming and esports can help improve Ferris's community by giving a lot of the students who don't have a reason to fit in, a lot of the, I like to stay at home and, and, and play video games in my room, it gives a lot of those students an opportunity to m come together and make friends. Personally, esports has helped me get connected on campus. It's been really enjoyable to see other people that I may have never met. I've met other friends that I never would have known existed here at Ferris had I not joined esports. It's really easy to get to know people. All my friends are through esports. It was really cool to get to get to know other people from universities that are going through the same thing and just wanting to play esports. We have this great foundation that we can call a family basically with the esports program as it is. So with all these people, we have 300 plus already, that's going to draw more and more people and more and more attention. Really the interest is already there, um, just so long as we maintain our presence here in the university and the community. A lot of high schoolers have reached out to us and said, hey, are you guys offering scholarships? Do you guys have teams in the games that I play? Um, and, and most of the time we're like, hey, we want to get you here. I want the esports program to flourish more than just settle where it is. Having an esports arena at Fair State would make the gaming experience more because we could have tournaments against like multiple teams here at Ferris. We can be competitive with it, but it's in the end of the day, it's just about making new friends and bonding with people and having a good time with the games. I am proud to be a ball dog because of how much fun I get to have and all the enjoyable stuff I get to do as a ball dog. I'm proud to be a ball dog. I am proud to be a ball dog. I'm proud to be a ball dog.
Did I play Bandio? Possibly still pull our ducks, but... Hey there, everyone! This is Adorable Knight, and I am Wilf, and we will be commentating for this next pool that's coming up. Uh, I don't know who we're going to commentate for this next set, but... Um, looks like Column and Maximus. Should be a fun one. I th if Column is still playing Falco, Falco versus Game of Watch, it's one of those ones where Falco can still do pretty dominant, you know, even though Game of Watch, with all his jank, can still do whatever he does. <laughs> that is very true. Although, I don't think Column has to worry about Bucket too much, because laser, that's... That just projects, do... or it, it uh, reflects, right? If I'm not confident, but... I don't think it absorbs. Yeah, no, I think it's just a reflector. So, I mean, Bucket's not the main issue, right? Falco, no. Falco, a lot of his moves start with up tilt, right? And so if Game of Watch reads the up tilt, he just up Bs, and boom, you're up. You lose 40% right there. So Yeah. That's kind of... No, that's, gonna, I know that feeling, yeah, playing Greninja. No, exactly. So it's going to be a <laughs> lot of uh, hitting back and forth if I had to make an assumption. But both these players, you don't see too much often anymore. I know Maxi is kind of stays on the... Commentary side. Commentary side, and Colm comes and goes, so... Looks like we're going to get right into it, though. Yes. And we are playing a PS2, the classic. One, Here we go. We have um, neutral going on. and yeah. Just kind of playing footsies till someone gets the first hit in. Yeah, someone gets their car combo starter in, like right here. Oh. Kinda Got the up. upbeat, but tried to fair instead. Missed grab. There Colin we go. Getting up airs. I don't see that typically from Falco's, honestly, just up air strings. Well, that's what I'm saying, bro. Like, both of these characters, it's just get get a hit, and then you get 60, 70 damage, right? That's just how these characters work. Oh, yeah, for sure. I hate Falco. <laughs> <laughs> Can't say that. <laughs> oh, Colm's cool. Colm's cool. He, he is cool. He's one of the cooler oh. players. Uh, he, just, he just out of <laughs> shield. <laughs> He says, no Gamer Smash Shot or Gamer Watch, I know you have enough PL Shield, but I'm just doing up smash. Why did that work? <laughs> I can't believe that worked. And Falco's known for having a bad up smash, too. Which is even a weirder option, too. It looks like it came out like frame seven. Uh, I honestly, I would believe mind. you if you just said that. <laughs> just completely I'm pretty good gullible. There, and here we go, there. Max. It's just. See, though, that's the Gamer Watch I know. Right there. The that's all you need to do. Just keep near. doing that. I mean, it does have a pretty big hitbox. Calm just did three up airs again. I, he's kind of he's kind of calling Maxi out on a lot of his uh, options when he gets down to the ground. Yes, reading his uh, like, landing options. Like and that. We got an up smash. We got a forward smash. Now we need. Calm's just smash. calling out Max's moves. Honestly. Oh. Wait, <laughs> all what? three of those pieces of bacon hit. They him. all came back. There's that frame one reflect by Falco. Yep. Uh, he should be able to live this. And that was a nice recovery. Went high. Yep. Gold's, yeah, at this point. Patient. Yeah. It looks like Max is just throwing out moves at this point. Just hoping Column will just run into him. Well, I think he wants to, at least game two, right, kind of switch things around and figure out exactly, okay, how can I get into Falco? And how can I keep this neutral game from being the death of me? Yeah, but honestly, should he be thinking of game two already? No, no, of course not. He's, you know, it's this is ultimate. Yes. Right. Ultimate. The game goes on forever. So, clearly. And uh, I'm not sure what's going on, but the set just froze on us. Yeah, I don't think we're live anymore. Thank God, bro. I'm ugly as fuck. When I saw myself on there, I wanted to. <laughs> no, I kept look looking this way. I was like, I'm still not facing the camera. I have to go Where's all the, the camera? way. Right there. I have this one right here, and then you probably. Oh, are we live again? Oh. I hear sounds. Oh, and we're live, and Max lives. He lives. He lives. Nine, nine. Oh. No, I mean, Colm gets here, hit here, right? What? That that's the thing. What? Well, whoa, 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 whoa. Are you going to talk about that tail too? No, I want you to, to go ahead. I don't know what to say there. Oh. Well, I was going to say, in a situation where Max is in, he's down a whole stock and has a ton of stun on him. Do you want to go for those hammers and try to go for the luck factor? Or do you want to just try to play neutral as best as you can? So I guess that determines on whether or not you want to be a safe person, right? Or not. Me, yeah. personally, I want the read. I want the hype. I want the clip, right? Yes. I nine that every time. 
<laughs> I'm not denying you that some people have that kind of style. Yeah. They just okay. want to be the hype factor. And in, in my, in, if I was Maximus, I'm thinking to myself, you know what? I'm already, I'm already down two stocks. I gotta get a comeback somehow. And hitting that nine would also demoralize Call a ton too. So. Oh, for sure. But then there's a one out of nine chance you're gonna get that. But like, yeah, in man, game two, buy the lottery. Game two, Smashville. Same old, same old. Looks like kind of just fighting for that neutral middle area. Yep. And uh, <laughs> who are you cheering, bro? <laughs> I don't know. That's kind of what I said uh, last game. He's just kind of oh, throwing out moves. That was cool. He did one jab and then went straight into uh, his upbeat. That was really smart. Yeah. It looks like uh, Max is getting the hang of this now. Okay, he, put, he took the one out early, so now the next one's a nine, guaranteed. That's how that's how it works. Is that? Oh, so you know, you play game one? Oh, yeah. If you get a one, then automatically the next one's either an eight or a nine. Nope. It's because one hurts yourself, so it's, the game's like, all right, we hurt you a little bit. Now you get a nine. Exactly. We just got to find the right time to use it. <laughs> Quick grab. Uh, he just has to... Okay, he finally landed. I was going to say he was taking a while to get back. Uh, that was a little weird option, just throwing pancakes right in his face. Is that what they are? I pancakes, bacon. Do you think he's a good chef, dude? Do you think Game Watch can cook? Um, they're kind of flimsy every time I see one of those pieces. So I, I wouldn't trust it. Maxi's trying to cook right now, but he gets up aired. See ya. Yeah, it looks like Colin's actually doing oh! a little cooking, and they're just trading. Back to Smash 4 with the two stocks. That was awesome. Smash 4, they did two stocks? Yeah. yeah. Oh, it was amazing. Yes, Games would go quick. Oh, how did he stop there? I thought he hit him. That was weird. Um, oh, I think they're no, flanked he hits. Oh, oh. Uh, oh, no. Maybe the whole time he thought he had a jump, but just forgot, honestly. That was tough. That was tough. That hit an OP, so. He's getting up smash. That was a good read. Yep. All right. He's coming back, this honestly. Is, he hasn't this hit is not impossible. Him. No, it's not. You know exactly what I'm thinking. <laughs> well, the I know what you're thinking. needs to come. <laughs> it's going to come. Like you said, it has to come since he got a one already. Unless it's a, does that factor in the death that he got already? Um. I don't have a straight line to Sakurai, so I can't really ask, but... Mm, you don't? That's a shame. <laughs> I do, but he's just on vacation. Seeing how he's not working on Oh, anything. gosh. Oh, gosh. He's doing the game of watch. Just throwing up moves. Just four airs and bombarding everything. I, I'm surprised I haven't seen Maxi gone off stage against him at all. But here we go. One stock each. Yep. The number is out. It's, it's never a done game for Game & Watch, honestly. No, it's the worst. <laughs> but, uh, Colum in a good position right now. He has stage control. Kind of just lets Max back on. Yeah. I, well, I mean, you don't really want to mess too hard with Game & Watch off stage, right? You can get burned pretty quickly. That's quick, true, right? but, like, he wasn't throwing out any moves. Fair, no, that's good. But uh, we got so the light. bread and butter up tilt yeah, back here. You get an up tilt over 80 against Game & Watch on the side and you are dead every time. So, Oh, for sure. Calm's going to take it 2-0 over Congrats Maxi. Both very good wins, David. I think, or both very both. good characters. I mean, in a way, there were both good wins for both games. That's true. No, Calm, Calm had a good game. And I, you got to give credit to Maxi as well. He, uh, game two was definitely closer, and you could tell that he started to feel. If there was a game, if this was a game five case scenario, I think it might have swayed even closer to possible Maxi taking over the, the game a little bit. That is very true. But then again, Column also has that opportunity to adapt as well. Yeah, agreed. Yep, that's the thing. Yep. So, no. looking at the standings, look like Bacon had a nice two zero win over Crustifier, and Bacon at Calm. Yep. Two old West guys are gonna go at it with each other. Old? What are you calling old? I'm calling old, <laughs> man. Desi, a zero suit, beat Drip, and we'll play the winner of uh, Alex Dove and Boo Bear once those games get going. We're interested to know who, if you are looking at this, who do you want to see on stream next? Who do I want to see on stream? Um, well, are you? Am I assuming that all the sets are playing right now? Yeah, yeah. Okay, so I'm more looking at uh, set start coming up, and. Honestly, I would like Column and Bacon because they're both from the same region, mm -hmm. essentially. Well, but Bacon's in Chicago now. That's right. He is from Chicago. I forget about that. Mm -hmm. I'm off Twitter a lot, so I, I don't know these things. <laughs> <laughs> I 
Although, at least I'm not messing up frame data yeah. type of stuff. Well, here's what I want to see. Assuming that these matches happen and the winners are who are supposed to win win, Ducks and Lunges, that matchup actually, I think the last time they played, Lunges had a 3-1 win against Ducks the last time. Oh, it was a game five? It was a game five. Or a uh, set at, of or best set, of five? Best of five. This was at Revival. That was the last time they played. Obviously, Lunges doesn't do too much because he's a TO, TO. right? But before that, I think Lunges won again at 2-0, right? And Ducks... Ducks is not the same Ducks that he was, you know, period. Back I would, in the past. I, I wouldn't even say, like, at the uh, Arcadian. You know, Ducks has changed a ton since the Arcadian. So. Oh, of course. Although, I I yesterday I overheard him. I know, jerk of me of doing that. But um, he was saying <laughs> <laughs> that he wants to play more Wolf in the beginning of brackets mm-hmm. in order to play Fox at his best potential in later brackets. Okay. Just because I think he's thinking that Fox takes more energy to work at. Mm-hmm. And so Wolf, as people know, that it's an easier character to play. Yeah. And so you don't try it so hard. And Fox, mm-hmm. constantly pressing buttons. No, so. I agree. Yeah, the Wolf, Wolf is a little bit easier to play. And I know that Ducks has been trying to find that second character to play Yes. Um, in that higher bracket run, right? So just being able to get the experience of Wolf out there definitely is something. But Oh, yeah. Trying to figure out who is going to play next. I think uh, the TOs are also trying to figure that out. Oh, there but, we go. We got, uh, Copel. we got Copel and Chip. Chip is Tri City Try Hard, it looks like. So this, this is something these two play each other probably all the time, if I had to make a guess. Ridley. Um, maybe not even all the time, just once in a great while. You know how weeklies are. They got, try to switch up the seating a little bit. Try Hard City. This is like low tier city. We got a King K and a Ridley. I love it. Both baddies fighting each other. Alright, game one. I always forget Ridley's in Smash. He was very. He kind of came and went. That's oh my true. Gosh, it's it's kind of like me and Corrin. I just forget she just. Or that was he an incredible exists. match. He just got out of there like that. I know he was at zero, but. And the classic K rule just thrown up crown. It works, so. It works, yeah. Especially with, you know, you can't guard it or anything like that. Yeah. Ridley's. Okay, so Ridley's obviously his biggest problem, right? He's a large character. It was a medium weight, right? Yes. That, oh my gosh, he almost just got smacked right there. Oh, he wow. actually just got smacked. <laughs> and actually bringing this back after that forward smash. Bringing Ooh. it back, Chip gets the down smash, I think that was. And he's that was up. like three different hits that just killed Copal right there. That was crazy. You know, obviously, I think both guys are kind of feeling each other out, thinking, how do I play against this character, right? Yeah. But right now, Chip is moving. Yeah, back air. Good read. Yep, good read. Uh, trying to recover. Oh, oh we got the Oh, no, no, gosh. Oh, oh my he goodness. actually lived How did he, What the heck? <laughs> but he got hit by the cannibal. Uh, Copal just not trying to do any He's doing it again. Cards. No, couple chip. Come on, man. Yep. Yep, that's an uh, unfortunate read. So you, you don't even punish that, right? You just get around it and get back to neutral, right? That's, yeah. That's, that's kind of what I That's meant. the best scenario oh, you're yeah. going to get. Honestly, you probably can't even punish that because Copal will just shield. That's true, yeah. Something. Once, once he gets the thing in. Because it's honestly not that slow to get Oh, out. is he dead? He, he might dead. be. He oh, See ya. boy. He lost all of his jumps and that was his only option. So, yep. so a little bit of roll reversal here. Copal now in the lead again and he's playing a lot more dominant. Not using his crown as much, but more over just trying to get those reads on Ridley and that's really working for him. Oh, that yeah. was a melee Marth grab right there. That thing he was not. He was two miles away. He didn't even pivot that either. He just ran no. up and grabs. All right. Copal just running train on Chip right now. I don't even think... I was going to say, I don't even think Chip hit Copal in a while. It's been a while. Chip's got to... Uh, okay, okay. All right. Chip's got to kind of just get back to neutral. Uh, see, this is... he's. Copal's, Copal's kind of got him down on the on the ledge. Yep. Yeah. yeah. I saw the how Chip would try to recover. It's just a little unfortunate that I know Ridley only has like four different directions you can use for his up B. And Does he just really? straight, yeah. Can he it's like diagonal? up, diagonal, or Can't like both di- diagonal downwards. And then, I don't know. I guess, yeah. I don't know Ridley at all. You, you can't just go like straight. Who's the best Ridley in Ultimate? Ridley? I don't know, honestly. Is there? Is there a Ridley? I'm, there has to be one. 
I don't know if has to be is the. You right know what? Answer. Later we can ask lunches. I'm sure he'll know everything. Yeah, he was commentating earlier. Copal chip game two. Copal takes game one. They're going back to PS2. Yep, everyone's favorite stage. We're gonna cut. It looks like I'm feeling a little bit of a shift here with Copal. <laughs> Copal <laughs> already getting a zero seconds. to death. Eight seconds. I have a feeling we will see that later on Twitter. Maybe. <laughs> you know, Copal just posting Twitter clips. <laughs> Oh and so, already, oh, that, honestly, that I thought good. maybe he's going to go for an up B at that point. That was really smart of uh, Chip getting out of there. Yep. But uh, oh, not man. handling the situation very well. Oh, That's oh. it's a little oh, unfortunate God. watching this. You got 20 seconds, Chip. Just last 20 seconds. You cannot get you cannot get three would in under a minute. Uh, is that the new challenge right now? <laughs> I think you can tell Copal is really going in. Well, he's up two stops. Oh, no, here it comes. Back here. Oh, dude, you had 25 seconds, and he couldn't get there. Uh, that was unfortunate. A little unfortunate, <laughs> yes. Awful. Being so close game one and all of a sudden getting three stocks second game. I don't know, man. I could read that back air from a mile. <laughs> a mile away. I think but, most hey, of us did. But when yeah. you're in the moment, you're just you trying are. to think, like, I got to recover. 100%. Yep, 100%. And you, get, as Ridley, you get that extra jump, and you don't get punished for it too much, right? Yeah. But props to Copal for going out there. That was a 55-second game. Yep. <sighs> Getting up there with the speed-running records up the, for <laughs> fastest sets that was or fastest crazy. games. They don't even know who they're going to put on stream next. That was so quick. Yeah, because that was so quick. Yeah, looking at these. Bubble score with a nice win over ZS Chris. That's really good. Bubble score is a West guide. You know, it hasn't really gotten that breakout win yet, but that's definitely something yep. he's got. So Honestly, for the next match, he'll probably put on uh, Boo Bear and Alex? De Desi. Is that how you pronounce oh, it? Boo Bear De well, no, uh, Boo Bear and Alex still have to play, it looks oh, like. Oh, they still have to play? Yeah, and mm -hmm. it looks like we're going to get... The one you asked for, Calm and Bacon, are going to be up on oh, stream next. Here. So, <laughs> Falco and Zero Suit. What? I, who who wins this? Uh, most would just assume Zero ZSS because she is higher on the tier list. Oh, don't don't say that. People are gonna, the Zero Suits will go at your throat if you say that. <laughs> <laughs> I know because she sucks, right? Oh yeah. <laughs> I already know for a fact that Go is watching this, and he he read that. Oh, I know he's watching. I saw the Twitch look, chat. Look, he just messaged me. <laughs> <laughs> he, says, he said, "Tell him how much you love Zero Suit." Zero so. Suit. I love Zero Suit. She has those flip kicks and up bees out of shield. It's great. I, I all of those moves work. I have no say because you know, oh, Zero you Suit. don't want to have an opinion. We're live. You can voice your. Opinions, your hearts can't. Well, we're content. getting zero suit Falco. That's my opinion. Is that that will actually be a pretty fun game? I'm actually looking forward to that. That's going to be a boxer, right? Yeah. And Bacon, if I know Bacon, first things first, he's a commentator. He's a uh, what do you call? He's a T.O. Not a T. Well, no, he's not he's a T.O. He's, he's a commentator. I'm just guessing. He's, he's a reality TV star. Is what oh, I is would he? call him, right? Oh, that is true. Mm -hmm. But he, the way that means the way he plays zero suit is the way he streams, right? He's just going to go in and chuck stuff and pray to God that the other person doesn't know how to fight against Zero Suit. Can you chuck stuff with Zero Suit? I mean, she has the she has gun. stun gun. Has gun. Yeah. When I uh, Chuck moves. Same thing. Sorry. Yeah, just be more correct. I would love that, honestly. But if anything, I feel like best, Column has the upper hand. Best Ridley is Mez Call from Europe. By the way, do I trust Goat's opinion? Not really, no. <laughs> but I mean, we're gonna have to take that assumption because again, I can't even name it Ridley. But yes, what were you about to say? I don't even. Oh, I was about to say that I feel like Column has the upper hands. I just feel like he has more set ones on Bacon. Both these guys are both but characters. I've never seen either of them play. That's what I'm saying. These guys haven't gone to a tournament like forever, right? So yeah. uh, I'm excited to see this. They went Battlefield. They said no, not PS2. We're we're not, we're cooler than that. And then someone probably said, "I got you." It was oh, probably oh. Colum who chose the music, knowing him. Oh, you're right. The I don't even know it honestly. This music is definitely one of those. One, Mist. This was is modded, right? Obviously, it's a modded switch. Yeah, yes. Mist. This has like a million different songs on here. It's actually. Octopath plays at the end of it. So really big Octopath fan. Yep, that that's definitely an intent. Huge game. Octo guy. All but, right, um, we got some neutral game here. Yes, pretty even. It's stops. pretty even. But um, 
Honestly, at the beginning, it looked like Bacon was about to take a stock. Yeah. Know, but... Well, that's just how the heroes are kind of... You know, it always amazes me how Falco is able to get up tilt so easy. It's, it... Oh, his up tilt? Yeah. Oh, he almost got the early death right there. And, yeah, that up tilt also looks like it's pretty unpunishable, too, but... Yeah. Calm tried to hard breathe there, but got his ass. Excuse me. His ass. He gets me. You know what move I love with Falco is forward air. Forward you just air? land with that, and then you're like, oh, the move's done. No, and yes, and you get hit on his <laughs> feet every time. It's every every time. time. It is the most frustrating moves. And the fact that his nair can partner into up tilt. Dude, Falco's top five. Oh, my goodness. Clearly. I, I, I think I, I'm just you kinda, just learned that? I just had an epiphany. <laughs> yeah, clearly, because Zero Suit's dead. Zero Suit is dead. I don't even know. I think that was a fair that happened, but... Bacon's not really doing any, like, Zero Suit movement. He's kind of just trying to get the no. reads, get, play the safe option, right? But I haven't seen a kick flick at all. Uh, I can probably can concur. I haven't seen one either. He really wants that down smash into up, up beat. You yeah, feel he's, it. yeah, he's not trying to go for any combos. He's just he's playing throwing safe. out moves. He's playing it safe. But in, in my opinion, to beat Falco out, you got to throw some moves that are going to be unsuspecting. Right? Yeah. Get like, him. Get him in disadvantage. And the only way to get Falco in disadvantage is do something that he's just not expecting. Yeah. He's been using a lot of zeros and side side bees, and I don't know if you can get anything out of zeros zero too. Yeah. Try, you can get a lot. Trust me. Oh, can you? <laughs> See, he's just trying to. I don't I, think I'll do. I just don't think the down smash is working, and Colm takes advantage of it. Nope. And gets another stock. So now, okay, back air. Wow. Oh my gosh, that killed that middle stage. Yeah, it's a uh, ZSS back here. It's pretty good killing tool, honestly. I had no idea. Oh boy. But here comes one of Falco's combos. Oh, oh I, th I thought he was going down air there. Okay, that how did she get out of the up tilt? Mm, SDI. That's my only conclusion. Look at that, dude. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> Told you, my favorite move. It, it was it was behind her. Ooh, I feel like uh, Bacon could have done a little tricky right there. Another thing, dude. Uh, down tilt kills. Falco's busted. A little bit. You could say that, but then again, he has his flaws. Yeah. Honestly, Bacon needs a one good hit right here. Yep. Oh, oh this should be there it. There it is. Yep. Yep. Calm was playing really defensive, just trying to rack up percentage before he. I felt like he knew before he, he was going to lose that. Yeah. 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 Oh, here comes something big. Uh, nope, missed an opportunity. 22, 30, still pretty good. Still trying to rack some on there. Back calm. Got a little got a little early there with the... Oh. I, I think he meant a long jump or... High jump. High jump, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> We're not doing track here. Yeah. All right. Good read. Oh, wow, he just goes right See up there. Oh, oh. Challenge is baking way up there. And... I mean, it makes sense. Fal Falco does have wings, so he's going to fly. Do you think he's sponsored by Red Bull? I don't <laughs> think we're allowed to say that. <laughs> <laughs> you can't just throw product names like that. <laughs> just, just joking. <laughs> All right. Game two, Calm takes game one. That was, that was again, Calm, you know, uh, that kind of felt what I felt Maximus there. While it was a close game. He was dominant basically that entire time. Yeah. Now they decided game two, they're going to go back to PS2. I don't know Same why way. that was banned at first, but... Maybe Same. they just both agree to fail to try it out. I don't know. Although they do play pretty often, or they used to at least. These guys? Yeah. Where? Wait, we already set up. We already talked about that. Yeah, we did. Yeah, my bad. <laughs> so right. game two. Start. Oh, side B in air. Uh-oh, uh-oh. He, he was getting something cooking. You get, he's trying to get that, like, I don't know what move that is, but... Nair into flip kick? Nair. That's what Nair into flip kick. Yeah. The, the normal, the zero, the move that zero suits will go, oh my gosh, I'm so sick. Look at me. <laughs> it's just a two-hit combo, pretty much. Oh but my just, goodness. Whew. This is why... Okay, I can't stand these characters. <laughs> oh my goodness. Just what you're, like... <laughs> Uh, proclaiming about just the nair and the flip kick. Those, we just got both characters' cheesiest moves together, and now it's even again. Yep. And now uh, Colt Col wants it again. He's using he those does. lasers really well to kind of like space bacon out. Honestly, that was the first time I've seen lasers. He could have thrown them out. I just haven't been paying attention. Uh, but uh -oh, bacon. Uh -oh. 
Getting something with the up airs. How come I never see any zero suits just chuck an up B when they're juggling? I feel like you'd be... It, I know it's not true, and it's probably a little risky. I'm pretty sure any uh -oh. non-zero suit players do that. Falco like losing his sponsorship and getting his wings cut there. The top hey, stage. whoa, this game's not done yet. Okay. Plus, he has a set that's game true. to win. This game's gone by so much quicker, and I think that's what's really making Bacon do a lot better recently. Yeah, just playing more aggressive. Oh, yeah. That's true. Because last game, he was just trying to throw out moves, maybe build hit. Mm -hmm. oh, agreed. Interesting choice to grab on the whipped grab, but... I mean, that's a classic smash move. I don't know, bro. Savon told me never punish a grab with the grab. He just I mean, me that's that true. You're just going to spot dodge through it, so what's the point? You got to throw a faster move. 100. 100. Fair. Fair on the green grab. It's going to kick click. Oh, ooh, up here. Doesn't get anything off. Call him right there. He just ran to the middle of the stage and just let Bacon back on. He's scared. He's scared, bro. But again, uh, you know, it's it's not bad to go after Zero Suit off stage, but she could just kick It's not flip. bad, but you could just at least stay close to ledge. To kind of force an option. No, I agree with you. All right, Falco's feet touches her. There it the is. Happy oh feet. my goodness, he almost died. He yeah. almost did, but he does have another stop. Yeah. Well, now he doesn't. So, 67, 73% on the extra credit. Tri uh oh. Oh, okay. Now Ooh, gotta, he could have gotten some. How did he not get grounded there? I don't exactly know. Bacon has warmed up. The kid's moving now. So, oh. Okay, okay. You're starting to see a little bit of that zero tech moving, right? Yeah. So. Maybe he just needed to warm up a little bit. He only played one set already in this tournament. I don't know if he played any friendly, so. No, he was probably. Uh, commentating on his YouTube. <laughs> was he live streaming? He was live streaming. <laughs> but now he's live winning with a tub over called to go to game three. Yes, sir. Oh. Well, where do you think? <laughs> <laughs> I can't. Where, <laughs> where are we going to go game three? Where are we going to go game three? My guess? I'm glad you asked. <laughs> Battlefield. I'm guessing Battlefield. No, I. F uh, or is I'm, DSR on? If I had to guess, I would say not FT because there's no platforms, and I swear every character loves platforms. I said Little Mac, obviously. <laughs> yeah, let's say Little Mac, but or, um, like, any zoner, right? Any I I can see Town being picked, honestly. I keep saying honestly, I don't know why. But um, I know Falcon likes that stage. I've seen Till they play. Recently, and they went east on the town. Or they just might went to a Japanese stage. I don't know. Japanese stage? It, it was in Japanese. Oh, okay, okay. But, um, honestly, they can go any stage they want if they both agree to it. But, Column's still trying to decide which oh, one. Oh, the battlefield. If it's not battlefield, it's Smashville. That's my guess. I might be way off with this town the city, big. But, uh, yep, it's Smashville. All right. Oh, wow. That's fair. That was a good guess. Not a guess. Strategic. Oh, you just know the players that well. Why do you guys think I'm millions of dollars rich from all my... Oh, never mind. And you're coming to Smash events? <laughs> yeah, I'm not rich, but... <laughs> all right, game three, Smashville. Bo oh, with black zero suit suit now instead of uh, the red one, noticed. And then Falco also switched his color. I think they both just needed something different now. Yeah, they just needed an outfit change, honestly. <laughs> Get out those old raggedy clothes. <laughs> they needed some new Gucci outfits, right? Because so. you, you know, like every action like or anime, See? they switch clothing and they just play. They're just stronger. Or hair colors, right? That's <laughs> or hair colors. I'm not talking about Dragon Ball. Bacon, getting him off stage. Early head start now. What is this music playing? I don't know. Who picked this? This is definitely not Animal Crossing music. Nah, this is uh, KK Slider going crazy. <laughs> this is a uh, remix version. <laughs> oh, that was a good call out. Bacon is just call. Oh, see, Ooh. right there. That's what I'm saying. Upbeat, right? You gotta not be scared. Yeah, exactly. Oh, there we go. Oh, that that's just Wow, this the stage top is of the corner. That was crazy. I know Greninja would have died. All right, up tilt just to show off there. There we go. Oh, there we go. Side B. Column thinking that he'd just 
throw out like a neutral B, but nope. Yeah, side B stays out for so long there. So yeah. I feel like both characters are kind of playing an aerial game right now, right? And Falco was winning at first, but Bacon's got... Oh, that, this oh. should be oh. death. Ooh, Ooh. Why, just missed why, it. Why did that not ground? Or why did that uh, not dunk? Well, he was in the air. <laughs> why did that not dunk? Sorry. Uh, he, there's a certain hitbox to hit. Is it Was that character influenced, or was that like Bacon just missed it? I th think... He just missed it, honestly. He could have backed up in there, but he just went up and down. Oh, okay. There. But, um... This is, uh, oh, that was nice. Wow. Oh, I, was God. that true? Uh, I don't want to be... I don't want that to be true, honestly. I'm just going to guess because it's Falco that it was true. Because it came out of an up tilt. Uh-oh, uh-oh. It, it was actually uh -oh. a down here. Yes, sir. Big damage. Have you 63. ever seen a true 63%? And you're dead. Oh, wait. Wow. I, he didn't want to rest the up because just in case Pelham mashed Making out of it. it. Yeah, that was fair. I don't know. It's really hard to mash out of that ground. It is. I know you're, certain... you're. I'm sitting with a pro masher 2020 Thanks. champion of Michigan, but. There's certain moves where I just somehow can't mash out of, like Inklings. Or, um, oh, Inklings takes Ridley side B. He has killed um, side B's twice, which is not. I don't know about you, but I, I don't know, usually die like that. Uh, no, because I don't play against zero suits that often, so. Fair, fair. I, I don't even play against GOAT that often. There are like 20 million zero suits at this tournament right now. Oh, come on. There can't honest. be that many. There are, there are, I think every zero suit in Michigan is at this tournament. Bacon is racking, but we, this, this is last stock percentage. This is actually a really yes, good game. Yes, it is. And honestly, I'm not really too worried about Column because he can just get one L up tilt and get, go right up to 63% on his earlier this like game. Like this? Like this? Oh, I thought he was going to nair there. Um, it kind of like it. It's only half of it, though. But Bacon, try to be more defensive right now. Oh, wow. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, my gosh. This is anyone's game. It is. They just keep trading percent, percent leads. Somebody's going to go home crying. Crying? <laughs> I don't know about that, but <laughs> I'll be quite surprised. But oh, uh, here we go. Oh, oh didn't I quite get he, the read. I he was going to get that. That was actually a crazy... Falco's up smash as you reaches that platform? It does. Hmm. But only like three of the hits, if I'm not mistaken. Went low there. I'm isn't, not used to people. Isn't it only like a two hit move though? I don't know. <laughs> Got him. You're just saying stuff. So. Yeah. The secret to commentating is just, you know, just keep talking. Oh, wow. I'm surprised Bacon didn't get that flip kick. And the fair's fair going to do kills. it. Wow. That was a good Calm set, honestly. makes it to top 16 in the winner side. Bacon's got to play one more game down to get to uh, the top 16. Top 16. Side. Yep. Oh, no. Oh, I would be heartbroken if I was Bacon. He had that game one. Zero suit. I guess yeah. this, this, he, this he was proved. learning the game. Or yeah. the learning the matchup in the first game. Second game, he learned taking that second game. Mm -hmm. But, unfortunately, Callum said no and stopped him right there. I guess this just three. proves that Zero Suit is bad. This is Does it, though? Now guaranteed. We Losing haven't seen the, the other Zero Suits play yet. That's true. I don't even we know if they're going to allow them to play on stream. I don't know if you want more Zero Suits to play on stream. I do not want more Zero Suits. But shout out to Bacon. Great game. Yep. Now we got either Copal. I see Lunch is sitting down, so I'm a, they're going to play Lunches versus this Dasha This is now. the game I wanted to see. I wanted yep, to we, see. We both get to see our oh, sets. Oh, gosh. This is going to be awesome. Old Lunch. We got Lunches, right? The Samus main, who is carried by Samus, right? Yep. DO of Michigan. And then we have the new and approved Ducks, who is just has, – has, Ducks has Fox down hard. Question, do you Answer. think he's going to go Wolf? Because I, I think he respects Grayson. I think he respects Grayson a ton, and I think he's going to – I think he would go straight to Fox, if, I, if I'm not mistaken. I can see that, yes, actually. But um, he might – actually, I can see him just trying out Wolf Game 1 at least, just feeling it out. But, but but see, that's the thing. is like if, if he does, then he's got to win two games in a row, right? And yeah. this, this is, you know – I, while we're technically doing pools here, right? And we don't even know what Seth's going to be playing, Agreed. even though I did see lunch sit down. Yeah, but and, and I will say, like, this is pools, right? Yeah. But we're only going to top 16 after this, right? So this is this is an important match. You do not want to go into losers this early. 
Mm -hmm. No. And um, you have mentioned before that Dux has been losing the lunches the last couple of sets, right? Yeah. So, but I, I, I'm gonna be real with you though. Like I said, Dux has changed, right? And He's the, changed, man. I I can see him pretty dominantly taking out Grayson. But again, Grayson did win uh, doubles with Onan. You know, it was a good. Both guys played with equal partnership there, Onan yep. and Onan and Grayson. <laughs> so, here we go, PS2 classic. Um, Got to say it every time. Just remind everyone that you should have variety in your stage picks. Sponsored by me. No one ever does though. Nope. So you'll notice Cam's gonna or Ducks is gonna play very patient, and as soon as he gets that first hit, as you see, he's just gonna run train. He's gonna smack the entire time. Oh wow, oh. the pivot grab. Here we go. Wow. Great or lunges, pulling out his own stuff. Dude, can't, Ducks has been using his uh, down air a ton, and I love it. That move is so good. Yes. Roll. I mean it. Is what a are good you doing move. there, you can, Samus? You can uh, combo down air into up smash. So I've never seen a Samus fight ghosts in a game, but Grayson, <laughs> Grayson's got a problem with that right screen. He, he's, they, it made him mad. <laughs> you know, maybe he's just trying to predict. Maybe there's no ghost. I don't know. I'm just trying to get inside of lunges. <laughs> yeah, he can hear you. <laughs> that was good patience again. Ducks, ducks. Uh, he's got this character down. Really glad he's playing Fox too and not Wolf. Uh oh, he's got two pivot grabs. Oh, bye bye. Although I kind of do want to see how much he's learned with Fox. That's Wolf, you mean? Did I say? Yeah, I did I say, say Fox. Fox. I meant Wolf. Here's what I'm thinking. So yeah, Fox is winning. It's it's 69-0 right now, right? But you got to think, this is Fox, right? Yes. And this is Samus. Fox could one die. One dies early. One dies early, and the other is a troll, <laughs> right? <laughs> Oh, he just up and up smash right there. Yep. And wow, he just goes right up and back airs. Did we just see a back air kill? I thought back air doesn't kill. It's... I... I don't know. I'm new to Fox, honestly. How many but. moves can Fox pull out before Sam is able <laughs> to do a move? <laughs> Alright, stay on stage. Uh, uh, the boy boxing. Oh, wow, he did not even punish that. He tried to, at least. But... Is that... I feel like Lunch is just gonna have to switch stages. Grayson is getting smacked. <laughs> He's he, gotta, something's yeah. gotta change here. All right, there it is. That's the game changer. He has not <laughs> that done the that first time all game, and that's honestly what he needs. He needs a little. Oh undershirt. my goodness! Back here killed again. Yeah, yeah it did kill did again. It. Well, now you know. Back here kills. Back here it's been kill. pro proven twice. That was a quick game. And if I'm London. Was it only a minute? That was short. It was, I want to say it was a minute. Min minute and a half, I would yeah. say. Here's that Octopath music. I'm surprised you know that. I'm a, I'm a big Octopath fan. <laughs> um, it's nothing to be embarrassed about. I'm not embarrassed. I, I, just, I just said it on stream. I said it to the, I don't know how many people. It just sounded like you said that pretty quietly. I don't know how many people are watching it. I definitely won't be rewatching cool. this. Uh, you gotta study your matches. Uh oh, big change here coming from Grayson. Now moving from the mid tier character to the high mid tier character of Samus. He was Dark Spamus before. Yeah, earlier today he did say he feels more comfortable with Dark Samus, but I, it's the same thing, is it not? Dark Samus is a little bit more floaty. <laughs> I noticed with this one, Grayson's just trying to smack his up out as much as possible. So if I'm Grayson, I wanna you wanna slow the game down, right? <laughs> Oh boy, <laughs> that was so slow. That was extremely <laughs> slow. Yeah, and that's the problem with lunges. He's just—he's been like playing the super defensively this whole time. He's and dead. Yeah, one down that here off stage. That was one advantage, and he took it. He took the best. That was the best thing he could have done right there. <laughs> that was awesome. Well, clearly he got the stock. So, and see now, now you got the now the you got the Grayson. All he's gonna do is he's just gonna try and rack up as much percentage as possible, right? Get as I am surprised he, he tried to go off stage right there. Oh my gosh, is Ducks dead here? No. He doesn't have he a doesn't jump. He doesn't have side B. He's dead. Woo! Grayson. Oh my goodness. This yeah. is a 3-1 swing. He, I think Ducks is just messing up a little bit, honestly. He, uh, Ducks, uh, I will say this. Ducks has only messed up twice, right? And Grayson and has taken full <laughs> advantage and with stocks every time. Oh my gosh, that's what four, is this? That's five. Please, Six. please DI out. Oh my gosh. That was five in a row.
Uh, well, you gotta think. Each time it gets stale, so it's, he's not gonna go as far. So just gonna keep comboing and comboing and comboing. That's just not true. Alright. <laughs> you, you can get out of there. <laughs> Pivot grab. He's off stage. Grayson, Grayson has really taken advantage of Ducks off stage in this game. Yes, I mean, to be fair, he kind of did. To, it's, Ducks is bringing this back a little yes, bit. Yes, 100%. But, I mean, Grayson's just racking up that percentage, so. Oh, that was such a bad grab, but oh. he didn't die for it. He up smashed it. there. So it, That was so. Oh, this should. Oh, grabs. It's a little unfortunate. Ducks needs to calm down, not throw out that up smash. He's throwing out up smash out, kind of like how Blue Boot just kind of fights Ghost with Roy, right? And yeah, yep. it's gonna. I mean, as you do as Roy. Ducks lives here. And now. Need to take a stack here. Yeah, honestly, Lunches just needs a one up throw to kill. So he's feel. No, no, never mind. He doesn't have rage anymore. But, uh. Honestly, anyone's game, because as you saw first game, Ducks just kind of ran with nothing, because. Obviously, I'm wrong because lunch is just one that game. I was trying to make a point, but I just got my tongue twisters. Yeah? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Game three. This is. I think this is probably what we were expecting, right? A game three. Although, yeah. after that first game, I thought Ducks was just going to roll away. But Grayson kind of woke As up, got his stocks that he needed, and kept that advantage. So now we have a game three that I'm assuming. Yep, yep, there yep. it is. Honestly, if anyone here is sponsored by Red Bull, it would be lunches since I always see him with the Red Bull. Grace, well, we were for a little bit over yeah. at Grand Revival. Yes, we were. Oh, yes. We were sponsored. Yep. But we are not part of Aura, and this is not an Aura event. But I always see him drinking Red Bull, so maybe he took a sip before game two. Yeah, that boy's heart has to be broken. And Have they're actually back. going right back to PS2. I'm not, you know, I'm not surprised that the Ducks picked it. I think I'm... If I'm Grayson, I do not want to go back here, considering that dominant peak that he had. But, Ooh. but we are seeing pace and move right now. Yup. Dude, that, no, he's got those pivot grabs so good. And all Lunch is doing is trying to get Fox off stage. Oh yeah, 100%. Once Fox is off stage, it's an even matchup. Oh, is it even at that point? <laughs> it's not even when it's on stage. No, it rotates, you know. Oh, I didn't think he had it done. I thought it. I was. Fox. I definitely thought he was dead too. Just let yep. him get back. Ooh. Oh, wow. That was, uh, excuse what is me? going on? Uh, excuse me? All these multi -pit hits, everyone's just falling out. Oh, I just saw when Samus jumped. He had a little jetpack thing behind him. That, is that what he uses to jump? She. She, excuse me, sorry. Dead. That should be dead. 110%. Yep. Oh, I'm sorry, you got caught in a fair. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> and I'll have you know, it wasn't even off ledge. And oh my gosh. Ducks even it up right now. I'm Back sweating just watching. There it is. There it is. Honestly, it's really uncomfortable watching Samus do a tar shot right into the grab. <laughs> that that kind of hurt me too, yeah. But nothing happened to it because he shielded it. Here's Ducks' chains. Almost had it. He was doing really well game two with this chain too. But just kind of dropping it. Maybe it's a PS2 thing. I don't know. He did pick the Sage. This, yeah. Ducks is starting to get back into it. He's playing a little bit more patient, you know, and yep. that's really... And he hasn't gotten off stage. That's the biggest thing, right? In, in a while, yes. Um, that was interesting. Oh, he didn't keep his reflector up. Could have. Uh-oh, see ya. You yep. do not want to air dodge against Fox. He will punish you for it. Yeah. Especially when Ducks right now has been just reading all of Lunch's landing options. Yeah. So now, Grayson on last stock for winners right now. He needs to really get a comeback here, but Ducks is kind of running away with it. Yep. Honestly, Lunge is probably going to be looking for one of those spikes in a little bit. I don't even think you need a spike, honestly. You just need to get rid of the stock quickly, right? I, I guess mean, a spike that, will do that, but... <laughs> but that's what his whole game plan was in the set set. Oh, and man. no punish. Ducks is looking. Well, yeah. <laughs> You're saying he just slow. really wanted to charge that charge shot. <laughs> Typical Samus man. <laughs> what else are you gonna do? Dude, look, look at him. He's just he's just jumping and back air. Alright. What's he gonna land with? Alright, just let him land. This is GG. 
Is it? This is GG. Yep. Good yeah. Miss dash tag granted up smash. Ducks takes it over lunges. He's gonna play Copal now and with a two stock. With a two stock. That was dominant. That was that was Ducks playing smart there, honestly. He really started to figure out what to do there. Oh yeah, and, for sure. And now we're gonna get I don't know where Grayson's going on losers, but he's gotta play one more game. I don't think we have any winners matches left unless they Yeah, I'm on assuming somebody. Copal and Bubble score. No, nope, they haven't they played. They have not played yet. So we'll probably get Copal and Bubble score. Yep. Bubble score. So besides his name, no, he does not play Pokemon Trainer. Uh, he plays a plethora of characters. Oh, does he? Like twenty. Isn't he from Grand Rapids area? <sighs> I I know yeah, he showed yeah. up the no, le weekly. Le I'm last pretty night. sure he's from Grand Rapids. Yeah. I usually see him at like Kalamazoo and stuff like that, but um, I'm not positive. But yeah, Copal versus Bubble score. I can see him walking up now. Uh, so we'll get. King K versus, I don't know, some high tier. <laughs> and then we got... Look, Pick one, yeah. and you might be right. Yeah, was, honestly. Boo Bear took a win over Desi 2-0, so Desi moves down to the losers as well. Uh, let me... Clearly, we didn't want to watch any Boo Bear sets. Yeah, I mean... <laughs> oh, you you didn't want it. Oh, that was probably your want You want to watch Rob, dude? I don't want to watch Rob. I don't know. Rob is kind of exciting sometimes. Yeah, maybe. You never know. That's true. He might surprise and you. Know you. What? Save on, save on's the savior of West, right? So looking over at loser side, Dark Nova's playing Dove, and so we we do have some losers game going on right now. Oh, do we? Yep. What is it? Desi and ZS Chris are playing each other, so we got two zero suit mains playing against each other to figure out how to go in. Max, hey, that's your dream, just getting rid of it, the zero suit as well. Not hundred percent. Oh, and we're just actually just in the game. Ah, <laughs> 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 down. This, All right. This is we what we pop up with too. This is you know, and I'm not even upset. We got two two King K's boxing. Copal versus Bubble Score. Bubble Score decides I don't want to play high tier. So anyone that guessed high tier, you're you're lost. All right. Yeah. Go home. Although I have I was watching Bubble Score earlier. He was playing King K. He was doubles. playing King K. In doubles. In doubles. Okay. Yep. The back throw. Yep. I don't they know. Didn't want to get hit by the crown. So you got that uh, throw in this ability. I don't know how smart it is to go against Copal in a Echo match, right? When that doesn't mean anything. I feel like honestly. Copal knows how to play his own character, right? He should, and because he plays King K and Jigglypuff. He does play. King so there's K. only two characters, but he mainly plays King K. Winner of this match will play that Ducks and winners as well. Ooh. So they're, these guys are fighting to just play a fox. Right, and I think, and neither of them probably want to fight it. No, and I think at the Arcadian was the last time Ducks and Copal played each other, and they uh, Ducks went on Ducks to win. Won. Yep, but it was a very, very close set. And it was best of five. I think the next one's only best of three. So yeah, I think top eight's best of five. All right, that was he's ooh, still good. Did he? No, he didn't tech it. But I mean, it's just this man is just, just spamming moves. Which one? <laughs> Both. <laughs> Because I, I really needed you to specify. Oh no. He's trying to cheese him. Nah, he good, he good. He good. Oh, wow. he, he, didn't, go. he didn't hold it this time. I'm quite surprised. But, uh, Bulba. Not finding any answers right now. Except right there, getting the fair. Yeah, that was commentator curse right there, dude. Why did that man. He just took it. <laughs> he just I said. Mean, I feel All like right. I was allowed to do that since he was down two stats. Fair, fair. So, JV3 or JV2, I don't know what the wording is. JV3. JV3 for... You go up one more stock. JV7. There's a JV7 for Copal. Yep. Who's up now 1-0 against Bulbal Score. Please don't go back to PS2. I got two wishes for Bulbal Score. One, don't go back to PS2, thank gosh. Two, all he has to do is last a minute. Okay. Against right, Jigglypuff? One, yeah, okay, now I'm a little worried. <laughs> but he's just got to last a minute, right? Yep. We don't want a repeat of uh, what happened earlier. Chip? Chip, yep, Chip and Copal. All right, yeah, we, we, don't, we, we really go. don't want to give Copal any more clips than he needs. I will, you know, I will say, um, Bubble Score does have experience against Col uh, King K or Jigglypuff, and you can kind of notice in the way that this game's kind of a little bit different, because... Uh, there's a Jigglypuff on Kalamazoo, and then Bubble Squirt goes there all the time and plays him. Oh, this might be death. That yep. is death. I don't know if that was good DI. I, I, it didn't look like it, but I think he just accepted it. And that is why Falco is high tier. 
<laughs> Still hot about that? <laughs> I mean, makes sense. He is hot here. Why would you try to punch? I don't know. But it's it, it's looking just like game one. This is kind of top, yeah. Except it's okay, he's have... got ten seconds and we're fine. We're fine. You never know. That no, I would be. <laughs> You'll be quite surprised. A lot different of a game. Yeah. Copal is very good off stage with Jigglypuff, right? So he's just yeah. able to punish and yeah. Yep. And and King K is he not should be able to kill stage. right here. I would just went for dash tag. I don't think dash tag would have killed at 97. Would it? Maybe it wouldn't have, but you know, I'm commentating. I'm just throwing out words. 100, 100. percent I don't actually know what I'm doing. Oh, Copal totally wanted the rest there when he got the up tilt. Not gonna like lie, him. I'm always surprised. I don't see more that people trying to footstool Jigglypuff. Should it? Oh, it was not kidding. Nope. Footstool Jigglypuff? Yeah. You want to go off stage? I would never go off stage against Jigglypuff. Why That's, not? That is too scary. It's funny, though. Yeah, it's funny till you die at 10. You don't say that. No, I don't, because I don't play a character that dies at 10, but... <laughs> Except Diddy. I should play Diddy a little bit. Um, okay. Yeah, look at just... They are Up even there. percent almost. Nope, never mind. I haven't seen a punish for Jigglypuff's just walk, running in there. You're dead. Goodbye. GG, no re. Yep, that was actually a pretty quick set. That lasted less than five minutes. Now, a couple going on to take the winner's side while Bubble Score boosts down to losers and we'll play somebody. I don't know, but that was it. That was our side of the tournament, yep. David. So. I don't know if we're going to keep commentating. I, I think, don't think so. Yeah, we probably have to go out there. but And go play our matches since, yeah, I'll be in top side of winner side. And, and I'll be on loser side. But, you know. Yeah, you probably have to play right away. Loser honestly. in the tournament, but a winner in my heart, you know. Yep. You're just here for support. I'm here for support. This Clemson Clash tournament. Yep. So, all right. It was good talking with you, David. Yeah, While nice we were talking commentating. to you. Chat, hope you guys had fun. Bye. Yep. See ya. I'm Sam Mazzola, and I'm the team leader for Fair State Call of Duty. 48 and 29 on this good man. Oh, and he's so just so locking nice down shot. the point. Oh my god, Karaka. I'm graduating with an ISI degree, which is Information Security and Intelligence. My education here at Ferris was amazing. Um, me, I came from Wayne State previously and Alma College before then, and uh, it was well, the right fit for those two previous schools. Um, but when I came to Ferris, uh, I started out with another degree entirely and then eventually transferred into what I'm doing now, and I've loved it ever since. And I highly recommend anyone who's looking into any sort of cybersecurity, definitely check out Fair State. 30 Rock in, on a, in a really advantageous spot here. If he can get kill. this guy in Reno, that's huge. Can he get the guy coming from patio? Yes, huge. he can. Big kills from Kronika, what a leader. Can he get this one kill coming out right now? Yes, he can. Kills. That's this a big kill. Huge. One more on Georgia really Alley. Really oh my huge. God, Kronika. I do feel like I've got uh, gained a lot from being part of the East West team of Ferris. Um, I definitely wish I would've known earlier about the program. I came in last fall after I saw an email I had sent out. And it's definitely something that I would recommend anybody uh, who's interested in playing even competitively or even casually just to, you know, make some new friends and have a good time. Oh, he's going for the assassination. Oh, no. He no, does no, it to him. No. Oh, Caraco. Coming from a background where I played competitively for orgs and other um, things like that for about 10 years now, it's definitely been a uh, supplemented it. And I feel like uh, a lot of the people that haven't done that definitely have a lot to learn from Ferris Esports. Even if you don't plan on pursuing something in the future, it's definitely an experience that I think if you play games and are interested in competitively at all, it's something you definitely should look into. Uh, my favorite moment from uh, this past year uh, here was probably our game versus Davenport. We ended up losing and we still took it down between uh, two rounds and it was just a uh, good showing how uh, when we play together, uh, good things can happen. I mean, I believe, I'm a Karaka believer. Karaka is gonna read this, he sees him, he sees him. You're just playing Ring Around Rosie right now. Hey, Kuraka oh. with a 1v4! Oh my god, Kuraka! Absolutely oh my bad. god! What's your favorite memory from, from being in the first sports? I can't say it on the interview. <laughs> on the game on the map let's go oh he no caracas no <laughs> there's a spot for everybody in every type of game um speaking from my experience for call of duty uh we have the more competitive a team who you know goes out to try to win every day and then we have the academy team who definitely just comes out to have fun and be part of the team so there's definitely a place for everybody and uh just take a look there's always something for you
still.
We are back. It is time for top 16 as we get into game number one between Copal and Ducks. I am Maximus here by myself for a little bit. Uh, I'll be joined by some other commentators later on as uh, they are currently still in the loser side of things. So This is an interesting one. This is a run back from, I believe, Uprising and uh, on many other occasions. This is a, uh, these two have a bit of a history with each other. Uh, I believe in uh, the most recent case, I think Ducks might have come out on top, but do not quote me on that. I'm unsure. So you're getting a game number one right here on Town and City. Not pl not PS2 for once. Has uh, Copal already looking for a big dunk ski on stage? Not going to find it. But the power of the belly is going to be one of the biggest stories here. Because how much... What an angle there. Oh my gosh. Ducks obviously having some melee history with an angle such as that. I had to ride it perfectly or else that man is stuck underneath the stage. Already more belly armor coming out. And now such a close set. The two of them just uh, waiting side by side. Belly's still doing it, but that's going to poke the top of his shield. But there's a drop kick and he's dead. Just exploded him all the way across the stage. And now it's Kobol's, Kobol's opportunity to get more extra credit. Finals time is starting soon, so get all the extra credit you can. Unfortunately, Kobol only got, got about 20%. That would very rarely increase your grade at all. So. Back up to even here. Catching him below the stage, getting the, the fair on the getup. The up tilts confirm Cope. Cope getting taken for a ride here by Ducks. One up there. The Ducks special. Multiple uppers in a row. But then you come into belly armor and you wonder just how many is he really going to get? It could be a lot tougher to get that up there through that big old belly. K okay, rule. Already took his crown armor. Coming up. Oh, he's not going to land on the platform. Good, so he's not going to get carried away. But, oh, just missing the crown up there is Copal. Here's the throw. Waits for the, uh, waits for the crown to get back. And up smash is that's going to be a star KO is Copal. Now on his last stock. And so is Ducks off that nair. And once again, folks, at this point in the tournament, until we get to top eight, all sets are still best to a th best of three. All of top eight will be best of five, and so these two, it is winners. They're fighting to see who goes on the loser side. There's the crown armor up there. Up tilt. Sorry. There's one up there. There's two up airs from ducks. There's a third ducks up there. I'm gonna get up. Not falling for the uh, get up fair. But K rule got his crown back. Take a little vacuum cleaner ride on it. But there's a back throw. What's gonna be the play here? Neutral get up, up smash. No fear. It's gonna kill off the top as Ducks taking game number one over Copal. Took a little bit of adventuring and stuff, but I did eventually find a. Yeah, uh, there is a vending machine in this. And the Jigglypuff is coming out. We're playing Melee now, boys. Three, two, one, go! Copal seeming to much rather prefer the Jigglypuff matchup to this. In the case that uh, K. Rool is such more combo heavy, combo to food. And oh, he's making it back there. Is Copal? He is, okay. 
That's once again catching him, but oh, Copal, no, Copal, no. Miss inputting a sing, and that's going to be an early death here. Copal's got a lot of ground to make up, especially Miss. He doesn't want to be sent to the losers this early. It increases your likelihood of getting running into some super extra killers. But so far, Ducks taking every inch he's been given from this lead of an actual SD. Copal needs to get rid of this stock fast. Right there, the fair is going to do it. Yep, Fair's going to do it right there. After all that, Copal still sitting at 92%. Ducks is zero on this fresh dock. He's got to be very careful. He up smash is pretty much explosion. Up air might be explosion. Back air is probably explosion. There's a lot of things that's going to kill right now. Oh, right there. Hung up, hung in the air, just like a hanging slider in baseball. Just ducks crushed it. I really hope Copal knows it's the best of three. Oh, there's a dash. Gets the sing. It goes for the F smash, gets it. There we go. Now, back to an even game. 54% on... 54% on Copal. Ducks on a fresh duck. a drill. Get him off stage. Oh, but a fair of his own. Carrying a drip. Drag down fair. One hit a fair. Come the lasers. Patience. There's the pound. No follow-up, though. Rapid Jad putting in a lot of work here for Ducks. Cobalt at 102. And the back air. Not going to do it just yet, but he's going to get some extra some extra credit there with the, uh, with the lasers. Your Copal, the last thing you want. Oh, he was gearing up for that F smash. Now you're off stage. What's it going to be? Is that going to be? That's that's death. Firefox, that's death. Co Ducks taking it 2-0 over Copal here. Copal does not look happy about that. But he's still got a loser's run. So I doubt we'll see the last of him. Looking up at the bracket now, it looks like we're going to have... And it looks like West Michigan is just commanding the winner side right now. So we have Onan versus Adorable Knight, Boo Bear versus Ducks, all four West Side stalwarts. And then coming into losers, we have Wilf going over Vandio, uh, Ivan, and Azora High still playing, Desi versus Bacon. That's another, that's another ZSS ditto. And they'd have to go into easy. And it looks like Drip taking it over lunges in quite an upset. Ferris State represent is now he's going to have to take on CK47 to make top eight. And it looks like sitting down now we have Onan versus Adorable Knight. And with that, I do believe we're going into the land of best of five. Since this is a winner's semis match, and this is for and these two players are already in top eight. Onan. Onan, you and your Zoomer humor. Now 
we should be getting right into it. The Greninja? Who's he, who's he going to start with? That's a big question. The Steve is already here. Here we go, starting PS2. The Gentleman Starter and the Onin Steve combos are already out of play. There's 53. Coming in big. Adorable Knight. Adorable Knight unable to get anything started. Still 0% on Onin. And that's going to be a full 0 to death. Oh my gosh, dude. Just up tilt strings into the ledge trap. Death, there's a minecart in there. It was a, over a hundred percent zero to death. My goodness, Onan, this character is nuts. For that fair, fair kill confirm, he gets so well. Able to find it. Onan still. Oh, don't want to be caught in the Thunderdome. Gotta be careful around Steve's blocks. There's a back air, just a little bit more mining. There's a fair. What's gonna keep the follow up here? Go. Oh, I like the idea, but unfortunately, it fell too deep for it. And now it's a three to one deficit. Up here, not going to connect. Going to send him. Is Oh, but he's going to just glide right on by. Safe landing. Not going to get the up smash. But dash attack up air will finally do it at 145 to take Onan's first stop. There's one dash attack. There's the Nair. Big, big shuriken. Oh, just getting clipped. More up air strings coming out. Durban Knight still has a lot of ground to make up. He's gotta be a, he's gotta be slick about it. Uh oh, but the minecart's not gonna help. Only gets one one diamond, a piece of gold, anything. Uh oh, gets caught in the minecart again. Luckily, he mashes out of it. There's a fair. Follow up. Gets the up smash. Even off the block, it was an untackable situation. Now we have a pretty much a brand new game here. Still got a little bit of ground to make up. 82%. Gotta be careful. Don't want Oni to get any of his resources. There's a back air. Gotta be careful with the minecart. He's got stone online now. There's, there's still a lot of damage coming in. That makes it all go away, but, but there's the anvil taking it, just explodes him. Just gone. Poof, and a puff of smoke, he's dead. Let's own it to game number one. Still sick with the Greninja. I don't think we're going to see a single character swap this set. That's just my opinion. Three, two, one, go. It's starting off strong. Already getting hit by a minecart. Already taking 50%. Luckily, he got out pretty, pretty well there for that. Only being 50%. Minecart again. He's just playing good setup. 
the Steve is still an enigma that a lot of people don't or have it's like struggling to get around like just does so many weird things like he plays Minecraft in Smash Brothers and it just it doesn't work it's it's just tough to understand for a lot of people I have no idea how it works There's another down smash. Still sitting at uh, only 3%, but there's another down smash. Well, he got hit by the Lytra, so he uh, made it back safe. Oh, I like the idea, but he went too hard on it. Now he's stuck in the block. There's a lot of shield damage, but is the upper not going to do it yet? He's fishing for grab. We tech those. There's a Nair up air. Not going to kill it. Goes for a big... Goes to try and read an anvil. Not going to find it there. Good job. He waited until... Waited until the hit, and he missed the ledge. Owning missing ledges. But it didn't matter, because just anvil. Grab up throw, then attack in place. Has still had a little bit of. Had to get him invincibility perfect, so he didn't get hit by the up smash. And 41%. Walking the dog on him. Going up, getting the grab. Not finding him, sorry. The iron block, he, has, he is very low on resources that he has to make back. This is, the, this is the perfect situation for Adorable Knight. You don't want him to start building supplies. But you also don't want to overextend. There you go. There's a forward throw. Get him off stage. I don't believe he can make a minecart anymore. Dash deck. And oh, and there's the. There's some gold. The fair, not going to kill yet. Steve's still surprisingly heavy. But the back air is going to do it. There's a forward throw. He's trying to cover ledge with a big shuriken. Pure space. Patience. Gets the up smash on him on ledge. Dash attack machine. Adorable Knight doing a very, very good job of keeping him, like, limiting his resources. Making sure he can never really mine, but there's an S-Mash, and that's going to be game number two. For Adorable Knight. And now the swap to Alex. Everybody knows the biggest character swaps are those between the Steve costumes to make sure Alex doesn't quite play like Steve. Neither does an Enderman or Zombie. And now Onan being very, 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 very knowing that uh, one of the biggest problems with Steve is if you limit his resources, what's he going to do? If he doesn't have stuff to build on, I mean, he can still do that. He can still walk the dog on you. And even with one block of dirt, he can pull out crazy up -throat. Confirms. This character just seems like Luigi with extra steps. A great patience to wait for him to get out of the minecart. Gets a big charge up smash to take the first stock. He's gonna make it back. He's gonna make it back safe. Oh, catches him with an up smash. Not gonna kill just yet. But you're still letting Steve get resources. There's the anvil. 
drop him, and now Steve's extra dangerous. Steve has gold mine cart rails, and he has diamond tools. You don't want to get up tilted once. This character has now become a touch of death. But just letting him build more resources isn't going to help either. And so far, Dorval Knight's doing a really good job of not getting hit. Oh, don't want to get walked the dog. Don't get walked across stage. Getting walked across stage. Now Smash not going to land. Gets the backer. I like that. Adorable Knight managing to get out of the Steve shenanigans. Not going to get the fair off it. Would it would it kill? But now it's throw. Oh my gosh. Back throw. You tech it. You're just stuck in place for an S smash. That is a kill confirmed. That's filthy. That's just disgusting. There's the Nair. Now you just, what are you going to do? You just got to sort of attack the blocks and wait for him. You threw him into his own block, and now you're dead for it. And now it is 2-1 for Onan. going to this pivotal, pivotal. Winning game three as well. Sticking with the Greninja, liking it. There's the dash attack coming up here. Sorry about that. As he's just... This is just Steve, people. This is Steve. This is what Steve does. Places blocks. Drops anvils. Anvils do fall if the block below is destroyed. And they do a lot of damage. They still do damage. There is a minecart. But here, oh, yep, just one up tilt back air. My gosh. Oh, and he falls, gets caught right in the up smash. And now, yep, with the gold, it increases his, uh, <laughs> the gold increases his frame data, makes his up tilts even faster. There's a forward throw. Now, how's he going to get off stage? No, he's just get let back on with a nice little side B. Auto combo the uh, the up tilt string. Not going to get the sweet spot of that up smash. Minecart getting caught. Is that going to be back here? Death? No, he's living. The little footstoolies. And there's an S-Match to even it back up here. But Adorable Knight still is almost 100% down. And just footstool anvil. Such a nasty good turn. Up tilt strings. Now he's just building iron on him. Eighty-four percent. He's got diamond unlock. It's looking rough for Adorable Knight. One there, not going to get the up smash, not going to get the F smash. Is Onan gets a fair instead, gets his confirm, 
And he just slides right on back. Good spot dodge. Not getting hit by the landing hitbox of Anvil. There's an air. Not gonna get the F, not gonna get the fair. Off smash not landing either, putting a lot of shield pressure on that platform. He's got an extra diamond on the lock. Zappy not gonna land. Jab one, nothing else. There's a back air that's almost kills off the top. Almost only counts in horseshoes and hand grenades. And there's a back throw. Still going for these, fishing for these grabs, not finding them just yet. Rapid jab not going to do much, especially when you're a setup confirmed character like Greninja. Back throw, not enough yet. Catching him up air is going to do it, but still, he has diamond already. And just like that, that's a dash attack. He's alive, just barely. Dash attacks heading to the other side now. Not going to kill across stage yet. 156. There's two fares. But, oh my gosh, are you kidding me with that? Fair hit the crafting table, extending the hitbox, which then hit Adorable Knight to win the set. That was disgusting. Absolutely disgusting. So, congratulations to... Onin to move on to winner's finals. We, uh, we won't see the end of Adorable Knight yet, as he's just going down to losers. And uh, now it looks like we're going to see coming up Boo Bear versus Ducks for the other winner semifinal match. And then down in losers, it looks like Ivan versus Column to make top eight. Copal taking it over Wilf. Uh, CK taking it over Drip. And then we have Easy versus Bacon, also being currently played off stream, and the winner of that will also make it into top eight. Uh, Ferris's last hope, Ivan, got to take one over, got to take a set over Column in order to make top eight. Oh, never mind, never mind. Well, that was <laughs> moments before disaster. My goodness, yeah, no, Column two owed Ivan. Well, all of Ferris State is out. Uh, yay. <laughs> But we still have some very, very good uh, showings from Ivan and Drip. Uh, both of them making it, getting ninth. As it looks like on stream, they're getting set up. Between the match between Boo Bear and Ducks. The Ducks versus the Rob. Two players that know a lot about each other. They've, they've played countless times, I think, across probably three different Smash games. Drill coming out, and already Ducks looking really, really solid. Rapid Jab coming out. I'm very, very patient, waiting for the Gyro. But if Patience is the name of the game, then Boo Bear is the player. Uber known for his uh, his patience from mid combo, but he's getting kind of run around the map at the moment by ducks. This fox is as solid as a rock. There's a fair, and the deep back air catching him on the landing, but not going to get the gold percent. Gets doesn't get the near up smash. It's going to be a back throw at 155. Boo Bear dead off an up air. 
but Fox, also a very, very light character. Up till almost killing. Oh, the, what goes up must come down in the gyro lane right on top of Blue Bear. There's the up smash. Boot to the chin. Oh, going for a spike, not getting it there. Instead, he's going to get down, tilt, tech chase, down smash. State situation. There's a drill into Nair. There's two ducks up there. It's not going to get the third. Dash attack. What's it going to be? There's a back throw. And falling into the up smash. Good catch. Good roll in from Blue Bear. He's going to follow, but that's not going to help the case as Duck's taking through our second stock with an F smash. But the spin a Rooney special. And we have an even game here at the end, just at the end of game one. The parry, and here comes the up tilts. Dash attack into another Nair. That's, a fifth, that's 51 damage. Forward throw, more lasers, keep racking up the percents. The double clank, that's a DBZ moment. Here's Gyro. Oh, falling out of the up air. Oh, the tech chase not falling like he wanted it to. Rapid jab still creating more space, you know, building up, racking up that percent. Down till F smash. Down till dash jack seems to be the name of the game here from Boo Bear. 60%. Another, another forward throw. Up throw and then up air. There's an up air, and that's going to take game number one. Ducks winning it. Good on, good on Ducks coming out with authority to win game number one. Going right on back to PS2. And we see the switch to the Ness. I got caught sleeping at the wheel there for a second. Sorry about that. But yeah, we got the Ness coming out. Haven't seen it since Doubles started earlier. Rarely see it in bracket these days. Uh, I know we see a lot of the Rob does a lot of the work, but now this could just be a matchup thing that Uber is like, okay, I need the Ness. I need the, uh, I need the fast hit boxes and the long combos. And a smaller body that is not so comboable. But right now, Ducks still racking up just as much percent as last time. Despite the, despite the smaller uh, target to hit. Our stash attack is going to be a drag down upper situation. Rolls back, gets multi jab. Oh. Going for a spike, not getting it. Throw and kill confirm. No, he's gonna get fared on the way down. Eats up back here to the face. And is shine spiked? Not necessarily shine spike, but you, yeah. Just brought right on back. There is Boo Bear. There's three up airs. There's four up airs and a stock. 
Take how much, take however much you want, Ducks. Ducks is on a roll. Back there, not going anywhere. But the tail just gonna catch Ducks. But there's one up there. And just reset neutral. <laughs> reset everything. Go back to the start. Just down throw. What's gonna be? There's PK Fire, run up. Gonna go for the yo-yo option. Instead, he's gonna eat a couple up airs for trouble. If only first hit of that second one. Back throw, not gonna be sent near far enough, but Oh, we see oh we see yo-yo. Back throw again. Or no forward throw. Okay. PK fire at ledge. No yo-yo at ledge either. Up throw. Only first hit of up air. Uber needs to try and bring this back before falling down. Doesn't want to fall down to nothing. And there's a back throw all the way across H at 100. That's going to be a stock. But he still has a lot more ground to make up here. Good job for Boobar getting out of the way of that up smash. The rapid jab is going to land. Rising F, rising fair, going to get countered with the up smash. And that's two wins for Ducks. One went away from making a pretty sizable upset over Boo Bear. And we're going right on back to Rob. Rapid jab, rapid jab already. Come out full force. Uber's gonna need a lot here to bring this one back. There's a spinner Rooney. Goes for an F smash, not up tank, not up angle or anything. Tries to read a roll in for the down smash, not finding it there. Instead, he's going to get up tilted for his troubles. Not an up air. There's a down smash. Fox not dead yet. Gets back on stage. There's an up. There's a down. Sorry, down throw. And the up smash, not killing just yet. But I like this. He's playing a little bait. Unable to grab the gyro. Good job just controlling stage while Boo Bear trying to get in with these gyros. And the second gyro is going to land too. And up throw, death. And that's going to be, for the first time, I think, uh, Boo Bear taking the first stop. Up throw doesn't want to immediately lose that though. Still wants to get some extra credit. Instead, he's going to get forward throw at 154. Back here's looking like it might kill. There's some down tilts for you. Another rapid jab. Double fair. Go for an up air below the ledge. Finally gonna shield poke it. Has enough has enough uh, fuel to get back. Up tilt sent him to the sky, and there's the up air to take that first stock. Still, Uber getting a good amount of uh, extra credit percent. Little drill and a fair so that sends him straight up. Interesting DI choice for the game. Ducks doing a very good job of avoiding a lot of these projectiles. Good look, and there goes uh, oh, just sending Gyro right back at him. Parries it. Is that going to be it? No, it's going to be another forward throw. Just wants him off stage, but catches the side beat in with a down smash. Gets him with the gyro. Still not dead yet. Laser not going to land either, but the finally the fair off stage is going to do it. And with now Ducks sitting one stock here. Maybe 
there, and here comes the rapid jabs. Best option you can do against Gyro, just make sure you shield it. But down tilt, off stage, don't want to get down, don't want to get spiked. Down tilt landing, gets him tripped up. Down smash, and he's just out of down smash range. You poke the bear enough times, eventually he's gonna bite back, and that was a, that was a chomp that up smash. Gets him with the side B. Takes a second to collect his thoughts, and now he's put in a tough situation. Saibi's right into Gyro and is spiked on stage. Sorry, stage spiked with the sour spotted dare. Uber taking his first game. Still showing some life. Looks like, for the most part, your top eight is set as we keep going here. Uh, obviously, Onan and Adorable Knight, Boo Bear, Ducks, Copal, Column, and Bacon, and CK47. And there you can see uh, Adorable Knight's waiting for the winner of co uh, and all of top eight will be on stream, so don't worry about that, folks. Looks like they're going to be going into game number three here. Stop the battle. Fuck. Three, two, and here we go to one, PS2. Go. Starting big. Good job avoiding the big laser. And another down smash. And Boo Bear flying up high. Drill up smash. Not going to take it just yet. He's going to get side beat for his trouble. Wolf Flash. He's a lot more careful, Boo Bear. A lot more patient, like I said earlier. That's why I want to get up there, dear. Uh, but he's going to get back here to end and lose his first stock. Until tech chase, not gonna get, only gonna get one, but gonna fall out of the up smash, gets scooped but doesn't get exploded. It's gonna be a grab down, down throw up air, falls out of it again. What is going on with the game? That is two surefire conversions that Ducks has just fallen out of.
One up air, still putting on the extra credit too. Just grab up throw. Oh, he's gonna eat the gyro there. Still living though. Oh, but he just sent it straight to the side. Unfortunate angle there. But I feel like he didn't want to get spiked on anything else. Back is going to land. Not going to kill just yet. Almost jumping back up into his own giant laser. And the up air is going to take that one. Just keep pressuring the shield. Roll away. Good idea. There's a back throw. We're trying to get this next big Rob combo started. Drill into... There's a high up air. Luckily not enough percent where he's dead yet. One up air. Two up air. That's 76. And another rapid jab. Personally, I think he could have pulled the trigger on the up smash, but I'm. But you know what? That's why I'm behind the desk. Not tech chasing, instead getting up smashed and star KO'd, and that's it. And Ducks taking it 3 1 over Boo Bear in a pretty surprising upset. Well, good job on Ducks going on to face. Uh, all set up to play Onan in Winner's Finals. Uh, I will be right back. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to try and figure something out here. Uh, my honest expectation is that it's going to be a couple wins, but I think 
I think it'll be two one until I use Jigglypuff, honestly, in the in the next or no, it'll be three out of five, so I don't know. He has more games to work with, so I guess if Puff doesn't work out, then never mind. Yeah. Inverting my expectations today. The, so, yeah, starting out with Puff, and then uh, if it doesn't work, he goes to K roll. Yeah. The only thing is, uh, he has a history of playing uh, against Dice, who is a, uh, really good Falco, yeah. a very good Falco player on the east side. So yeah. And okay. he hates that K roll matchup for that because he just gets auto comboed. Understandable. I mean, Falco is like the one character in the game where. It feels like you get locked in the cutscene more than I would say any other character. Maybe like, I guess if you do like those pe those perfect Pikachu loops, and even then like Falco just his hitboxes are massive. Like his combos feel like it's impossible to escape from. They're all multi hits. Like you just feel stuck. Mm -hmm. I will say though, like specifically in matchups like this, so like Fox, Wolf, like basically all the spaces against Puff. I mean everybody who's played melee knows how it goes, and in this game most of the principles hold true. Like. They have two recovery options. Both of them are usually pretty linear, and Puff can cover them with just, like, adding an extra jump or two. Yep. Like, you just put out a long last and hitbox inside, but you can usually catch it. Like, even if they try to perfect snap the ledge, as long as Puff goes to intercept, it's like either you cover the option or you're safe anyway, so you might as well go for it, which Copal has done repeatedly in this tournament, going for, like, edge guards that are basically safe. You get a bunch of reward for very little, like, downside. Exactly. And, of course, everybody wants to talk about the meme, you know, Puff forward throw being so good. I think in this matchup in particular, that's going to hold true. Though, luckily, Falco's recovery isn't as bad as it is in melee in this game, so he can make it work. Copal yeah. doing a, an amazing job of just weaving in and out of these hitboxes. Still yeah. staying alive, too. Got stage spiked on the sidewall and sent him straight up in, like, the wackiest looking angle possible. No. One of the things that's, like, uh, different, I would say, in this matchup versus others. So, like, Falco has, like, the highest, like, full hop in the game because he just goes flying. So, like, when Puff tries to, like, you know, stay in that diagonal where she's really high up and nobody can touch her, he's, like, the one character that could kind of just go up there and go for, like, an unreactable, like, up air or something and just, you know, cheese the kill off the top. Like, I'm pretty sure you've seen Colm try to do that a few times where he'll just, like, full hop up and it's really fast. You know, in this game, it's three frames plus the fact that Falco just has that height. Yeah. Like, oh, that's ugh. a. What? I don't know what you're doing there, Kobo. I mean, I think he just thought he could rest out of it because nobody ever expects somebody to go for that like ball to read, especially because you know it's hard to com it's hard to combo puff. Like even with Falco, it's still hard. Just yeah, you, floaty. you do have to put like your whole hurt box in that. Yeah, and even then you're you're playing for like a lot of stray hits most of the time. Like Falco usually doesn't have to do that, and even in this matchup, you know he still gets pretty decent combos. Like his up tilt's still gonna lead him to like an up air or sometimes like a forward air or something or nair or whatever. Mm -hmm. and you can still drag down, but like you know it's Jigglypuff. She's a small character. She's not very tall. You know, she's very floaty, like, I feel like the the reward that you get off Falco combos is so much less in this matchup than you would be in, like, you know, a more normal weight or, like, someone like a Roy or, like, Falcon or something. It's very different. I get that entirely. Yeah. But right now, it seems like Copal's just bobbing and bobbing, weaving in yeah. and out. But, Co but uh, Colum, bring this back. That's the second time he's done that this game, the drag down Nair. What's, like, what's good about that, it's like if Copal jumps and he gets Nair and it's a drag down, it's like it covers the jump, it covers like a spot dodge because it's a multi-hit. Um, and now and, we're watching melee. Yeah. The other thing too with down tilt is like even if he shields a down tilt, he's still getting auto spaced by it. So Copal has to like almost retreat and reset the neutral if he get down tilt. But so like for Calm, he's got this good kill move that also spaces for him. And Copal's just thinking like, well, I can literally die at like 90 from this because... Falco's down tilt is hella strong. Ooh, good spot dodge right there. Always happens at the ledge, though. Everyone either jumps or spot dodges. Back here, yep. yep. Turn around laser. No, I didn't do it. Is he going for the spike? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but gets the F smash? No, not killing yet. That's uh. Right. He's just trying to, like, like burn out these jumps right now. I think he's dead. No, no. no but he's Copal got three jumps, three jumps. That's why he's doing this. Oh, nice dip right there. I like that. That Nair would have certainly killed had he not dip low. See Copal's just kind of floating in the air looking for his opening. Ooh, oh, I thought he was gonna go yeah. for jab block for a second there. No, goes for dash check instead. No, yeah, there's a fair. Air. That's easy. Oh, bit barely misses. And now Adam. And then he just goes for an up smash. Yeah. Oh, footstool. Does it's, he have the jumps? It's fine. It's fine. It's Jigglypuff. She's yeah, chill. Right. She's got the one of the best air dodges. She's got a pound. She's got five jumps. She's chilling. There's this is scary for. I mean, right now it's like. Ooh. Wow. Gets up. Eats the big pink boot. I was going to say, this is, like, genuinely scary for Column more so than Puff. It's like, Puff expects to die early. Mm -hmm. But the thing is, because if you hit her with, like, like a tilt or something, yeah, she's still going to live. But the problem with, like, 
specifically Falco, is you're not really going to edge guard Puff, but she can edge guard you. Even if Copal just went for like a grab or something, it's like, it's kind of like that problem with Marthritis and Melee, where it's like the hits you put out aren't going to be killing as much as the edge guards. Yeah. And you can't edge guard Puff. Like, Falco has to like get a nice multi hit out to cover a bunch of timings or like. I don't know, read a jump or something, something like that. You Some, basically have to go for kind of a read when you're in those zones. Yeah. But you can see, like, they're both playing, like, relatively passive. Like, from what I've noticed from Colin, like, see those retreating forward airs? Like, he does not want to go in because if, let's say, like, Puff baits it out, sets up for, like, a pound and a an nair and a grab forward throw, that could literally be a stock. I exactly. mean, everybody watched Summit. That's literally happened to Lavish. Um, obviously, Falco's recovery a little bit better than Crom's, but even so, like... Look at this. Look at that. That's He's going to cover the side B. Watch. Oh, almost had it, though. Seg gets another fair and air. Gopa going for a dare. But see, like, he's he's not losing anything by going for those. Except his life. Yeah. <laughs> wait a second. Wait hold a second. Hold on. Hold on a second. Uh, I don't know. I guess, uh, I guess, you know, like, when you're dealing with Falco and you have to deal with all these multi-hits, you really don't have, like, room for error because, like, you can't even, like, hope he mistimes it because there's no timing to... Time. There yeah. he goes. Just Covers throws out an air. It's that. It's literally that simple. Like, obviously you can have a little bit of mix-up, but Puff is really good at covering those recovery's. Like everybody that's watched HBox knows that. Ooh. Yeah, down. Can we read it down there. No. Yeah. Said he's gonna get a rapid jab. I will say I've noticed that unlike most puffs that you see, like, I mean, okay, he did it twice from the ledge there, so this is about to shoot a whole like hole through my like, argument. I didn't really see him use a lot of pounds, like especially in the last game. Like I felt like a lot of times it was like retreating there, jumping up in a back air or something, and just trying to read like either a jump or some kind of like movement or something. Usually a lot more as a movement option, but yeah, that. Yeah, bear. jumping from the ledge for the third time in a row usually gets a kill. Yeah. I have to say, even if it's not a pound that time. All right, I yeah, like that follow, dash stack. Yeah, follows up. There's a yeah. nair. That's deep. It's fine. He's dead. Yeah. Anyway. Yeah. It's fine. <laughs> Nair on st stage spike. If he gets that low side B, I mean, Jigglypuff essentially has the edge guard. Even if you have your jump, it's like, he can cover that pretty well. Okay, that's a There's forward a air. Never mind, Nair. Nair. Gets him off stage with it. Smart for Calm not to jump right there or go for side B. He just air dodges it and gets on it because, like, he was trying to cover, like, a reactable, like, oh, oh. Pound, can he live? Oh. And pretty much. Even stocks coming in here. Even, but I'm ex I'm honestly expecting a really quick gimp. Like I guarantee you, in 20 seconds, we're gonna see a forward throw set up, and it's gonna be a tough recovery. Unless <laughs> we get some loops. Oh, he's too floaty. He can't do it. Can't combo. Yeah, good read. Gets the grab. Oh, out of the two. he almost had it. He tried to read the jump. It's just that up air is just way too like prioritized for that. Like you said, those retreating fares. Yeah, they're so good. They like you can't go in. You can't like you just. Holds down center stage, and you can't take the space without basically risking it. Can't spot dodge it, none of it. Shield the two landing hitbox. Don't forget that, too. So much to get from Falco's forward air. Oh, almost had that. Touch this little bird like feather right there. Ooh. I don't want to say anything right now. I don't know exactly how this goes. Oh, oh, that's a guarantee. But oh, he's, still he's alive. alive. This man DI'd into like that fucking North he, Pole. He put his whole body into that DI, yeah. I could tell. North Pole DI right there. Oh, I thought he was going to go for the jab lock. He thought. I thought he was going to take in place, but I guess that covered both. Ooh, yeah, crouching under lasers. Yep, that's what we want to see. Oh, don't eat a backer here. Ooh. Yeah. If he, uh, if he like, sets up for that sweet spot, like, when he's right above, he's never going to be able to get it. But another backer. Yeah, I feel like the difficulty with a lot of people, I feel like when they're playing ultimate and like i'm not even saying this just to talk about with calm but like if you're playing a spacey most of the time side b feels like it's the best recovery option and it usually is because it's fast especially with falco it's faster than fox is it's kind of hard to react to mm -hmm. i will say though in situations like that where you're fighting a character with five jumps great drift long lasting hitboxes and just the fact that you can usually if you're counting on the side b you can read it and then you can reaction cover the up b Right there is just seemed like a bad time. That's the problem with this matchup. In those situations, like it is just that one mix-up from Falco versus you know Puff being able to essentially flow chart, which you're gonna see right now. Yep. And there's a pound, another fair. There's another fair. Another. He's gonna cover a fair in there. Yep. yep. He's gonna carry yep. side B. There's fair. Just this wall building. Oh, it. I like that from Colin, where he like dipped, but he didn't like. He didn't try to up B too low, and he didn't side B too far away. He did it just enough to get that sweet spot right before he's able to go down and cover it. A lot of that is just timing. This matchup feels like a lot of timing, specifically in those edge situations. Yeah, and there gets another back here for uh, it. 
I mean, that's who, like, you've noticed. I think it's been four stocks have been taken literally from the back here at the ledge because he comes down, waits for either, like, a neutral getup or a jump. Just, it pulls his body back and does the back there and kills him. And it's like, that move's always been strong, but just the way he's, like, kind of covering Calm, like, when he's in the corner is, like, you know. Oh, just spot dodge wasn't ready. Thought he'd just chill there for a second. Nice Nair. Love that rising Nair. Covers so many options. And Puff doesn't have, like, an upbeat to get out too fast. Have to jump into it or, like, jump around it. Which makes situations like that really dangerous. Because, like, Puff, as I understand it, cannot true sweet spot the ledge with her jump. She has to air dodge in some manner. Wow. So you have to, like, time your jumps, too. Of course, you have five of them. <laughs> so, you have five opportunities to time that. Right. It's like, you know... You're going to get it at some point. Jab two, back throw. Yep. That's Another Nair. Nair he might be dead here. Yep. Oh, Ooh, he's a back air, too. Oh, he's dead Nair? Uh, Stick gets rising Just a ledge. little bit off right there. Not not me being the one to criticize Cobble's edge guards, but it seems like he's had it. It's just, you know, like I said, it's all timing. Like, you have to be very precise. It's not like melee where it's a lot easier to cover these options. And unlike in melee, of course, you can actually up B after your side B, which is a big deal when it comes to recovering some spaces. Like, that's a game changer for them. Oh, nice. I love that to the ledge. He thought he might go up to, like, mix up. There's the mix up. Mm -hmm. I think he was going for the edge of that platform and trying to mix up Copal by thinking to go to the ledge, but unfortunately just went a little too low. Oh, I oh, love that. Now here down he goes deep. He's dead. Dead. Death. Yep, dead. Go for the rest. He's going for it. And <laughs> oh, he missed went. it. He did go for it. He did go for it. It's Copal taking it. Copal did take it. Uh, I would say I'm surprised, but I'm kind of not just based on the fact that, you know, Copal knows how to play Jigglypuff in terms of how do I want to edge guard? What should I do? And I think Falco is a pretty direct example of a character whose, like, main flaw besides, you know, maybe some different hitboxes would be better for Falco is the fact that his recovery is very linear in terms of how you're going to use it. If you're horizontal, you're going to side B, up B, or just side B to the ledge. Mm -hmm. And if you're low, you can only up B. Exactly. It's an e not easy, but it's an easier two-frame window than almost any recovery in the game. It's like eight frames or something that you can do it. There's just a lot of downsides to his recovery that Puff is like the one character made to exploit it. Like, if you wanted to design the perfect character at edge guard, it would be Jigglypuff 100%. And that's basically what she's always been in Smash. Well put. Thank well you. Well put. Hey, that's that's the melee in me talking, believe me. I've experienced getting Wall of Pain across Dreamland, Yoshi Story, Battlefield. I mean... I did like his... He had some really, really slick movement, too, to get around all those lasers that just yeah. looked cool. Like, obviously, he could low-profile them just by crouching, but he was he had some pretty good ways, like, maneuvering in and out around him that just looked like Hungry Box versus Mango. I mean, I would say that one of the things that Copal was doing really well was, like thing with Puff is when she's in those low percent situations, like you'll notice he does a lot of like pound, fast fall, like either nair, forward air, and a re-grab and sets up for the throw. He'll do different things though. Like sometimes he'll do like a down air and a re-grab and then he'll do like he literally sealed the stock on calm by doing that forward tilt, that random forward tilt the ledge caught him when he wasn't doing anything, set up for the edge guard because then he just fared him. It's like if you jump, he catches you. If you don't jump, he catches you. If you air dodge, great, you're low. Now you have to up B. I'm going to hit you into the stage. Even if you tech it, I'm going to keep hitting you. Mm -hmm. And the, the other crazy part of that is even if even if this man teched like eight times in a row, he could literally just go back to the ledge and then Copal resets all of his jumps and just comes down and does the same thing again. Exactly. Until it's untechable. It's like, okay, you are not going to recover. If Copal does this right, you literally can't recover. It's not a matter of what you do. It's a matter of what he does. Even if you tech it, 100% of the time. You're stuck. You're still set up for a really difficult edge guard. Mm -hmm. It's like getting me at the ledge of my game and watch. <laughs> exactly. I, I've, I'm quite experienced in that. So, uh, Looking at things now, it looks like we're going to be seeing Bacon versus CK47. Yeah. Oh, CSS yeah. versus Maru. Mario. I would honestly, as much as I know he wouldn't do it, I'd love to see a Mario Ditto from the two because Bacon used to play Mario. And he does not have any faith in the character, at least from when I was talking to him. He's just like, yeah, Mario kind of sucks and can't kill. That was my last conversation I had with Bacon about Mario, and it's the last conversation I hope to have with him about any Smash character ever again. <laughs> um, Mario and, sucks and but, can't but, kill. But CK, like, I know he went from Terry to Mario, which I can understand why, because I feel like Mario is, you know, Mario's the character. I mean, it's obviously it's Mario, but... For the longest time in Smash, he was, like, the average character. He didn't have anything great 
going for him, but he had nothing bad either. He had like a well-rounded kit. He has a readable forward air. He has, you know, up air ladder combos. He has a decent smash attack with his up smash being invincible and forward smash. Um, Fireball is a projectile too. Mm -hmm. And his recovery is a multi-hit. He can literally mix you up underneath the stage by holding down and just going through you or just going to the ledge. It's hard to deal with him sometimes. So, but within this game in particular, Mario is like, his combos is different than Smash 4, but like, people in this game love chilling in the air, and Mario's pretty good at that. He has, you know, really fast aerials, and his drift is really good. Exactly. Like, he zooms yeah. across the stage. I feel like it, yeah, I feel like he does. Even if he's not one of the faster characters, it's the fact that almost always, all of Mario's moves, like, he literally sets up for frame traps, like as one of the best characters to do it in the game. Like, and then there's dash back F smash. And there's dash back F smash, you know. Ferris knows that all too well. Yep. Just, Both. you know what else Ferris knows? A lot of back throw flip kick. Oh, true. Yeah, see, he's just covering it. But ZSS is also one of those characters sets up a lot for these, like, you know, frame traps and reads. Because, like, she's probably one of the few characters in the game that can, like, I don't want to say, like, flow chart tech chase, but I don't think any character can really do that in this game just because of a bunch of factors. But ZSS has the speed and fast, like, tilts and, like, grounded moves to set up for another tech that you can feasibly tech chase at least a couple times before you have to do, like, a read. Oh, there's a couple up airs and an up B. Yeah. Just take that damage. I like exactly. that from CK. That's a very mature decision. Take the damage. Yeah, take the damage. Like, a less mature person would have, you know, tried to go for, like, a read on the air dodge into, like, I don't know, a forward smash. But yeah. no, he's mature. He doesn't work like that. Go for the forward air. Come on. I wish he would. Yeah, I wish He's he so mature. Goes just goes for the spike. Yeah, goes you'll, no the you'll notice too what CK does, like what he's doing right here. Like one of the things I've noticed is like a lot of people when they get set in habits of like aerials, almost always when people learn how to fast fall, all of their aerials are fast falls. But CK has a character who's good drift and his moves are safe regardless of the fast fall or not. And he's spacing them well enough to basically be hitting the tip of his shield. Like see that he doesn't fast fall when he comes down. He'll like. He'll flip behind him in the air and then choose whether he wants to do a back air or something else. Like right there, didn't fast fall, did it again. He's trying to like go for the two frame there. Not sure if that's a great thing against Bacon, who almost exclusively flip kicks from the ledge. Like right yeah, there. Yeah, right there. There's yeah, one. Come on. Take, okay. Count it. every single time. Yeah. Every single time he flip kicks from ledge. Please don't die of alcohol poisoning nope. anybody that tries no. to play this drinking game. Will not be good for you. That was an ultimate moment if I've ever seen it. Cannot believe he missed that grab. That was most certainly the game, like, just telling him to go away. Oh! Wow. Wow. Caught him. Just the very end of it. Got him with the tip. See, but Bacon likes There's to do the that. down air, though, coming right on back. That's a, the, the beauty of multi hits with ZSS, whether it's like side B or up smash, down smash, is the fact that you're covering all these timings. And right there, it's like, Clay's been jumping. So, of course, he's going to put something out that covers the jump, and nothing's. I feel like there's nothing better than CS's up smash for that, you know? Yeah. It's so good at covering it, and like a low percent of literally combos. It's one of the few smash attacks in this game, combos into something. What I've noticed too, Bacon uses a lot of forward tilt. Like, he knows it's basically safe on shield, specifically, like if you're turned around, but even facing forward. Like, you'll notice if you see him forward tilt uh, somebody's shield once, he's gonna do it again and set up for tech chase. Like, look at him. Mm -hmm. He's just poking Mario away. He was over in my apartment last night, actually, when we were playing. He was basically saying, like, with Mario, he can literally just poke with forward tilt and either set up for a tech chase or at the very least just keep Mario away. And, uh, yeah. But it seems like Clay's not really had any trouble. See that? He was yeah. set up for the tech chase. He's one of the few characters that can do it. See? Another one. He's just trying to read, and he's safe if he misses. It's fine. Got a big Zare. I was going to say, I think Lewis might be keen to, like, hold on to shield and try to go for an uppy out of it, but I think it's the fact that Mario's moves are too fast and they space pretty well. Yeah. I guarantee he's going to try to go for it on the stock, though, when he's down by so much. I guarantee you he's thinking about it. Oh, he's going to get shield poked right there. He's going to get him to 90 or 100 at the ledge, and he's probably going to go for an uppy out of shield. That's my, like, guess in the situation. Oh, not just barely not getting uh, f smash. You see him jump in the air behind somebody, he's always going to uh, wave bounce neutral B. Watch. Yep. There it is. <laughs> hey, on Watch. I'm telling you, dude, it's like it's off the dome. You can literally see him do it. On time. time. Come on. Oh, I thought he was going to spot dodge. That was like a scary situation for CK. I thought Bacon was about to read it. Go for the forward smash? Down smash? Oh, I like that. I thought he was going to go for back air, but that's fine too, honestly. Zare? Side B. Oh. Gets okay. off smash, yep. though. On landing. Another coverage of the jump. Like to see it. 
But now CK going to come back and get him with the, almost got him with the dare the exact same way as I, last time. I just need to say this right now. I don't care if like Lewis wins like all the sets after this. I hate when he does that and it makes him look like the dumbest player alive. He will always double jump above you and down air when he uh when somebody's like coming off the respawn platform where he is and it will always hit somebody. It always hits me. <laughs> it hits CK. Like I just don't get it. Like how do does you, he do it's, it? It's like those things. Are, are you hit by this mix-up? Is he going to tilt? Oh, okay. I like that from play. Just shield it. Be mature. It's like those Twitter clips from SG, from fighting games. Like, are you hit by this mix-up? Yeah. I have to say, the one thing, too, that I like from play, like, people can say he's shielding too much, but honestly, against ZSS, the threat uh -oh. of being tomahawked is not even possible. It is so easy to react to. You're not going to get tomahawked by her 90% of the time. Oh, almost covered it. See that? He was safe, though. Second place, he would have gotten reverse uh, back air or something like that. Up air? Nope. Oh, I thought he was going for an up smash. Oh, yeah, probably would have been better. Okay, I like that. That's fine. Throwing back. Good spot dodge. Um, and look at the frame. Did, how fast that back air came out. Um, you see, Lewis is going to be stuck here. He's going to try Zare a bunch. Yep. Zare? <laughs> Come on. Oh, goes for the down smash. Doesn't yeah. find it. There's the back throw. Flip kick. Yep. Flip kick catching him. Yeah, eats a down good. smash, too. I like seeing that from Clay, like just covering it with the down. Oh, that he would have died right there. Go for it. Up B, maybe? Oh, oh, I thought he wanted up smash, dude. Yeah. He needs to bait him like out of shield, though. He needs to like get him out because like when he's shielded, it's so hard to hit him. Almost. I like that. Yeah. Caught him just nice. with the tip of it, dude. So safe. Even if he jumped, he would have been fine. He could have gotten out of there just in time. Wow. Yeah. That was a good first game from these two. It was. You were seeing right there, like, the difficulties of ZSS trying to hit a character smaller than her. But you are also seeing Mario kind of struggle to close up the stock because he couldn't he couldn't necessarily edge guard because, you know, flip kick always introduces a really tough to – you can't even react to it. It's a mix-up. It's a complete mix-up. Mm -hmm. But Plus, it was just funny. You were seeing the weaknesses of both those characters, specifically in this matchup, literally play out exactly as they would exactly. in an actual match right there. Uh. At least I know I have trouble, especially in, like no. when a ZSS wants to camp, they just can become as slippery as an eel. It's a, yeah, that's the scary thing. And then like hard thing to deal with too is like Zare camping, which seems really like what? No, yeah, no. I was gonna say he's trolling, bro. No way, no chance. No way. This is Donkey Kong is one of the worst I've ever seen in the history of like, anything. Get wrecked. Like I don't know. I feel like Stevie Wonder plays a better. Donkey Kong. <laughs> I don't know. I guess you couldn't see that coming. Anyway. Uh, this stage for Clay, uh, I don't know. Obviously, I'm sure Bacon was banning triplats. Nobody wants to be on the receiving end of Mario up air ladders, and triplats are the perfect place to do it. Um, I guess part of the reason this stage was picked is to solve the problem we were just talking about earlier about, wait, how did he get that up tilt off the ground? That is know, a cheat. Dude. This man is like, he made port one American Mario have smash four up tilt. Oh, good mash. Good He's going to catch, catch it. Oh, oh I like did. that. Fast fall, new trailer dodge, best way out. But I was going to say is this stage is good because they'll both kill each other relatively early. Like, I'm, I'd venture to say at least 20% earlier than they would have otherwise. Like, they were dying at about 130, 140 last game. I would say your average is going to be about 110, 120. There was the back throw. Ooh. Almost went for the flip kick cheese. Yeah, I, I kind of like that down air, though. He, like, would have set up for either Spike or just launched him up and then got something. Oh, he's dead? Nope. Mm. That's scary. Scary, though. There's two more flip kicks from ledge, by the way. Another spot dodge down smash. Emily would be proud. The Ferris Classic. Yeah, go for it. Uh, I like that Clay's mixing up his text, though. Like, a lot of people like to kind of just be content to, like, settle for their text, even if their opponent's not punishing it. But in a set, people do hold off on, like, making it known that they've adapted until the end. Like, that's the, you know, that's a strat. Yeah. So I like that Clay's been keeping, like, bacon on his toes. There's no guarantees usually. Like, and he's not doing it in, like, a pattern either. Goes for taser into taser, but there's a couple oh, upper there? strings. Oh, okay, good job. I like that. That, yeah. that was that was a bit different. That was like a mix up because most people expect the up air, up air, forward air right there. But he was like, you know, I'll just go for nair forward air. He's not going to see this coming to be off stage this fast. I like that yeah. play. Now another triple jab. I want to see a fade back forward air from Clay just once, just once, please right now. No, he's good. No. Oh, goes for it down. So yeah, I want to go for nair. Yeah. yeah. I want to see. I want to see the back. I, I want to see. see I legitimately want to see back throw flip kick. Uh, yeah, I mean, Lewis already hit that earlier, so I don't know if I want to see it again. Please do reverse for or backwards. Oh, he, he, I swear he didn't hear us. Yeah. But there's down smash again. At 44. Uh, He's gonna jump in neutral. Yep, yeah, he almost caught it. He was trying to. He's, he knew it was coming. Tried yep. to do that uh, wave bounce, just could not get it. He would have had that punish. 
I don't know what moves clank there. Yeah, I think it was like, I don't even know. I'll, I'll remember it when I look at it again. Nice, yeah. catches that, finally catching the air dodge. He's catching dead. Stage and he's he's dead. Dead. Yeah, that's death. That's See, that's death. what I meant about holding off on that adaptation. He always knows he's going to air dodge right there. That literally got him the stock. Now it's even. Yeah, it's even yeah, now. tasered up. It's and even. another up smash. It's literally even. This man's going to set up for something. He's going to end it in like a flip kick. <laughs> oh my <laughs> gosh, dude, the call outs. Yeah, we, are, we are inside this man's head I more know. than CK. Like, I'm just like... It doesn't even require, like, any kind of, like, reading, like, dude, it's Lewis. Come on. What's up, baby? Come on. <laughs> this, yeah. is the this is what he does. It's Lewis. Is what he does. Is there? Flip I like that. He, and he a did, side B? He did the short one right there to bait out a jump, and he's probably going to try to, like, up smash something. Oh, I like that. A little three-piece right there. Oh, three-piece? Who's going to go for a forward air? I swear to God, he's going to try. He's like, you know what? I'm tired of this. He didn't flip kick from ledge that time. I love that backflip Clay does where he like mixes up whether he's gonna go for the back air or just run away and like bait something. Dash back. <gasps> oh my gosh, yeah, he went for the soul read. And he almost had it too, but like I said, bacon double forward tilt. Like I literally said this last game. Like that is so good at dealing with pressure and it's so safe. Like and it spaces really well. It's like Falcons forward tilt in that way. That's he's gonna fair. set up, air dodge, no, can't get it. Nice. Gets the side B. This is the second time he kills him from the left side of the stage with the side B at the ledge, bro. That is literally the second time. That's how he's closed both the games so far. Be still. Be still. Be still. Ain't that a call out if I've ever seen one. Come on, man. Dang, bro. In all seriousness, though, like it's not like Clay was even playing that bad at all. He just got caught by a multi-hit on a roll getup, which is like one of the first I think he'd done that game, if even that set. So, I don't know. Who knows anymore, man? I mean, I appreciate that... Uh, Clay's doing the right thing. He's literally just playing Mario. He's sticking it out. That's the honorable play. Now We're running it straight back. What yeah. do you think about running it straight back? I like that. That honestly goes so hard. He's basically saying like, "Okay, you won," but like I wasn't even trying. <laughs> which I like is that. Like, which is sick. Like, dude, he could have just killed him right there, and that made a whole statement. I think Clay's gonna win this game. Yep. Oh no. <laughs> <Go on. laughs> I think Clay's winning this game. I can already feel it. I think Lewis closes it out. There's another up tilt. Uh, up tilt's frame three, dude. You cannot like jump above ZFS when she has that. She's a faster like up tilt like out of like shield than some characters like up smashes and jumps like in their aerials and stuff. Like it's crazy. Just misses it, but that up smash ain't gonna do anything for Clay right there. Not send him anywhere. You know, the West Side special I hear is uh, if you play Mario, you also have Dr. Mario. That sucks. Yeah. Yeah. They're two different characters. They're not the same. No, then there's exactly. DG, who's like the exception. Yeah, the, the crazy Dr. Mario. And, yeah. and T Day. Which yeah. Is, which, who I don't I don't know if T Day's still in Michigan. Uh, oh, and Memo. Oh, oh you no. Know. I'm telling you, CK's winning this game. I'm calling it right now. Look at him. He's not even approaching. He's letting Bacon come to him and, like, set up for his fails, you know? That's Sun Tzu, you know. Don't interrupt your enemy while you're making a mistake. Look at this. Forward smash. Oh, cut, catches it. That was a CK or dodge right there. Come on. I like that. Does not immediately try to go through the platform. You do not want to contest with that up smash. I like There's, this from CK. This, this is a yeah. new CK right now. This is a diff completely different play style. Yeah. This is adaptation. Gets oh, the side B. Oh, yep. It's the multi, it's man, I keep messing him up. Nice up smash right there, just completely beating out flip kick with that invincibility. Sets up, he's gonna flip kick again? Oh, he didn't. I guess he's gonna touch the ground now. Ooh, nice. Yep. I love those backflip. dash backs, I love those miniature dash backs. Just completely throwing off Lewis's time and making him wonder, like, oh, what am I gonna do here? Can't Catch be doing that stage. I love that. Run up, up smash. I love that. That was an overshoot right there. Catching the jump, too. I like that. I love when people just call a movement like that. That's like the most simple way to like basically call people out and make them scared. Another air dodge. At this point, yeah. I think I think Bacon needs to just go for that exclusively. Just cover that air dodge when he hits him out of his jump. Because I think Clay's a jumper first, air dodger second. Almost almost dying off that Mario back main third. <laughs> Okay. okay. Yeah, trying to approach here. Uh, just hanging out on those platforms. Oh, yeah. Great spot dodge to avoid the up smash. I like that. He was trying to delay his timing right there, so he tried to jump up and reach him when he comes out. I like that. Okay. Set up for back air. Tries to get it. Almost had it, though. Yep. Instead, just gets back air to that shield. Yeah. No. 
with patience coming up. Nice little approach. Yeah. I think going for those back is becoming too telegraphed at the ledge. Like, yep. Oh, don't, that's tough. That's tough. Doesn't get punished for it, though. I like that. You know how when uh, when uh, CK earlier, he did those, like, dashbacks and then he grabbed them? I think that was literally what Bacon was trying to, like, bait out was another dashback into something and then just down smash and kill him. Like, literally just trying to read the move, and I like seeing that from both these players. Mm -hmm. Gets a grab, I... forward throw. Side B. <laughs> yeah, he goes for side B. There's the back here, too. Yep. Side B off stage, continuing. Yep. He's loving that side B. No. There as well. That's a fast jab. There's the side B, and now we've got a last stock situation uh, here. 45%. Yeah, uh, I don't know. I guess my prediction might be wrong. Who knows? Bacon Bacon can win this game. It's possible. Yep, there's a grab. Oh, he good mash. Out. That's the, a good mash. My man's controller is destroyed by sweat, and like the plastic is just rubbing off, dude. It's crazy. I love that. F I love that. Just just being weird with his movement. That's like what ZSS is so good at. Being wacky, dude. Yeah. Being a slippery little eel. Yeah. Double back your yep, landing. Yep. DK, DK stuff. I love to see it. Love to see it. Keep him trapped. Look at him. He's just holding center yeah. stage. He he's he's, he's struggling to get him from ledge. Watch There's the flip kick. Watch the flip kick. Here it comes. Yep. Do another one. Nope. Wow. I got hit by that. He's dead. Down smash. No, not dead yet. Oh, I thought he was going to go for the jab lock. Yeah. Yeah. There's up smash. And hey, you're right. No. Sorry, but you know Clay's playing a different style of game right there. Obviously, you know people like to meme about like what an adaptation looks like and how fast people make them, but. That was There's a different different kind of gameplay from Clay. I like that he kind of realized that, you know, Bacon's not Bacon's kind of playing more passive in the sense that he's kind of floating in the air and waiting to see what Clay does. So he said, Well, why don't I wait to see what you do? And now we're both at an impasse. Mm -hmm. You know, there's a little chess match going on here right now. I like to see that. Yes, sir. Sacrifices must be made to, to win. I like that. I like that. I do want to give a big shout out to uh, two Tri City friends that are currently at uh, Genesis. Oh yeah. Uh, extraordinary beat Kirby Kid, yep. made it out winter side, yep. and uh, I believe uh, Seth Station also making it out of winter side. And I believe either tonight or tomorrow he has to play Spargo in round two. Of First, top sixty four? Not. Or? I don't know. It's it's, uh, it's round two pools. Oh okay. Well that's still like still pretty good. Yeah. So we make like he. Uh, Congrats to both of you. No. Always love to see a Reed Brothers W. But coming in here, you're seeing a lot of the same, a lot more even, I think, in this uh, yeah. so far. I mean, Bacon, I'm not trying to say Bacon's a slouch either. He adapts as well. I mean, you don't get to this point in the bracket without, you know, knowing how to change your gameplay to, like, suit the set, which you're seeing literally right now. I love that forward air is so annoying because if you ever Grounded, try to contest it. Is this it, death? That's yeah, it's death. death. Yeah. And you know what? I think he could have DI'd it, but I'm not good at DI'ing that, so. That's something you got to put your body and soul into. That, something you got to be ready for, which for whatever reason, like even though you literally watch the down smash happen, I feel like I'm not ready for it and a lot of people aren't. I like that little jump, catching him with the down air. I love the, uh, I love the fact that, like, I love these backflips, bro. That's, like, got to be my favorite thing. Characters with backflips will literally create mix-ups just by an animation. It is literally so crazy he tried it. He's going to go for it again, bro. He's gonna read an air dodge and try to go for like back to Look at all those uh, those tilts, dude. That's what I'm saying. That's how safe it is. Like Mario literally just got that because he has a uh, very special kind of up smash that everybody loves and thinks is really fair and balanced. Yeah, everything is really cool and epic. Yeah, it's very epic. So everybody loves that. But even so, like it, you saw him, it took him like three or four F tilts to react to and be like, oh, I can just do this. But it was still like basically save pressure on the shield. Love this. Go down there. Oh, I thought he was going to go down there. Just follow through that combo. Nice little jab. Going for a back air. Not going to get there. Here comes the up, up air strings. Yeah, up, is air, he dead? up air, up air, up air. DI, I, that DI was really good. He thought he was going to keep di in like out, but he like di it like up and in, it seemed like, right there. Do we see the fair? Do we see a four? Ah, I don't know. A forward smash might have been. I mean, hey, it's called mature gameplay right here. Mm -hmm. CK, bringing it back, it looks like. Ooh, Down I love that. Killing. Smart right there. I love that. Instead of just going for up air into like an up B and just hedging your bets, never mind, he's dead. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> it finally gets down smack. I like that down air, though. I think that was really smart to do. Oh, the first time I've seen him use a forward air this entire game. <laughs> Versus Lewis, who is like, this is like the 33rd or something. Yep. Uh... 
Oh, tries yeah, to meet him. I love that. That covered that. He tried to meet him there at forward air like Lewis tends to do. And he just said no. No, Counter. not today. No, sir. You know, I don't negotiate with terrorists. He does not believe in that. Nope. No, sir. Ooh. There's the back air. Oh, almost had that, too. Yeah. It's just Mario's too small. Up air, up air. There's a back air. That's a lot of damage. I love that dash back. He just waited. Oh, oh he got God. caught with it, but oh, he whiffed it, too. Oh, my God. Spaghetti out of everyone's pockets today. This is insane, boys. Mamma mia, this is some spicy <laughs> spaghetti. Oh, my. Look at these backflips, man. He's going to do it again. Watch. Oh, he didn't do it that time. I really thought. Do the backflip. Wow, dude. Do the backflip. Please do the backflip. Never mind. Up smash. There's the backflip. He's going to try to, like, up smash him. Yeah. No, he's going to up smash him. Mind. Never mind. Forcing a game number five. Our I I really thought he was trying to set up for him to, like, land on him and just up smash him out of shield or something. I really, truly believe that in my heart and soul. There's our first game five. Yes, sir. Where do you think they're think just going to go straight run back? I don't think so. I think we're going to go somewhere different. Oh, they big thinking. Small battlefield it is. If if Lewis picks anything other than CSS, he's throwing. I don't uh, I don't see why he would. No, no way. No. He's not doing it. He's not. Yeah, he even was like, that's the dumbest thing I've ever thought. No. Oh my gosh. Why? This, this guy. This guy. Or Donkey Kong. I could see him pick Donkey Kong. I wonder if he's thinking about it. Oh, he's big thinking wait, about something. Wait. He's What? What is he doing, dude? He's icing him out. He's literally icing him out. He this is. Man just whiz rope CK47. He's CK47, CK47. <laughs> What's 47 plus 47? I don't know. I can't do math. It's 94. CK94, dude. But is the ice out going to work so far? Oh, there's, the there's fair. a forward air. Come on. Oh, my God. That would have been something. There you go. Yeah, up so That's like fast. That yes, sir. Fast, Frame fast, three, up. baby. Yeah, because catch there, dodge. Almost had it right there. I love that dash tag. He's ladder he No, he's not dead yet. I thought he was gonna go for another up and not be, but I yeah, wouldn't kill anyway. Oh, there's he's got some ladder strings of his yep. own. There's a nice little back air. Covering that air dodge. Once gets him with dead, the ground, he's dead. He's dead. No. Oh, good DI. All right, he's dead now. <laughs> thought he had it. He may be dead, but which one's he? Uh, whoever has a vow on their name. Nice. Oh, I love that. He just turned around and aired. He just did not care. Side B gets it all the shield of it. Look at this. Look at these aerials, man. Spacing. Just run up underneath up smash. Oh. <laughs> he tried it. He's going to do it again. There's back oh, air again. He's, he's not dead yet, though. Yeah, I thought he was up smash right there. Jump up, flip kick. Yep. Oh yep. my gosh, dude. Yep. <laughs> yep. Back here landing, still not he's dead. See, he can't kill. He literally can't kill. Now it's stale, so he has to use something else. He's got to use that. I'm pretty sure that's exactly what he's thinking. It's like, oh, it's stale. I have to use down air now. He's literally going to try it off the top on a jump. Bet. Go for it. Oh, I thought he was going for it. Nope. Gets side beat, falls out of it. But up smashed. No. Yep. Up smashed. Up smashed. Everybody loves up smash. Run up up smash. Just like Raymond. Everybody loves it, dude. Oh, I thought he was going for back air, honestly, right there. Turn around back air. Wow, dude. I like that up air right there. Trades yeah. it. I'm surprised he's gotten zero extra credit yet. Yeah, right. Do it again. He tried it, He see? did. It's always. Come on, guys. Oh, nice. He's He might be dead. Nair him, nair him. Oh. <laughs> he he gets 1% <laughs> extra credit. Yeah. Now, I do like that. Oh, here we go. Some ladders. It goes for an up smash. Whiffs oh. the grab. No, dude. Auto space and ZSS is broken. Clay's literally just trying to get this kill. He's going to try back for him, bet. Oh, that's a good bet, honestly. I think he's going to try back for him. At some point, he's going to shield back for him, maybe. 
There's a grab. Forward throw. Goes to Tech Chase. Yep. Doesn't go for the down smash that time. I'm surprised. No, nah, he's trying to adapt now. Clay keeps rolling out. There's yeah, the up smash. up smash. Okay, never mind. I was wrong. Incorrect. Incorrect uh, prediction. I love those falling arrows he does where Clay's not sure what Bacon's going to do if he's going to do an early hit or a late one, and it just sets up for another oh, one after. He did not snap to ledge, and he missed the punish on it too. He's expecting this roll in. Yeah, he is. I think he's telegraphing a bit too hard. Seems like he's always trying to cover that, like, in all of his ledge traps, which is not always a bad thing. And ZSS is fast enough that you can cover options without really giving up much. But exactly. I don't know. Oh, Nair. Juicy up combo percentage, by the way. Yep, here we go. Juicy. He's dead. What did I say? Juicy combo. Juicy. Juicy. That was bad DI. I'm almost certain that was bad DI. There's no chance, but. Some HBox DI, you think? Don't compare him to H Box. Nah, nah, nah. Lewis' DI is a little bit better. <laughs> <laughs> He's gonna side B him. He's gonna try to jump off side B. He's gonna throw him off. Oh, yeah, I guess there's that too. Wow, he st He's still to get side B him. though. Oh, this is bad. The tension, you could cut it with a knife. Facts. Yeah. Oh, up air, up air. This is juicy percent once again. Ah, uh, yeah, just had to get that turn off. If he didn't have to do that turn around, he would have actually probably had that. Learning top smash? Yep. <laughs> yeah. 68% zero. Yep. Here we go. Yep. It all comes down to this. I think Lewis is going to take it. I truly believe that. Uh oh. But gets. Oh, does it get jab locked? Yeah, that was smart. Right there, you know everyone's looking for a fast way to get a kill. That was exactly what CK is like. Oh, jab lock. I got to go for it. And I still have like a bunch of extra credit percentage right now. Lewis is going to cheese him somehow. Some way. He almost read it too. Yeah. The roll in, that grab. Oh, nice, gets split. Yeah. But he gets red instead, and CK takes it. A three, a reverse 3 0. That's incredible. That was incredible. Hey, you got to hand it to CK. Yeah, that's adaptation. That is adaptation. What I say, different CK, dude. It was, it was literally a different CK in uh, game, what, three, four? What game was it? It was game three. Yeah, it had to be game three. Yeah, because he was up 2-0. That's it. And now uh, winners, losers quarters finals are set for Adorable Knight versus Copal oh. and Boo Bear versus CK. Okay. And it looks like sitting down right now is Copal and Adorable Knight. Oh, so it's going to be Greninja versus what, Puff? Or I think he's going K-Rule K -Rule now. I think, I think he goes K-Rule for this matchup. I don't know, dude. I don't know because – Greninja kind of has the same thing Falco has versus Puff, where you can like meet Puff in the air like somewhat quickly, and it's like a pretty decent mix-up. But Copal, you know, is like he's reaching the end of bracket. It's like, oh, I got to try now, you know. I got to use mm -hmm. my main, so tough to say. Tough, tough, tough to say. It's a toughie, boys. I don't know. Oh, sick. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know either, dude. Copal, oh. the last vestige of the Tri City, is still alive. <sighs> oh no. He was expect. I mean, he was expected to play as pretty high today. Well, yeah, he's seated th third, I believe, which is pretty accurate given mm -hmm. that, you know, he always tends to do well. He's great online. He does great in person. Like, what I'm wondering is between these two, like, I wonder how this set's gonna look. Which, speaking of, we're yeah. literally right into it immediately. Yep, going he did straight go in. I mean, obviously, I'm sure Copal, like, counterpicks, obviously, with Jigglypuff, because I know there's some sets that he started off with uh, Puff, but, like, the way I always see it, like, a lot of times when you have these good players reach in a bracket, you always see them switch to the character they're known for. They never really play their secondaries because they know this is not the time to be experimenting with that. Like, yeah. that's for locals, but if you're playing for 500 bucks or whatever, it's like, you know, you got to actually, like, play the character you're good with, you know? Exactly. And he's good with Jigglypuff, too. Like, yeah. Yeah. I think, honestly, at this point, I think both characters are pretty viable for him. I think it's just matchup dependent. Yeah. I will say right here, too, like, this is the thing with uh, Greninja is just how overwhelming he can be with how fast he is. Like, his speed is crazy. He has, like, insane dash attack. If you, like, overshoot it and read somebody, they just die. Yeah. Wow. And that's going to yeah. be Kobol's first time yeah. on. Right? Like, I don't know. I'm not saying K. Rule's the worst character in the world, but it's the fact that he is slow. And, like, the biggest thing he has going for him is that, like, his moves will have, like, armor. So, like, you can't... 
you can't always be attacking him or like putting pressure on him because he can just armor through and then suddenly you know hit your combo turn into his. Exactly. Um, it's also, that fat Uno reverse guard. I was gonna say same with his ledge trapping where you can literally just sit on a platform, drop through with the uh, like the wind hitbox or whatever. Like it can be tough getting off the ledge too sometimes against them. Like you have to time it. You have to like go for kind of a timing mix up. Yeah. So. You gotta really just mix things up. Thought you know high, you're gonna go low. What's yeah. it gonna be? And right now looks like uh, yeah, gets you see that the most right there, Yeah. Copal yeah. Copal's made a living out of crown armor. Yeah. For good reason though. I mean, it's something you really have to like think about, especially in matchups like this where you have Greninja, a character who's like famous for literally just ledge trapping and or not ledge trapping, but like frame trapping, keeping people stuck at the ledge with how fast he is and how many moves he can put out. Um, I don't know. I just feel like that's something that you know Copal's thinking about. So that's why he, when he's doing these moves, even if he throws the crown, he doesn't hit him. He's not really trying to. He's trying to survive a really terrible situation. Good he, counter. Yeah. Getting juggled as K rule is definitely one of the most unfun things on the planet next to like, I don't know. Washing the dishes, I don't know. Yeah, having to chores. Do, yep, chores. Doing all work. Ooh. Yeet. Throws Yeet. him out of the stage, but so get I mean, out of here. He but, can't he's not even able to kill him right now, but even so, like, I'm sure like he's gonna take the stock in what, like the next ten seconds up here? Yep, yep. up there he's gonna take it. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Called it, dude. You're uh, good, dang. Dude. You're good at this. That's what I'm thinking of when I'm pl if I was playing this. I'm like, oh yeah, I'm going for up Go, air. Yeah, right going here, for yeah. up air. Ooh, I love that roll behind. He knew it wasn't enough to get a combo. It would have been a mix up. So he's just like, you know what? I'm not even gonna take it. I'm just gonna get out and then reset the situation. Yep, dash deck double bear. Oh, doesn't no jump on stage. Yeah. yeah, gets a regrab instead. Gets stage spike, but oh. Yeah, crown up here. trying to deal with Gabriel's cover from the top is like nearly impossible. It was the fact that he had the regrab plus the stage moment. stage. Oh. Nice, okay. Yep. Drag down up here. Uh Normal has been doing a really good job of just making sure Copal's like always almost always off stage. Yeah. Thing is though, K Rule off stage, there's only a few characters that can really punish him for it, like in the sense that like if he goes close to the stage, it is almost impossible to edge guard him because he can either tech it or you can't come down to him from the top. Like spiking him is almost impossible. Yep, see that right there? Yep, he there. reads it, and he just gets hit. And he's covered by the platform, too. That's the other thing. Platform covers him from attacks, you know? Oh, but he's uh, he uh, he countered the the cannonball, but no follow-up yeah, punch for He's going to set up for a bunch of dashbacks here. Retreating aerials, he's dead. No, wow. that's, a, that's a godly mash, dude. That was insane. At 130, yeah, he should have been dead. Oh, good roll right there. He was like, you know what? He just keeps running in. I'm just going to suck him in. I don't even have to worry about, like, timing it. Wow, get up, grab. Crown once again. He's gonna need that to edge guard. Yeah, he's gonna try to Z drop it. Yep. And now he's gonna go off stage. Yeah, yeah, yep. Yeah. That's right, dude. That's the one thing. If you have an item like that, whether it's like a banana or a crown, something you can Z drop like that, sets up for an edge guard. Well, you don't even have to go down and contest it. Exactly. Yeah. See, a lot of people like uh, Gyro is another good thing that does that. Yeah. Diddy Z drop down air on mm -hmm. like everybody, and it's intangible. I don't know. I don't think Crown's intangible, but it's the fact that he, like, can do that at all is, like, important. Actually, yeah, I don't think it's intangible. Does stick with the K rule. Okay. That's what I like to see. Yeah. Sticking true to your guns. Taking that off. That's annoying. All right. Oh, we're going to FD. Okay. On there, they're already belly armor coming out big and strong. I wonder what this counter pick is for Copal in terms of like, does he think this is gonna like? Because I feel like this would be better for Greninja because of the juggling, the fact that there's no platforms to escape to, and they're not gonna cover him when he tries to like keep him trapped on the ledge with his uh, with his cannon. Yeah. I don't know. I think it might just be a personal preference. Yeah, I mean for for K roll juggling becomes easier here too, if, like for anybody. Like juggling is a much simpler, you know, easier thing to do when there's no platform to mix up on. It could also just be the height of the stage because I know Crown Armor up air, or sorry, Crown up air does. Oh, yeah. Mondo damage. I think, if, as far as I know, Final Destination is a higher uh, ceiling, though, than Battlefield and Small Battlefield. But No, uh, so if you ever played on Hollow Bastion, you know the height size the thing there? Yeah. That's the same height. Hollow Bastion is just FD with a platform in the middle. Interesting. Yeah, it's crazy. I mean, that is true. <laughs> Gets okay. a Sour Spot up smash. No. Crown Armor, keeping him alive through that shuriken. I he's just going to try to run up grab if he keeps shielding like this. but oh. Or just run up dash attack. Lingering hitbox dash attack. I like that. Throwing the crown the other way so that way it travels farther. Yep. Comes up. Now he can use it like 
Drop it on him, he's dead. How oh is my his mash gosh. so good? Never mind. Gets F tilt, clapped. I, I don't know, Adorable Knight's mash has been insanely good. Like, that's the second time where most people in that situation would not have been able to get out in time before they just got up tilt and they died. You're right. I don't know. I, I don't mash out of that. No, I was going to say, he just, uh, he pancaked right there. He, he pikachu went underneath the crown. Low profile to everything. I guess. I guess I'm starting to see a little bit more about this counter pick, specifically when it comes to using like projectiles and crown. You basically just have to jump over it, shield it, or grab it. Mm -hmm. You have to do something. You can't just like hide in the platform, you know? Yeah, no platform camping here. Yeah. There's a good fair. And now what's to follow up? Just keeping him off stage. Or yeah. something? I don't know. Keeping no, him, never mind. Just keeping him locked down at ledge. That's Drag down? Bit. He tried. All right, that's fine too. Yeah, there's two. Almost. I think he went for forward error there. He's trying to sell the stock. He is throwing that crown. He just does not care. I don't give a crap. He does not. Okay, so crown also beats Water Shuriken. No. He just does not give a damn right now. He's fine. That's, wow, that's crown armor, I baby. Like that. That's Good crown armor, couples, baby. Sir. I love to see that. Ooh. Yeah, Nair. The fact that Nair does that is so weird. I feel like nobody ever hits my armor when I'm doing it, but when I watch Copal play, everybody's trying to hit it. Wow, crown hit. Insane. Never been done. Inhuman reactions. Inhuman reactions. Peak performance. Game player on another level. Okay, real player, this is peak male performance. You may not like it. <laughs> but this, <laughs> this is what it looks like. <laughs> you may not like it. Ooh, Greninja. that spacing yeah. was immaculate right there. Yep. Gets the fair, too. What it was the? literally off that space there in a down tilt. He tried to grab him, like, doing the shield grab, and he's just like, nah, that's too newbie, and he just kills him for it. I love that. Before, when he jumped off the ledge in that situation, he drifted forward right there. He just drifted immediately back after, like, faking out a forward, like, moving. I love that. Yep. Gold. I thought he was trying to get time hog. Yeah. yeah. He keeps trying to get behind him. I, I know for a fact I heard from uh shout out to Danport Smithers. He said the Tomahawk is the mortal enemy of the K rule. It's true. Especially if you're playing a character like this, hard to react to. Oh, he didn't believe in himself. Also, the turnaround was so annoying to deal with right there. He had to be like frame perfect right there if he wanted a chance. Both react and get that. Drag down? Yep. He's trying it. Up there? There sorry, it is. Up tilt. All he keeps going behind. It might be DI, I guess. I don't know. Because I know if certain multi-hits, right, depending on which one you get hit by, can put you on different sides of somebody. So maybe it's that. I don't know if it's DI-related or if it's uh, hitbox-related. Yeah, I'm not sure. That's scary right there. Once you get those light hits in, you force people to jump like that. It's when people go for their big move. Copa wants something big and meaty. So true. Nair, crown armor. Oh, oh the up air. Yeah. That's the Copal combo. Throw it up. He's trying to go for a combo. As soon as you get that, what? Did that kill him? No nope. chance. Nope. No shot, dude. No oh, way. Oh, he tried to hit that. Oh, I thought he was going to dash tag. I thought he was just going to full send. But gets the up Another air. Another up air kill. No. Copal. It's so hard to deal with when you're being juggled as a heavy man. Yeah. But now, a double knight looking uh, one step away from a big old upset. Yeah, it seems like uh, seems like Adorable Knight's kind of got his number here. I think he's going to switch to Puff. I'm almost betting he switches to Puff. I'm actually going to bet it. How much do I bet? Well, he's thinking about it right now. Oh, yeah, he's thinking. Yeah, oh, he's he, thinking. oh, no, no. Wow, okay, that's he's a confident pick. Never mind. My predictions, once again, are completely incorrect today. I think he's confident he might have gotten the download ready. Yeah, maybe. And we're going straight run back. But here already, yep. combo game coming out. Yep. You just, like, one of the things that's nice about Greninja, especially his Hermit Tap, when you do stuff like that, that double up tilt, where you kind of just have the entire, like, stage to react, and you can just follow whatever they do, you also prime them for, like, some kind of mix up. So now that he knows he's going to air dodge, he's going to try to cover that the next time. Guarantee it. Guarantee he tries to cover it the next time. Down smash. Guess, uh, it's like one of the ground hitboxes. Ooh, Hit wow, him with a drop I'm shocked. Kick, Marty Gennetti. How did his foot not grab him? Come on, guys. Come on. Come on. Oh, oh there it is. There the Copal combo. The Copal. Saw that in HBox highlight. The Copal classic, or as HBox says, Coplay. Coplay, yeah. Coplay came to play today, boys. Drag down. Jab yep. lock, F smash. Yeah. Not dead yet. Wow. 
Oh, he's far away though. Easy kill, maybe? Oh, no! <laughs> His spacing was so good, it sucked. <laughs> yeah. His spacing was literally so good right there, it was actually the worst spacing of all time. I like that. That was respectable. Oh, okay. Okay. Get the damage, yeah. Taking damage. Oh, and that. Is he gonna go off? Okay, sir, chill. Come on. Not cool. I think a big spike right now uh, would definitely turn the turn the tide in Cobalt's yeah, favor. I think so too. Like something clip worthy. I, mean, I think a drag down from Greninja though could also seal it out. So. Yeah. Whoa. The dash attack. I love oh. that. I like how that like creates like its own mix up right there. Where you're gonna go and like what you're gonna do right after. Go to the stage. Dude. <laughs> yeah, dude. Let's do it all the way full send. There it is again, the fade back into the jump in, baiting out a forward move, and then just going all the way back and putting out a retreating hitbox. Love that. Jump up here. Oh. Spike, but it's on stage. And the fair. Oh, that was the stock exchange. I mean that both literally and figuratively. He literally is like, oh, you're trying to hit me? I'm just going to spike you. And literally exchanges his stock. And now now Cobalt's got some rage to him. Oh, yeah. And that's dangerous. Grinage, you can die like 60. Or 160. He's oh, dead. that's a high up. That's going to do it. That's uh, a that's matchup in a nutshell. Yeah, Cobalt's <laughs> sitting on his tournament stock right now. True, but he does seem more confident. It's the CK. He's doing it CK right now. Wait a second, jump. Or, but is he? But is he? That same down tilt. He did it on the exact same side of the stage, too. Jump up, hit him. Yeah, he tried it. Back throw. He's going to go for spike. Got the soft hitbox. Sorry, sour spot. There's the blunderbuss. Ooh, I like that. Oh, nice air dodge in. But eats a back air. I think the one reason you're not seeing like Adorable Knight go as much for hitting him in the air is because he knows if he nares, he's literally just going to beat it. Like, watch, he's going to try it again. Yep. Come <laughs> on. He's going to try it again, dude. Come on. Not a lot of parries in this set, though, from what I've no. noticed. Not a lot of parries. They're playing a very like traditional smash right now. A lot of like run up shielding and like just seeing how people like what they do. Like right there, you literally just saw a run up shield. Come on. Oh, oh wow. A, if he had that hard like hitbox when he landed inside him, that would have been a kill. 100%. He's going to go for it. He's going to go for it. Jump up for it here. Come on. <laughs> up smash. Patience. There's a missed dash attack. Back throw. <gasps> That's nope, set up. Nope, 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 nope. He's no, still good. Oh, greedy. Nair. Off the side. Not going to kill just yet. Does he get side B? Goes deep for that. Z dropped. Forward smash? Yep. Up tilt does it. Wow, the spot dodge cancel. And you saw Adorable Knight take a step back right there. He's like, what just what happened? What in the world just happened to me? He literally just said, no you, man. Come on. You activated my trap card. Yeah, spot dodge canceling. It's, uh, it's a good, uh, good technique. Wonder where they're going to next is Copal. Well, trying to do uh, a. What will they do? What well, am I gonna do? Yeah. What will they do? Small battlefield, it looks like. I wouldn't expect Copal to change, honestly. If like. Yeah, I don't either. It's there's... already at the skin of his teeth with his mane. I don't know about that. It's taking a lot of mental fortitude to make it through this. Facts. Facts. Because I believe this is for money. <laughs> no. All, both these players already get payout? It's No, they're playing for fifth right now. So anyone that moves on from this gets... Is that what you mean? Because yeah. after this, yeah, then they're in the money, yeah. They're playing for, they're playing for the 10% of the $500 right now. Exactly. <laughs> the 10%, let's go. So they're fighting for their life right now. I know Ador Adorable Knight is just fighting right now. Couple needs to make back this the, the cost of gas and the, the venue. Come on, he's got this. Sad thing is, if they get out and they win this and they get out in the next round, they essentially just broke even to go to this tournament. Oh, wow. Hey, it's still experience. Come yeah. on. 500 bucks is nothing to scoff at. Come on. It's still a placing, and I believe this event does count for both Michigan State PR. Uh, and, uh, yeah, I don't know. And I, I know for a fact it counts for mid-Michigan PR. Oh, let's go. I want to see myself. Oh. oh, oh, oh he oh. saved him. We tech those. Oh, I think that was, was that, per that was not on purpose. No chance. Not for the money. No way. No way. No. 
It would have been gangster if that was literally on purpose. Like, no, I want to kill you. <laughs> wow, he almost can he almost crowned him right into the cannonball. Oh. 168 to 119. I feel like Greninja and ZSS. Back throw, yeet! Speaking of that, I feel like Greninja and ZSS have that same problem. Really fast on the ground. A lot of their moves are kind of unintuitive to use, but also, like, they don't get much off grab. They kind of can't, like, hit you in a way a lot of other characters do. Like, for example, think about Greninja's forward air. It's got a long startup. It's kind of hard to time. Um, it just doesn't have as much utility. A lot of his moves are hard to, like, understand how to use. Like, I don't know. Up throw? No, still forward throw. Not going to kill just yet at 210. Oh, yeah. I mean, he's heavy. Does up throw even kill? Like, would it be down, down throw? I, don't, I, think I, don't know. I think it would be up throw yeah, at this yeah. point. I don't know. But, even, oh, my, oh my gosh. gosh. Oh, and wow, he's just dead off that. I mean, hey, he yeah, was at he, 229. Yeah, yeah, you're right. You're right. I mean, that man was on his retirement, like, age right there. It's like, okay, like, you know, he lived a good life. This is his reincarnation. Let's see which, what he gets reincarnated as. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. He was terrible in his previous life. No. No, bad karma. His, his Dharma is completely messed up, dude. No chance. Oh. Oh, dash attack. Down. Drag down? Yeah. Oh, I tried it. Nah, it's okay. He's Oh, off the platform. That's right. Extensions. Oh, no. He gets nicked by the belly, dude. But already he managed to make the percent basically even right there. I mean, that's literally what uh, he was at when he started the stock. Yeah. There's two. That has got to be the stale stop bear of all time. <laughs> oh, my goodness. He Is keeps... he dead? No, no, no. Not yet. Yep. He's going to throw it again. Throw forward. Yep. Drop down, Z-drop. Oh, okay, never mind. He's smarter than me. <laughs> wow, dude. F-tilt win? Oh, he's setting up, dude. He's going to get forward aired, isn't he? <gasps> oh, but does he get it? Oh, he gets back! But it is it? So what close. does it matter? I love that. He literally tried to bait out the entire recovery just to do that. I love that. Oh, dude. Uh, oh, wow. I think he tried to parry. I think he did, too. I don't know. I guess he kind of figured something's happening, but... Copal's now back onto his tournament stock. I feel like that was a... That had to have been an accident. There's no way he meant to... Four <laughs> okay. The Copal classic. The Copal, the drive-by. <laughs> the drive-by. That's literally a drive-by. <laughs> <laughs> I'm calling that the drive-by. That's that's what we're calling it now. Sorry, Copal. Oh, and here we go. Another... Trying for drag down. There's the belly coming. Not enough percent to, like, get out of that. yeah, yeah. yeah. Get that, yes sir. Set up for that edge guard. He wants to hold on that crown for dear life. I like how K Rule has to put the crown back on. I know. I mean, come on. Can you back throw? Crown? Do we get, does he get the spike? No. Oh, the time's a no, bad. He sets up the matter. edge guard. Yeah, that nair. He keeps doing that. He's gonna do it again. Look at does this. it again. Yeah, but he's like, I'm ready for that. Oh. We don't tech those. Copal's done. We do not tech those. It was a multi hit too. Copal's done. Copal is not looking happy, but that is a heck of an upset it's for an AK. Unfortunate way to end it, honestly. That mm -hmm. is just like that's the worst way to end it. I hate not taking things. I hate that, and I know he does too. Yeah, he and he's walking off like Copal, not happy with that one. Yeah, uh, but can you blame him though? Like I would feel the same way, you know. Mm -hmm. I'd feel the same way. And coming up next, we got Boober versus CK, which I know is a uh, a. Standard like semifinal, like loser semifinal match, something in uh, in the West Side. So these two have faced many times in this situation. So adorable night, moving on, and Tri Cities out. So it's just a um, battle for West Michigan at this point. I mean, that's I feel like that's how it should be. Yeah, I feel like that's how it should be. Could you imagine if we had people like Kaiju here? He would he'd be tearing it up, dude. He'd be tearing it up. I will say, uh, in regards to this upcoming match that we're about to see, um, I mean, it's no secret I'm expecting a Boo Bear to pull a Boo Bear win to pull it out. I will say though, I expected CK to not make it as far as he did. Like, I'm not exactly sure what I remember he was seated as, but making it to losers' quarters right now, to making it to Boo Bear like this far into the bracket, I mean, he's literally playing to get in the money right now mm -hmm. and. ZK's been playing pretty great today. I mean, he reversed 3 0 Bacon, who looked like he was on fire the first two games, and he just, you know, adapted. And Boo Bear is obviously an amazing player, but I would love to see how CK, like, adapts to this because certainly not a bad player in his own right and definitely showed he can he can change up his gameplay when he needs to to pull up a dub. So, I don't know. Don't know, man. It's going to be interesting as we see. Uh, still expecting that, that Rob. Yeah. Uh, or. 
I think he'll go Ness first. Really? That, I think so. Eh, maybe. Maybe he wants to get out of here. <laughs> then maybe he will, yeah. And we're, we still have to wait for... Uh, Winners finals. Yeah. Right, yeah. And we're already in. Oh, it. my. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, well, no, nobody knows what happened. <laughs> nobody has any idea. Nobody has any clue. Does not matter, though. Oh, oh my gosh, his timing with that dude is like, so consistent. I'm yeah. surprised. He's, he's, been, uh, he's been dropping a little bit, but he's oh, that's a right air dodge. Oh. No. Yeah. But, yep, scoop. I don't know. CK kept it pretty even right there, but this might be where it all falls away. I don't know. But he went straight to Rob. Oh, no, the Trey. <laughs> <laughs> no. Where do you think Trey learned it from? I don't know. Hell. He spent, he, spent, <laughs> he spent a lot of time in the west side. Yeah. Purgatory, I don't know. Somewhere bad. Ooh, Ooh, miss grab. Okay. Back there on shield. One of the things I have noticed. Okay, that's the most Wi-Fi thing I've ever seen. Anyway, one of the things I have noticed. Uh, I feel like when CK does a lot of these, you know, I was talking about earlier about how he does the backflips to like either bait out like an empty land or like a back air or something. I haven't seen him go for a lot of tomahawk grab. When in a lot of cases where people are just kind of shielding and adapting to that. Oh, I love that drift back. That was so Dude, smart by CK. He's so patient. Yeah, I cannot believe that. That was maturity on a level we have never seen before. Up air? No. Yeah, I thought he was going to go for it. I guess right there may not have been the best Nair landing is right. up high. Yeah. Oh, goes for a big body screw. Well. The gyro going out to save the day. Down tilt, tech yeah. chase, down tilt, down tilt. Goes uh, for the down smash, yeah. not going to get it back throw. Here we go. Oh, he's like, Death. you know what? I, I'm going to pick the, the dumb option here and do the same tech twice because you're not ready for it. And he was yeah. not. He was certainly not ready for it. Not prepared whatsoever. No, sir. Oh. Go underneath and up smash. That's what I'm hoping for. I feel like Clay's going to do it. Watch him run up up smash. Please. Oh, can't, can't pick up the gyro. No. One of the hardest things to do in this game yeah. is pick up somebody else's gyro. That's a little harder than winning a super major. <laughs> yeah. You, it's easier to beat MKLeo than pick up gyro in this game. Ah, uh, yeah. Oh. 186, though. It's looking grim. That's, I am shocked that did not kill him. I am so shocked. He was on fire. <laughs> Down throw or up yeah. throw? Yeah, up throw. No, Not dead. even on platform either. Yeah, he didn't even go through the pleasantries of doing that. Yeah. Okay. Back here. Wow. Okay. I like that. He's getting like the reverse hit right there. Okay. Okay. Just a couple up airs. Up air strings. Keep her going. Four air. Yeah, yeah. He's yeah, trying it. Want, Everybody yeah. tries it right there. Everybody tries it. Everybody. Everybody wants that clip. He's gonna bait out the air dodge. Oh, he tried. He tried. You saw that. He knew he's gonna do that right there. Damn, he's keeping this surprisingly close. Like I said, I was expecting this to kind of be a wash in Boo Bear's favor just because the last time he was here, it seemed like he ran over everybody like a truck. But CK is saying, I'm no slouch, and I can keep up with you. Oh, he Boo just Bear, stayed yeah. right at the ledge right there. If he moved in at all, dude. Uh. Boo Bear and Adorable Knight are two of the most consistent uh, players in all of right. uh, Crimson Clash history. Literally uh, the gatekeepers. Yeah, Boo Bear coming out big. I think getting second yes. first at uh, Crimson Clash 2, and then no, Adorable no, no. Knight getting second at Crimson Clash 1. No, no, Boo Bear won Crimson Clash 2. Oh, okay. Yeah, and then Goma won Crimson Clash 1, but uh, yeah, I, Adorable Knight got second. I remember that, and he had an insane shield break. Yeah. Yeah, that was an insane clip, by the way. But, um, yeah, Clay was, like, keeping up until he wasn't that game. It seemed like he everything was working out for him, and then it just... Boo Bear, Boo Bear, dumb. <laughs> yeah, it started spiraling. Yeah. And I guess maybe that's like, you know, top player experience. You know, the more you're playing, the more it'll like reflect in how you're like approach those situations. Boo Bear, one of the few people to not feel pressure in those situations where Clay's got him in a juggle state, close to the ledge, and he's like, am I about to get forwarded and spiked at like 50%? Um, a lot of people get scared about that, but uh, Boo Bear is not cut of the same cloth, I must say. Now, as we go to town and city for game number two. I guess I can see how this would be a good pick for Clay. Like the platform specifically, the fact that they're at the heights that they are, definitely can lead to ladder kills off the top, even though it's not a triplat, which I'm sure Boo Bear banned. So, also one of the other things is cheesing back throw off the platform when they like go away. <laughs> oh, up air strings, up air strings. Does he? Oh, wow, how did he get through that the air dodge? That's Rob that we're talking about. How the? I just I don't even understand how he got through that. Yeah, there's the nair. Wow, he caught the gyro. The one time, like the the hardest time. <laughs> Oh, okay. I okay. love that. That was like that was smooth. I like that. They try to pick it up. He jets instead. Oh, yeah. fade back fair, dude. Yeah. Rob can do it too. Yeah. 
Blue Bear's just like waiting for Clay to go in. Clay's getting a bit impatient, I feel like. I love that movement, dude. Off stage, waiting for him, expecting him to just sort of run off right into a back air. All right. Spin cycle, gets F smash yep. for his troubles. He, and he tried to fade it back because he thought he was going to come in, but no, dude, he's done. Pure death. Yes, sir. Up tilt, not going to get the up air either. Almost had that, that frame trap right there. Down tilt, so annoying and dealing with on the ground. Like, so fast, hard to react to. Sets up for tech chases, sets up for everything. I feel like your credit score improves when you use that move, Yeah, too. it does your taxes, bro. Yeah. Uh oh, oh, he was almost stuck in the middle. Yeah, that there. was, uh, in the rob zone now. Yep, up down tilt. throw. Yep, up air. Oh, up air. Okay, I thought he was going to go for up tilt, but I guess at that point it was basically confirmed. Get another full, not a full gyro yet. Oh, careful. Yep. So Which way is he going? Which way is he going? <gasps> is he a forward air? No, no chance. Nair sent him the wrong other way. Yeah. Right now it seems like Blue Bear is just, you know, playing a little bit of catch up right now, but already making it back immediately. He's going to get another one? Oh, okay. More no. mature than I am. <laughs> yeah, patience, dude. <laughs> patience, that pays off. Blue Bear's the patience. So King, let's look at that race. spin Ooh. cycle. Yes, sir. Oh, covers it? Okay, I like that. That's the zombie. <laughs> <It's not fair. laughs> dude. Down smash at ledge. He has no two. jump. He has no jump. Yeah. Unable to recover. Yeah. Huge. Huge. Big. Got him to recover just far enough away that he'd have to shoot past the ledge. That's a free down smash. Okay. Uh, okay. Oh, Back I hit. like that. He didn't go for a hit. He like waited for him to fall down. I like that. Okay. Keep it keep in stock when you don't have a jump and when your juggle's over and just like resetting the situation. That's what you need as Mario. You don't get like you need that. There's no other like way to really play the character. Yeah, you can't like. really just keep trying to push neutral. Yeah. Oh, you know, run in, gets an up air, another up air, gets an up B, not going to kill because this is Town and City. Very Blue Bear is so confident in the corner. He just stayed there, did not jump, did not do any sort of panic option. Oh, down tilt, just getting him out of there. Stared down the face of death with that S. People call him a master for that one. <laughs> but no, it got him out. He was literally yeah. getting set up to get forward smash, and he's just like, why? Like, I'm just going to, like, he literally just slapped him. Right hook. Up air almost killed at 95 on Oh, throw it up. Throw it up, maybe hit him in the middle. No, throwing it straight down. All right. Big laser. Not big laser, small laser. Yeah, he just wanted to get out of there. That's fine. He had to keep him in shield. He could just get out. Up there. Scary, Not scary. DI. Landing on a platform is scary here, Dude, too, because it rocked. Wow. Just, just patient. Just stood in his face like, what you going to do? He's we'll, like, we'll, we'll I'm waiting for push. your shield to go away, too. Like, I'm going to poke you. Oh, there's the gyro. Not dead yet. He's he gonna doesn't be, he's gonna, Is he going to up be high? Wow. I thought he was going to up be high so hard right there. Just a mix up. Spot dodge. <gasps> wow, the jab dude. was so smart. So glad he didn't grab right there. He would have died. Oh, he might Down be dead throw. Here, though, smash. Yeah. No. Wow, dude. Are you kidding me? If he makes it back because of this, he's the greatest player of all time. No. Nope. But it just does not work. That mash was still insane. Everybody in this what is, top eight is so what is good up, at What is up with Westsiders in their mash, dude? They can get out of anything. I mean... You gotta think with the characters they play, does it make sense, Rob, Mario? But at the same time, that was impressive. It was I cannot do that. That was at impressive. one, what, 35, 140? Yeah. I think somebody's somebody's messing with the setup now. Is it Trey? I don't know. Pretty Someone's sure there's something Jesse. wrong with it. Whatever. I yeah. don't know. We got pay we got stuff to do. We're waiting now. Okay, looks like it's set. Now we and sound is back too. Nice. We're back in business. Wonder where they'll go next. I don't I know. know. I want to say, while Crimson Quest Three wasn't as big as we expected it to be. Uh, yeah, I don't it's, care about it's, that. Yeah, I, it's been running great. We've been having some wonderful sets, seeing some new faces that not many people in the Michigan scene have yeah. seen from time to time. Yeah, Everybody seems to be having a good time too. Like yeah. obviously, people obviously aren't the happiest they lose, but nobody's been rude. Nope. Haven't had no, no one got in a fight. Nobody died. Nope. <laughs> nobody died yet. So everything seems to be running just fine. Big fan. Sticking with the same characters, we're going back to Town and City. I think that's probably a good play, honestly, from Clay. I think this is the stage you want us to go to. You know, Nair Fair, here we go. Already trying to start the Rob Trains down till he puts in so much work for the man. Gets him tripped up, too. Oh, like, yeah, we're seeing... he knows that. That's the Dejan right there, man. Now we're seeing Boo Bear just like run the show. Yeah, he's like, you know what? I've noticed that it seems to be that like, I can just put pressure with my hitboxes. I'm showing a little bit too much respect. Now it's time to do what I need to do. Parries uh, it. Okay, I like that. Waited for the, uh, tried to bait out the, uh, the cape. 
was gonna say, you're seeing it right now. Part of the reason this stage can be so polarizing is the fact that it literally turns into FE like immediately when the platforms are gone. And that's like, so if you want to deal with projectiles, shield jump, grab it. And then it basically, it. yeah. And now it's basically Kalos without the ability to wall jump. Yep. And you die earlier too. Don't forget that. So like, there's there's a lot of reasons. Like, I feel like this stage can be very polarizing. I think you're seeing it on display here because like. Specifically with Rob, where he can laser you, he can throw his top at you, and he can just set up with his, like, multi-hits and side beats and stuff. It's so hard to get out sometimes. Exactly. Down tilt tech chasing, too. Very hard to deal with. And now he's just trying to set up that big old gyro. There you go. Got to grab. What's going to be start? There's a fair. You know, just reset neutral. Yeah. You just pick and choose. You don't got to push everything. Yeah. But, uh-oh, he's stuck in the meat grinder. Wow, he picked up the gyro. Oh, oh, okay. Oh, two I percent. Oh, actually, I think the gyro just disappeared. Yeah, I got it. I like that. He's just like, get the... <laughs> get that out of here. Get the... Oh, nice. Double. He knew he was going to keep doing it. I like that parry. Mm -hmm. And he had the right punish for it, too. I'm shocked he was able to get that smash out. There's a gyro, another nair, gyro, side B, give him the spinner, Rooney, yeah. patience on it, too. Wow, he didn't die. <laughs> just yeah, saying, like, babysitting him. He's like, you think I'm going to save you? Yeah. You gonna save you? No, not That was today. the babysit. And extra hit to make sure he is dead. And here we go again. Okay, who's going to get their big combo starter first? Looks like CK already got down air into up B, taking the damage, okay? He's caught, yeah, he's cool, though. Even though you're down to your tournament stock, essentially, you're still taking damage because, like, if you keep pushing it, you're just going to make a mistake, and then you're going to fall even further behind, so. True. Big laser. Gyro goes flying. Gyro not on stage, either. Overshot. Gosh, Nair covers so much. And there goes Gyro again. Going for the Zombear, not getting it. Instead of getting grabbed and for his troubles. Ooh. Up smash? Yeah. Oh, he wants it. He wants it so bad. Uh-oh, he's in the meat grinder yeah, that's yeah. done. Press yeah. performance by Clay, though he is unfortunately out of the money. Still a good showing, though, especially going up against somebody of Boo Bear's like, caliber and skill. Like, that's impressive. Yeah, I'm it impressed. is. I will be possibly back. I'm going to see if Bacon still wants to commentate. Yeah. Give me one quick second. I'm going to take a small break because I also have to go to the bathroom. I started the esports program here at Ferris because I saw that there was a need that needed to be filled. I know me and all of my friends really enjoyed watching esports and I said, hey, we don't have anything like this here at Ferris. I actually came to Ferris and the first thing I did was look up in the clubs if there was an esports program. Before I joined esports, I didn't really feel like I had any sense of identity with her university. When I was growing up, I started seeing this esports scene, watching these professional players, and I said, that's something I want to do. When I joined the esports team, it was really cool because I could say, hey, yeah, I'm a bulldog. I do this. Honestly, I thought it'd be a cool way for someone like in my condition to honestly be able to play a sport. Because it's kind of hard for someone with a disability to actually find a place to in college where they can belong. Esports has really made me proud to be a Bulldog. Um, it gives me a way to compete and represent Ferris. So I am a Ferris player. Enjoying Ferris as a whole more so than just taking classes to get a degree. It's given me more discipline. So I get my assignments done like before games and before practice. Gaming and esports can help improve Ferris's community by giving a lot of the students who don't have a reason to fit in, a lot of the, I like to stay at home and, and, and play video games in my room, it gives a lot of those students an opportunity to m come together and make friends. Personally, esports has helped me get connected on campus. It's been really enjoyable to see other people that I may have never met. I've met other friends that I never would have known existed here at Ferris had I not joined esports. It's really easy to get to know people. All my friends are through esports. It was really cool to get to get to know other people from universities that are going through the same thing and just wanting to play esports. We have this great foundation that we can call a family, basically, with the esports program as it is. So, with all these people, we have 300 plus already. That's going to draw more and more people and more and more attention. Really, the interest is already there, um, just so long as we maintain our presence here in the university and the community. A lot of high schoolers have reached out to us and said, hey, are you guys offering scholarships? Do you guys have teams in the games that I play? Um, and, and most of the time, we're like, hey, we want to get you here. I want the esports program to flourish more than just settle where it is. Having an esports arena at Fair State 
would make the gaming experience more because we could have tournaments against like multiple teams here at Ferris. We can be competitive with it, but it's in the end of the day, it's just about making new friends and bonding with people and having a good time with the games. I am proud to be a ball dog because how much fun I get to have and all the enjoyable stuff I get to do as a bulldog. I'm proud to be a bulldog. I am proud to be a bulldog. I'm proud to be a bulldog. Lost the stock, okay, Steve. But then again, so has Onan. Onan on his third tag of the day. Yeah, I don't know. He's He's been his alter egos or something. He's the worst superhero of all time, though, because we all know it's him. Exactly. Yeah. Anyway, as much as I feel like I kind of understand what Steve is doing, I also feel like I don't. So, like... Yeah, Steve's such a weird character like that. Yeah. Like, it's kind of hard to dissect because, like, he's, he's basically just built around getting resources and then using those resources to either build walls to get more yeah. resources until he can get a diamond and then kill you in like three hits. Yeah. But dang, dude. I just feel like a lot of times, like right there, you're seeing him just put obstructions on the stage. Like he basically forces you to approach him like, and he just sets up like right there. If he, he can throw him back, forward smash him, stuff like that. Like, I don't know. The fact that he can just put up walls on stage just makes him such a unique character because everybody has to play around it, and you can literally just set up like traps for it. Oh, and now no. he's walking the dog. He's dead. I think walking he's dead. the dog. I, nope. I thought that was dead because if he. Well, oh my god! Wow, wow dude! Great angle. Huge that was angle. A, that was an insane angle by dog. I don't get that angle, dude. No. I'm not smart enough. I'm oh, not smart we tried enough. to tomahawk. Interesting. There is one setup that I've okay. There's the end. Yeah, that's a there is one setup that I've seen Onan do that is just disgustingly filthy. He will put one block just over the like ledge. the ledge, back throw you into it, so you have to tech, tech it. But if you do, smash, you're yeah. in forward smash and you just explode. Yeah, it's filthy. It is. And I see now why his Twitter tag is "We have to ban Steve." Yeah. He's like he's the one guy. He's the martyr. He's the whole take one for he's the like, team. I'm showing you why this character is bad. Yeah. Please oh, he's ban the, this character. He's the MK Leo Bayonetta of Ultimate, you know? Mm -hmm. Just showing him, like, sorry, I have to take one for the team. Sorry, Flop. It had to be done. All right. You know what's even crazy? Like, oh, what Dux, Dux has made it this far. I've confirmed with Dux on multiple occasions. He doesn't grind this game. He doesn't really practice much. The most of the time he practices is in tournament sets like this. It probably explains why he's been more confident playing him, though. It's a different beast when you're, like, you know, you have pressure on the line. Obviously, these two are in the money, but it's the fact that, like, you know, you're so close to the end, it's almost harder because it's, like, yeah, you can feel confident. Like, yeah, at least I'm going to get third, but it's, like, it feels even worse when you lose. So they're both fighting harder than anybody right now, trying to make sure that they have, like, a, more money, and then two, being able to win when you're this close. Like, it's important. Down nice. tilt at ledge, catching the side B, recovering high. Nice move in. What? The what? Heck? How Get is he fast enough for that? I'm shocked. I have no clue, dude. Yeah, that was shocking to me, too. And he and that. Yeah. I don't know if you can reflect that, can you? Can I, you read it? I think it still just stays there until, like, Ooh, I don't know if it'll pass. SDI? Through. Do you see that SDI? That's, that's a powerful SDI. Yeah. So that's 58%. Catching him at ledge. Oh my gosh. Up tilt, only one. Up smash. They fell it. through. He's like, he's shielding on it. He just falls through. 
And another up smash, and that's three stocks He's to one. He's making this look like a clinic right now. It seems Ducks is just scrambling, trying to figure out, like, what he can even do to combat this. He keeps getting mixed up with these heights. Like you saw right there, he put him on a block he's, for it to disappear to drop his shield just to hit him. He's dead. Oh, my gosh. That's, yeah. Wow, dude. Walked him like the dog. He just walked him. <laughs> walked him from st Yo. end of stage to the other, got him off the ledge, and then spiked him once, and he's dead. Dead. Oh, ho, it's a pirate's life for me, boys. <laughs> that was I'll have you know, I have I have full... I'm aboard the Please Ban Steve train. I am This not. character doesn't play Smash. Half the characters in the game don't play Smash. That's what Smash is about. Exactly. Yeah, okay. Yeah. You got me there. No. Come on. Come on. Come on, boys. Gonna say it, a little bummed there's no Defoe today. Surprised Defoe didn't show up, or any KZ players, really. Like, if $500 can't get you to drive KZ to get graphics, I don't know what will. But oh, here we go again. No. Take him for a ride. He's gonna take All the four others ride. getting put down, boys. I don't know. Okay. Marley and me is happening in real time. <laughs> Oh, come on, don't make me cry. <laughs> come on. Dude, Marmaduke, no! Oh, stop, dude. <laughs> this is messed up, dude. I'm, I'm done. Because right, this well. is what he does. He just he builds that wall, and then his hitboxes can go through the blocks. Yeah. But you got to make the most oh, of every okay. single neutral win. Oh, My he just stalls out. He's like, yeah, come on, man. You keep putting up these hitboxes. You know, I'm just going to wait here for you to mess up. And that's exactly what he did. Puts out a block, disappears, goes down, kills him. Like, that's the problem with Steve, though. It's difficult to deal with because it's like, is he going to stall? Is he just going to come down with down air or something? Is he just going to chill there? Like, what's he going to do? Minecart 2. I don't even think he's really used Minecart all that much in the set. No, he just keeps on doing these jab blocks because uh, there's the back air. Okay. I was like, he caught his tail, but okay. I think lasering blocks has to be like one of the smartest things you can do. No, yeah, it's better than just going in and getting hit immediately with that insane up air and up tilt. Yeah, the only problem is that after that, you still have to close the distance or else he's just going to keep getting more and more resources. Yeah. Wait, look how fast that was. It was like an immediate combo break. Let's grab. That does oh, so much shield damage. You cannot shield that at all. Up smash, going to take it. It's and now... Ugh. Ducks on his winner's side life here. Yeah. Up, Wait, so back okay, here, okay. On. Some strings, some strings, okay. Blood trap, call for China. <laughs> back here, not gonna do it. Uh oh, up tilt. Here we go. Okay, I love that. Oh, he thought he was gonna jump in and go for Nair or something. Gets an up smash, not enough, not golden percent. I had somebody always saying Steve is light. I don't think Steve's very light. I don't know. Steve's got a weird weight where he's like heavier than you think. Yeah, he's like the Mario Brothers in Melee. It's like the weird weight where you can't like combo him, but they combo you. <laughs> okay, here we go. Oh, Little I like drill. that. Multi hit, mix up. Drag down fair, up air. Here come the ducks up air. Forward smash? Oh, I thought he was going to forward smash, dude. Oh, my. Side B, hold back, maybe? Oh, he wow. beats it. Don't. He's... <sighs> It's a tough thing. I know it is. You Fox wants to be underneath his opponent when they're in the air, but Steve is like, uh, just take an anvil if you try that. I like this comeback he's making. He's uh, he's not giving up just yet. I like to see that. Yeah, yep. that's the jump. It was a good set. I it mean, was. Odin was just on top of him the whole game. Didn't give him room to breathe. Like that was impressive by him. He made it seem like it was hopeless. And I mean, you gotta hand it to him. That's good gameplay, right it there. It is. It is. He's doing. Yeah, it big. He's, he's going big. He's literally going big. And now teammates are now forced to duke it out. Yeah. His adorable knight and Boo Bear. Runners up in the doubles bracket have well, to face each other. My brother Boo Bear. <laughs> oh, my You were like a brother to me. Unreal. I have the high ground, adorable knight. I have the high ground. I think it's cut in half by his best friend. How poetic. Yeah. Truly poetic. A modern day opera. <laughs> modern, modern day, day Shakespeare. Tragedy. tragedy. Just a tragedy.
So the stage is set. Top four. True. Ducks guaranteed at least third. Big facts. B -b -b Big facts. And Onan gets to just chill out in Grand Finals. As we're headed into game number one already. Ooh, okay. Greninja. Rob. Um, I guess I will say, like, I don't even know how to call it, because, like, Greninja is definitely one of those characters that appears very infrequently. Like, certainly a character that people are interested in early on in Ultimate and then just kind of, like, those dropped. People, yeah, but those people that stuck with him have done some crazy things. Like, I'm, uh, my. I'm like trying to think of the the thing is I like Leah and I yep. study and Yils too specifically, but I will say you can't really claim matchup and experience like I was going to say because these two play each other all the time. Yeah. it's not anything new. It's not crazy. It's been three years of this. It's not you know. It's they, just the way it is. Yeah, they like this is a classic matchup. They know Ooh. what's going on, and he's not going to miss that. Okay, but if we're still back to zero, two stocks apiece. Smash four percents here. <laughs> Oh, okay, I like that drop to the platform, covers himself from anything he wants to do, like a nair, and then just set up. That's why I like those micro situations you see from these players in a bracket are stuff that a lot of people that get out earlier on really aren't thinking about or considering, and it's like really important because that's the kind of stuff that does change games. It sets up adaptation. That's the conditioning right there. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, yeah, it's just falls there. there. Yeah, for another one. Nice. Oh, going for a near follow up, like it. Okay, down tilt, j jabs beating out down tilt. Okay, wow. I guess he was just like, yeah, screw it. <laughs> just jabbing. Okay, he he put Gyro perfectly at ledge. He got hit but missed the back air from it. Now Adorable Knight's got the Gyro in hand. No, he's going to try to set up into smash or something, no? Down yep, smash something yep. maybe? Even, Ad even Adorable Knight's still struggling to pick up the... Uh, the kill here, yeah. Rob's big. Rob's big. Rob's big. Rob's heavy. And um, struggling to pick up the gyro. Yeah. Well, also, like, talking about the gyro, just struggling to get in, especially when he has that out. Like, it just seems way harder because now it's like Greninja's the type character used to basically do whatever he wants, running in and being able to dash attack. When you have the gyro there, it literally cuts off your ground movement. So now he has to jump. It's mm -hmm. like, okay, if you have to jump, I'm just going to up air, forward air you. Like, Rob is good at meeting people air to air. That's one of the few things, like, he's amazing at. Like, his aerials are just so good for boxing when he's, like, a zoner. It's crazy. It, it's the do it all, you know. He's yeah. a Swiss Army knife of Smash Ultimate. Arguably, become a bigger Swiss Army knife than even like Wolf or Valentina, probably. Yeah. I would say those were the two like big counterpick characters. I would say Rob might be. Never mind. Just well, he was. That was like the worship and pray right there. Just, just amen, dude. Send to heaven. <laughs> Speaking of going to heaven, we tech those. Uh, somewhere else maybe. <laughs> Okay. Catching him yet? Oh, nice. Love that up smash when he mixes up. Like, if they just expect him not to do anything and just wait for an air dodge. Oh. Back throw. Big laser connecting. Snipe. Uh, I thought City. he was going to try to uh, parry it, but. Hey, can't be perfect all the time, boys. Like Either way, he still has a healthy lead right here. Yep. Up there. Drag down on the ledge. Oh, he's a little bit too experienced for that. That's definitely got to be like a read that you have from just playing a lot. Like, yeah. I feel like I would have rolled in there too, honestly. Me, I would have. No. That, that killed me. No. Ninja back throw. Okay, I oh, like that. Yeah. He's not air to cover. That's like free platform coverage on this stage. It right? is. Oh, another up smash. Not Jeez, dead yet. Jeez, that man was microscopic in that hourglass. Tripped him up again. Don't. Oh, he's in between a rock and a hard place. Just gets out. Gyro once again. Set up for the tech yep. chase. Oh. Throws it down. Just dropping off ledge. Oh, he's a haircut right there. Yeah. Oh, up. Okay. Up tilt. Set up outside maybe or something? Yeah. Oh, up here. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okie doke. Throw it off. Oh, is he going to Z drop it? Yeah. Yep. Oh, Covers okay. the multi hit, yeah. yep. And that's on adorable night, sir. That is. That, that's on ja. Winner. Oh, it just straight run back. Yep. yep. I like that. That's raw. Yep, sticking with it.
we go. Okay, yeah. He, the down tilt dash attack is quite a simple confirm for Greninja, but yeah, it gets a lot of mileage out of it. No. Okay, now, I love this. He's just staying away now. He's just letting Boo Bear walk into this. Yeah, and now he is. I could catch. And Nairs. Not big. Just put up a wall. Yeah, fades back to it. Did hit him on the first one. Yeah. I don't think he hit him oh. on the rest of it. Going off deep? Yeah. Yeah, it's patience. That it's jump from the ledge, everybody loves to do that. It's so hard to get the grab. Oh, wow, dude. He that's, faked him out. That yeah. was a fake out and a half. Broke his ankles on that back I think he thought air. that he was going to come after him with like a dash attack and just thinking, oh, he'll continue with like a four air. So he's like, all right, I'll just like let go and try to hit him. Dude just literally turns around and back airs him and sends him flying. Insane. Bro yeah. Broke his ankles on that play. There we go. More Caught dash attack to fair. And Good parry. Double three. I think he wanted a trip, but he was just trying to like confirm it, but he just did way too many. <laughs> now you'll see him do that up beyond ledge because it, it just like... Wow, I'm shocked he didn't die from that. Yeah, just like Mario Fire, it, uh, sorry, Mario Water, it will send you flying. Yeah. I mean, he almost, uh, if I'm not mistaken, didn't he almost kill Copal that way? He did, yeah. yeah. Here you go, back throw. Charging up the gyro, it's fully charged. Big laser on line two. Never mind. It wasn't a big laser. I lied to you. Sound fair, not pulling out. Okay, here we go. A couple oh, drag downs. Yeah. He knows Boo Bear's going to tag that too. I love seeing that. Most people just fall for the immediate jab lock. This is on level two now. <laughs> Jump off, four there. Oh, no. Nah, too low. He's bringing this back, though. He was down by quite a bit on this stock and just immediately about that impressive string. And a yeah. kill, too. Okay. All right, strong. he's goaded with it. Okay, okay. Oh, oh the read. read. Yep, read the roll in. This man's soul is his. Hit him with the scoop. Okay. Oh, Nair doesn't get the trip up either. It's so weird that just, like, Jab just can test that. Yeah. High up there. Still only a 50%. Don't worry about killing yet. Spike? Nope. Gyro ledge. Just, I like that empty hop. Yeah. Just put it out there as like, hmm, patience. I'm in the air. What are you going to do? Big bag. Oh. Takes up gyro. What comes up must go down. Yeah, my feet don't touch the ground, Sonic Heroes, dude. Let's go. <laughs> Let's, Let's go. go. Oh, Run up catch down that. Smash. Thing is, he was he was done no matter what. It tagged in place, rolled out, rolled in. He was gonna get covered by all those multi hits. Probably would have died. You just got robbed. You just got robbed. You just got robbed, man. No big deal. Domo Arigato, Mr. Roboto. Oh, I wonder if they're gonna just run it back to the stage again for the sake of time. Probably. I hope so. Yeah. Nope, I think they're striking. Nope, never nah, mind. let's go. Nah, Another yeah. prediction, boys. We're, we're Put it up on the board. Another one, boys. The whiteboard here. Things times Max has been right, times Jeremy's yes, been right. Please. Another one for Jeremy. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I don't think I've eaten nearly enough food today in this, uh, this energy drink getting to me. I think that might be important to do. One, go. Yeah, I got leftover B-dubs in my room afterwards. So oh, nice. We're good. Classic. <laughs> Here we go. Ooh, almost caught him if he did that jump early. Interesting to see Greninja Nair beat out uh, Rob Nair for once. Yeah, right? Especially considering that, like, Greninja Nair, you have to, like, fall into people. Like, it's, like, rest or something. It's crazy how, like, I feel like you have to be really precise to hit it almost. Mm -hmm. Even if it's safe, it's, like, actually hitting somebody with the move is way harder than you'd think it'd be. I wonder which one has faster, has, uh, faster startup. I think it's... It might be the same. It honestly. might, yeah, it might be a similar situation. I feel like Greninja is faster. I feel, I feel like it's by eyeballing. I think it's faster. Yeah. Go down tilt. Oh, trying to catch that jump off ledge with the bear. Not finding it. Gyro placement. Oh, oh, there we go. 
Oh, but not gonna get the spike. Let's for the upper, maybe. No, go. Oh, okay. Tries to catch him, and trying to catch him on a roll two, roll two after. Oh, not gonna get fair either. That, yeah. On the set, it's gonna take him. Baited him track. into the the uh, air dodge. He's like, oh, there's no way I can air dodge again. And he's like, okay, don't air dodge. I'll just jump up and hit you. Like, yeah, I love how Adorable Knight sets up for those juggles. Like, you see that a lot in these games at the end of tournaments, where like juggle state and like holding on to your advantage is so important, and they always be taken like these very minuscule mix-ups, but that matter a whole lot when you consider the context of the set because it informs the next game too. Mm -hmm. You literally saw it right there. He literally got a stock just by being like. Yeah, I don't think you're going to air dodge again. I'm just going to jump and hit you. And he was right. And it literally got him the kill. Down around shield, not doing anything. Making it look easy. And still, man still got three stocks. Man still has three stocks. I think he lost a jump. No, wow. That is patience and just, like, discipline to hold on to it right there. A lesser man would have immediately jumped. I would have. Good patience, too. He's got he's got these timing mix-up on his recoveries. Yeah. Pretty good. Boober having a tough time uh, spiking him like he wants to. As I say, you can definitely tell they play against each other a lot, I feel like. Especially with like stuff like drag downs, like little stuff like that where people like actually start teching it, but like like knowing you're gonna tech it so they tech the other way. It's like mm -hmm. those are the little interactions that you can tell these people either play a lot or they're familiar with the matchup. Or both. And in this case it's both. I like that. Got short hop fair. Like you're just gonna jump out of shield, aren't you? Yeah. You got it to him. Z drop, yeah. Holding on the platform. Nice. Okay. Another F tilt, yeah. You just bat him away. Get out of here. Almost oh, had it. Yeah. He, that's literally how he won the first game, if I'm not mistaken. Neutral get up into that water shuriken. Get another up there. It's going to land. This multi hit's doing serious work right now. Up tilt. Oh, he's, he's a little deep on that one. No. Kinda, I didn't think he expected to fall off the stage. No, I don't think so either. But gets tripped up. Parry down tilt. Just rolls back and forth. Each one trying to get like almost ledge ledge uh, control as they uh, probably are looking for like a back throw situation. But up there is going to land. That's oh, going to be bats stuck. him away, man. Damn. And he's out of there. He's gone, dude. Long fly ball, deep left field. He's going to make it a 4-0 ball game. Roll behind, grab the CK. <laughs> yeah, the behind. Oh. Line. To the CK, come on. Oh, that's so spike? scary. I yeah. thought he was going to side B or something. He's getting these nares on ledge, though. Again. Oh, wow. Oh, he that up air, yeah. Approaching with up air. Okay, fatty ball. Uh, but honestly, probably the best decision right there. Covered mm -hmm. so much and would probably shield poke. I like that. And now it looks now Boober's taking the lead. No. Yeah. He's just holding his ground at the ledge here. Boomer does not get scared in these like pressure situations at all. It no. just seems like he just holds his ground. He doesn't jump stupidly. He doesn't roll really. What? Yo, he did it! He got him with it! Ain't no way. Hit him with the yoinky splinky, the the hit him with the hydro pump up air. He did not just say yoinky splinky. Hit him with the hydro pump to kill him, dude. Didn't even do any damage, just sent him. The water box went whoosh. The oingo, get out oingo. Of here. Oh my, the lovable Skrunko. <laughs> Literally the lovable Skrunko, bro. Yeah, dude. Yeah. Wow. That's how you That's how you end a game. That's how you end a game. I'm just kind of baffled at what just happened, yeah, honestly. I can't I will believe we'll be either. watching that. We will be seeing the VOD. Yeah, we're, that's a clip moment. That is. Dorable Knight gets another clip of Crypt Crypto Clash. That's so yep. crazy. That's the second time, dude. We got, we've got a couple of pretty good clip moments out of today. Oh, don't want to be stuck in between Rob and his gyro. Oh, he tried to land on platform. He wanted that. F tilt? Oh. oh, almost had the tomahawk. Yeah. Nair. I've started thinking the reason he keeps rolling after he tries to do the tomahawk is he thinks that Boo Bear is going to read the tomahawk, I guess, and rolls behind to like, deal with it. I feel like that's what's happening because, like I said, they do play against each other quite a bit. Most people usually aren't expecting the Tomahawk, so somebody doing a counterplay for the Tomahawk is crazy. Literally thinking four steps ahead. Yes, sir. Like, that that's just something I noticed because I was wondering why he kept doing it, and I was like, well, Boo Bear seems to just want to attack right after, and probably because of the fact that he knows he's getting Tomahawked, and Greninja's one of the best characters to do that sort of strategy with. 
Wow. Down, I mean, that's He's making till, a statement right now. That's down till fair. He well, was denied at Crimson Clash 1. Yes. Denied at Crimson Clash 2. He wants Crimson Clash 3. Right. He doesn't want to be just the gatekeeper. He wants to go through the gate. Yes. He wants to go to Mount Olympus. He wants to sit on the Pantheon. He wants people to stop making these stupid comparisons. <laughs> He wants to just win money. He wants he the 40% wants, of the $500. He wants the bag. Yes. Oh, watch, just rolling behind. Time and time again. Up smash again. After this, I actually need to get out so I can pay out. Yep. Let's see if bait, see if Lewis finishes smoothie. No. Actually, I'm going to go do that right now because I don't know if Cope will left. I'll be back. Okay. And still keep it going, getting things into it. Oh, be careful. Yeah, don't, yeah, don't. Duh. Oh, here you go. Sorry, boys. We're still good, though. We're still going. Going hard in the paint. Oh, spot dodge, Z drop, gyro. That was a cute little conversion. First time seeing that this set. Fair down tilt conversions coming out. Up tilt, up air. But not getting the ending hitbox. Up tilt, up air again. Just so consistent with it. Gets another big laser shot. Gyro not going to land. Good air dodge through. The timing mix up. But that's a side B ledge. That's going to kill. Now, Ubert looking to force a game three. Sorry. Sorry. Looking to force a game five. In a good standing to do so, too. Oh, wow. He, that is gyro after gyro. Landing firm. F tilt. There is Nair once again. Parry on it. Only gets first parry. Up tilt. Up air. Is going to do it. And with that, we're going to game five. Durable Knight wants the bag, but Boo Bear's like, mm, I gotta pay you for uh, getting me into this tournament. I guess Boo Bear paid him. Boo Bear paid himself. I just didn't have cash to do it. Now, big thing, we're going straight back to PS2 again for game five. Might get Dorbel Knight getting a big stretch in before this big, big, big game five. I didn't expect to, I didn't expect a uh, character swap, anyways. Three, two, one, and here go. we go. Game five starting up hot. Already gyro laser. Just patience. There's dash attack back air. Again, almost killing. Almost cheesing an early stock here. Now Boo Bear's in a tough situation at ledge. Gotta try and make it back. Gets on gets on stage, gets the throw too, and now turns the tide on him. Now it's uh now it's your turn to try and get back on stage and take control center stage. Okay, up tilt, up air, not gonna land. Just down tilts. Such shield pressure. I like that down airing the uh, the gyros and straight back up. A little bit of movement tech. Spinnerine not gonna do it, but he is gonna just return with a rising up air that is gonna land. Back air is gonna do it. And Dorbal Knight taking the first stock in this game five. Okay, there we go. Down tilt, F, down tilt, fair landing. Button getting some good extra credit on. Uh, could you please open the door? Thank you. And while I was saying that, Boober evened it right back up. Up tilt, fair, missed tech. Gets the upper on the second try. Uh oh, here we oh, go. Gyro big boy time. damage. Here we go, big, that's big, oh, big boy damage. To, to roll in? With the Nair too? Oh! Big laser. 
down, down air, down air. Get the combo. <laughs> oh, he, oh, that would have been the greatest finisher. That might have been one of the best tournament stocks I've seen in an actual tournament. Specifically, a loser semis. They're playing for money. Yeah, dude. This is literally they're playing for, money. for the bag. Down. Th oh no, forward throw. We've seen adorable night mash out before. We have. So I don't think uh, yes, down throw is not really on the menu. Why is he on fire? Great question. Where'd the fire effect come from? I don't know. Just but keeps uh, you know. Got a lot of mixtape or something. You think Gyro is just wrapped mixtape? Oh, I hope not. It sucks. Sour spot dare. Wow, sniped him with the Gyro. Unreal, boys. I don't know. Boo Bear's looking just like this is his his set to take. Yeah, he wants to end this now. Yeah. Fair double down three down tilts. Reads the roll into. Not getting the up air, but gets the gyro and the big laser. That is 83% here. He's going to get the down air, I think. Oh, he no, delays it right at the bottom. Okay. Still, now it's Adorable Knight on his tournament stock. Yep. No fear. No Just fear. let it rip. Yeah. Let it rip indeed. It's Blue Bear. Coming back, dude. Coming back. He just guaranteed himself 100 bucks. He did. Hey. That's good enough. It's good <laughs> pretty good, but they're playing for money now. This is where things get crazy. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. This next one's going to be hype. Ooh, you're right. It's going to be a... Uh... Boo Bear versus Ducks. Yeah. This is going to be a bloodbath. It is. Boo Bear walking off, taking a little breather. Oh, I mean, I would too after yeah. that. Tight, he doesn't. He's not going to have much time, though. He's going straight into Ducks. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Shout out to Defoe saying, I hate Rob in the chat. Hmm. I think everybody feels that way about Rob. It's like people always hate all the players in Michigan's characters. Rob, Steve, Wario, Mega Man, Duck Hunt, yeah. <laughs> Snake, Samus, ZSS. Why do we play this game? Why do we play this game? What, what characters is... do we like? <laughs> Now we're getting philosophical. Has this game made my life any this, better? <laughs> this is why I'm. This is why I think that Zinkus may be Zinkus ruins uh, Dilster. Maybe the hypest players in the state. Why? Well, because two play one plays Falcon, the other two, two play, play Donkey play Kong. Yeah, yeah. It's like what characters does this state like watching? We like watching Zenodo. Everybody likes watching Zenodo. Yeah, yeah. but that's because Zenodo is cracked and he's really good at the game and he's he's chill. We like watching Lavish. Because Lavish has the sick clips. He does. I've never seen him do a retreating aerial in his life, and that's what we like about him. Exactly. That's what. That's why we sent him to the summit. That's true. We sent that man to the moon. Yeah. More summit votes than anyone else in history. Facts. Big facts. Big facts. Big facts. And another character that I know this state likes watching. What? Oh, uh, <laughs> let's go. Oh, he's Boo just doing Yeah, he's just warming up right now. Yeah, Boo Bear walked off. Oh, boy. Here we go. We get a bonus match, folks. We get. Ain't <laughs> no way he's playing Pichu versus Boo Bear, no? No, he's uh, he's just playing Pichu for. Just to play Pichu. Yeah, right. Versus a level three. Who's going to win? The level three? <laughs> I didn't actually know that was one of Pichu's yeah. taunts. What the hell? He's just not even playing. He's he just done. ran straight through. He ran straight through Hydrant. Oh, game's oh, broken. What? Yeah. Get out he's, of here. He's holding something in his other hand. He couldn't oh. make the full heart. Get out of here, man. It's Ducks versus Boo Bear. It's his fun. time's up. He, he's the boomer of Ferris. He needs to get out. Yeah. Before the bomb goes boom. Here we go. Rob Fox. Three, go big. Two, one, go. Starting on PS2 and immediately off the jump. We got a gyro. We got lasers. Uh, this is a... Uh, I mean, I feel like they played... I wonder if Ducks and Boo Air played it. Crunch Clash 2. I feel like they did because I'm going to be honest. I haven't kept up much with other West tournaments. I do know they probably play against each other a lot. That's just... I mean, it's got to be true, right? Yeah, this is a set I've seen at Grand Revival a few times, and, right. uh, as well as Starlight. 
And who would you say usually gets the better? Is it Boo Bear that usually wins? I think it's relatively even. Really? Actually. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I think Boo Bear probably ekes it out more times than not. Right. But uh, Ducks definitely hold his own in this. Right. Ooh. I think what's scary is what we're seeing right now, this edge guarding situation. Oh, he tried to be smart, and instead it just, like, did not work somehow. I hate trying to go for that ledge when you're trying to go down. It just never seems to work. Yeah, so I'm, I'm... Oh! From the outset, I'd have to give Boo Bear the edge in this. Yeah, he's... Oh, my goodness. He would have been dead from that. Okay. Grab this is depth. the double forwarder. That was, like, a frame trap and a half, and he still missed it. I'm shocked that that missed. I like the aerial stall. Yes. Gets the big boot. Big boys. That was not a top idol. No. That's an idol. I actually, I, <laughs> I once got really salty at somebody because I thought yeah. that was a yeah. taunt, but no. Shout out to Chris Lewis. Chris, shout out to Chris Lewis. Shout out to Chris Lewis. Wish you were here. Yeah. There's okay. a rapid jab. Yeah, okay. Jump off stage. Shine him. Just spike him. Shine him. Spike him. In all seriousness, though, him. one of the things that you're seeing from both these players, like, obviously as a Fox player you need to do this, but specifically Rob, too, who has amazing aerials for this sort of thing, is the strengths and the fact that, like, you can tell it's an immediate adaptation of what somebody's doing. Like, that whole first dive by Boo Bear when he was literally just reading all of Ducks' options and literally almost edgeguarded him off of, like, one interaction, it was, like a down tilt or something. Mm -hmm. Like, that's one of the things that makes it so interesting because I honestly don't know what they're going to do next. And again, just like the last set where a lot of it came down to, like, experience playing with each other, I'm almost certain that's the same thing that's happening right here. Ducks Ooh, just F-smashed Gyro. <laughs> dude, he doesn't care. No. He's no raw, fear, dude. He does not care. care. No fear. Look at that. Look at that, man. Look at that. See that happen? Look at us. Look at it. Look at, okay, us. Look at us. Look where we are. Who would have thought? Not me. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, I thought that, though. <laughs> Couldn't get it once against Adorable Knight, but gets it first try against uh, Ducks. But that's, like, almost free when you're doing it against Fox and Falco. Like, even yeah. if they ride the ledge, it's still, like. Because the timing for that's much more consistent. Yeah. Especially if they don't have jump. They're going in game number two. Running it straight back. I don't think we're going to see anything other than... Uh, Who do you think is winning this game? Be honest. I think Boo Bear's going to keep it going. Yeah, Boo Bear? Yeah. yeah. I think I'm inclined to agree with you. But it seems like we've been seeing every game three when it's like a 2-0. Game three is where the other guy just turns it up. It's crazy. They literally make it look easy. I want to give a shout out Nico. Nico, oh, I see the uh, chat. No, Nico's not in the chat. Nico uh, upset Sen 2 0 at right. Genesis. Uh, we miss you, buddy. But I uh, hope you're having fun back in California. Yeah, we do miss him. He was, that was a cool dude. Yeah. Oh, I thought he was going to set up for grab or something. Yeah, there's wow, that was a wow. perfect spacing. That was the micro spacing. Tower Depths is smiling in heaven right now. That was literally, if I've ever seen Micro Spice, that's the one, dude. It's the one. That was it. That was the big one. Not fair. Oh, here's a, here's a grab at ledge. Forward throw. Unfortunately, Fox has no kill throws. Yeah. I mean, he betted on that. And that's what that, through. That's something that somebody brought up to me recently. Is like uh, tech chasing this game is so much easier because like you don't run through your opponent. I mean, it can be. I feel like what makes it harder though is the fact that there's like there's buffer in it, and on top of that, people are much faster in what they do, and your speed is way less. And you don't get momentum when you jump. So like, you really have to be a fast character to tech chase. You have to be like a ZSS or Falcon or something to do it. But we've seen it plenty of times from Blue Bear where like some opponent will miss a tech and he's just running straight at him, like, yeah. not doing anything. He waits for him to roll one direction or the other, yeah. and then and then reacts to that. It's like a prime reaction for it, which is like it's crazy. Like you usually see it coming, but it's like when you're in the middle of a set and like you know you're in those situations, it's so hard to avoid. Like mentally, you're like half there and half not. Mm -hmm. That's not easy. Not easy at all. Nair, where's Gyro? I love that he just floated back to center just to hold it down rather than going for any kind of read and then just die off of it. Damn. There it is. Down tilt, down smash. Yeah. Oh, taking him for a ride. This is the, oh, okay. That's a nice little turnaround. I know, right? I love seeing the rebuttal right there. <laughs> 
my counterpoint, yeah. sir. No, facts don't care about your feelings, but, <laughs> you, know, you know, hypothetically. Let's say, hypothetically. Yeah, I hit you with the owner reverse card. Yeah, let's say hypothetically, I hit you with a falling mare and the dash tag. Very cool. Oh, wow, dude. Wow, that's that's, that's nice okay. extension. Okay. Yeah, it seems like that keeps happening a lot where they're trading, like, these strings together. Like, that's why it feels so hard to, like, call what's going to happen next. It's like, each string is so different. And, like, either they're catching a jump, you know, reading an air dodge, something like that, which sounds very basic, but, like... Wow, talk so, about no fear. That's what I was saying. There's the big stuff right there. He thought he was going to spot dodge. He knew he wasn't going to hold, and he just dies. Never mind. Just dies. <laughs> Never mind. Never Air mind. Dodges. Never mind. Anticlimatic. Yep. Anticlimatic. Never mind. Never mind. Can't win them all, boys. Nope. But then again, we have seen it literally twice already where there's like almost a reverse 3 0 or a reverse 3 0 in game three when they're down 2 0. Boo Bear trying to take it home, trying to force, uh, trying to get himself into grants. I like that they just keep going back to PS2, honestly. I have yeah. to say. Honestly, I brought it up to a uh, script not too long ago, but he's like, what if we could just, you know, you could parlay things about Smash tournaments? Parlay? So, like, go play, like, what, ping pong? <laughs> well, <laughs> well, you know, no, no, like, uh, like over under on how many, like, different stages are played in a top eight. Oh, yeah, over yeah. Over under how many times, uh, like, you could, uh, you know, make live bets kind of thing. Okay, I see, I see. Because a good one would be over under how many times PS2 is played in the top eight. I mean, you're going to see it at the start of every thumbnail, every round. Also, can I just say, I think this is kind of over for Ducks. I have to, I've, I've, that kind of never mind, sorry. Never mind, nope, no, he's like, it's signs fine. of life. The Right at the beginning when Boo Bear was doing that, as we were talking, I'm just sitting there thinking, like, yeah, I think uh, Ducks checked out. And then he immediately responded and just said, like, you need to shut up. You have no clue what you're talking about. I'm, like, way better than you. And I agree with that statement. L plus ratio. Yeah, right? Plus don't I'm care, didn't ask, plus or white. Like, he just does not. <laughs> don't don't yeah. care, didn't ask, plus. Yeah. I still got stocks left. Blood Trap, best thing Ducks does, in my opinion. He's doing it really well here. Just keeping him stuck. Oh, it gets over, but it's Rob. Still getting a combo out of it, at least. Yeah. Come on. I like that he empty hopped to try and like see what he was gonna do for the landing on the platform. Yeah. Didn't even throw out the up air, just empty hopped. That's what you see a lot of people do. It's like either it just baits the jump or they try to get like slide off and they just get hit anyway. What? What? SDI? He might, I swear to God, he had to been mashing out or something. That is crazy. That is insane. I've because never seen anybody like be ready. The presence of mind to grab right there. I agree. He grabbed him before the last hit of yeah. rapid jab. Oh. Out. What? Just <laughs> get out of here. It's like it's like in a cartoon. He grabbed him by this by yeah. the collar of his shirt and the uh, his belt and just threw him out of the saloon. Yeah. He like tries to spike Fox. And he looks down and sees the ground beneath him is gone. He just starts shaking his feet in the air and then he falls like a little cartoon. Next thing <laughs> you know, he's going to draw a tunnel to run through. <laughs> <laughs> like in a Wild West, yeah, he's like, yeah. got shot, falls off the balcony. Like, yeah. My leg. <laughs> you hear the Wilhelm scream? <laughs> yeah. Ooh, speaking of the Wilhelm scream, this is scary. Yeah. Yep, oh, yep. Yep. Every he Fox. Did the, the double back air. One of them brings the shield down just enough so you can hit their head. They yep. all do that. Did Every that single Fox. And I think Rob has a pretty good shield. No, it's, it's relatively big. Covers the whole body. He's dead. Yep, spin. Wait. Spin. 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 Uh, spin. The He's in grands. He's, He's in, in grands. grands. He's in grands. Now we're in grands. Spin to win. Grandular, findular, bro. We're here. We made it. Look at us now. We did it. I mean, we didn't do anything. Yeah. I'm, I'm living vicariously through the actual good players. <laughs> That's what I'm doing. This man is writing notes like he is about to study for a final exam. This yeah. is insane. Studying. Doing good research. Can I see that, actually? Yeah. I'd love to see what this is. It's, liter it's literally just keeping track of the games that have been on the stream. Wow. Okay, one, two, three. Four. This was something that was recommended that I do, and uh, I highly recommend if you want to get into commentary, you start doing this well. Bring a notebook along with you. Keep track of the sets that you commentate. Like, uh, r keep notes and say, like, okay, this person did that. Uh, if you go far enough back, I think you're going to run into, like, some actual, like, school notes. Oh, I see, because I was like, I saw Get Cooked. I saw people went to Get Cooked. Okay. Cool. That's yeah. cool. I like that. Uh Interesting little tidbit. Yeah, script told me about it, and uh, let's see if we're getting into it now. Uh, I hope so. Oh, yeah, we're in. 
Look at that. Showmanship. <laughs> I got the I got the big brain. I'm like, hmm. I think I, I think they started already. And yeah. we're starting with Enderman. So, I got a story about this set in particular. Oh jeez. I at there was a time it was, it was at least two separate, uh, two to three weeks in a row at Grand Revival. Boo Bear had to play either Onan or Eden. When both of them were playing Steve, no. he, this man struggled against the Steve matchup for so long, and I think he still does. It is still a super tough Everybody matchup Everybody does, for him. man. All of our top players get out here getting killed by Steve. You can't knock the players, though. I mean, dude, it's like any character. You know, everybody struggled against Cloud Smash 4 and Bayonetta, and now everybody struggles against Steve. It's a matchup you got to learn. It's essential. Yep, and there's Anvil, but he's living. That's yeah, good he's DI. Props big. That's good DI. Yeah, yeah, that is good DI. Oh, wow. Oh, I can't shield it, yeah. Dead? Great Cloud match. It's still great match. So that's uh, that's my card for you. That's my card for you. Good thing about my card offline is a lot of people can react to it much better than they can online for fairly obvious reasons. Okay. Yep. Down throw. Okay. Oh, he's supposed to be going for reverse aerial rush back here. I think that's what he's trying to do. Wow, dude. They're just holding each other at bay right now. Oh, uh, uh, <laughs> oh stuck on the block. Yeah. Oh my gosh, dude. A single wood block is just... <laughs> Who would win? <laughs> Who would win? One of the best robs in the state or a single wood block? Uh, I think what like mostly scary, especially for Boo Bear in this matchup, is like part of the thing that makes Steve so annoying is when he's gathering resources, it looks like he's vulnerable and you want to attack, right? Even if you're trying to overshoot, you're like, you know he's going to oh, do something. No. It just feels so hard because like what he's doing right there, he can immediately act out of it, and now it's like, oh, suddenly I've become like the combo. Yep. I was gonna, I was gonna combo you. Now I'm the guy in disadvantage. Like, look at that. I mean, come on. That was two. Di he has two diamonds. Dude's by the way. He's X-raying through walls right now. He's literally griefing. This is insane. Oh, is he dead? Ooh, he might be. Look at him covering these options. He's, I love. He is strip mining. This man's building the tower. Oh, down air. I was expecting a down air right there, but. I do like how he does have the following damage Ooh. sound. Ooh. Yeah. Just that down air. Yep. There it is again, man. And, and uh, the back air. Because he knew he was going to roll because he needs to get out. Once your shield gets hit first, like, you hold again, I think it breaks, no? He's alive at 214. He still has a uh, gold and another diamond on lock. Oh, oh boys. That hit stun's me. Yep. yep. Nair's finally going to take it. I mean, Boo Bear has pulled out insane clutches before, but this is looking a little bit not doable, at least for this game, I think. Especially now that he has diamond. That's going to be the biggest problem right now is he's going to have diamond. And he has two stocks to work with. Yeah, I don't know. Oh, yeah, Boomer kind of needs to just cheese this one out of here. A little bit. But how do you cheese that which can be cheesed? Cheese the cheeser. Everybody calls each other a cheeser in Michigan, though. It's almost like it's an, an impossible word to use. Almost like masher. Uh-oh. Yeah. I just like that. I What I really love about watching Onan play is how he covers things with the ball. Oh, he ran out of gas. Yeah, that's just a freebie. But I just love that Onan, like, specifically saw it when Rob was, like, all the way on the right side of the stage, but, like, very far horizontally, and he had to go up. He's building blocks to, one, block his recovery from the ledge, and then, two, go up and hit him when he reaches the apex, and mm -hmm. then he has to fall. Like, that's really good presence of mind. Like, that's just... He's, Steve is one of the few characters that can actively edge guard somebody, not ledge trap, but literally go off stage and edge guard people and actually get away with it. And I love that he takes advantage of that. It makes him so hard to deal with. Like, Onan's really playing the character to its potential right there. Yeah, I see. He also like in that same case where he's building uh, blocks off stage, he'll make like a funnel where you kind of have to go through this specific one way hole. Yeah. That uh, if he, as soon as you try and go through it, like he's got he's got a spike weight for you. Yeah. I was going to say, like, in specifically in regards to this matchup, I'm assuming Onan probably wins the majority of their sets, right? Like you said, yeah. he had a problem before, right? So they have, like, a history of this. But has Boo Bear ever beat Onan? Um, I don't know, actually. Because I was talking to Boo Bear earlier, and I asked him, do you think you're going to win? He said, oh, probably not. And I'm assuming by that he meant I'm probably going to lose to Onan because, obviously, Onan, PR player and also, you know, amazing player. Mm-hmm. Seated number one for this tournament. Um, I was just curious because, you know, Boo Bear had all the confidence to, like, win these tournaments when, you know, he came to CC2 and just kind of freed everybody up. Nice. There it is. All right. Esports, boys. Yeah, esports. boys. That's what we like to see. Um, but I don't know. Like, it just seemed like specifically in that first game, obviously, like, everyone has a bad game. But just the way he was getting run over and not able to take, like, stock. That's what Boo Bear does to literally everybody else. Exactly. But then it was being done to him. It's just... I guess maybe just the way Onan plays, where he's taking advantage of all the things Steve has going for him. You know, being able to resource camp, where he's just putting up a wall, get resources.
edge guarding properly, mi mixing up his timings with like down airs and things, like forcing people to roll into these bad habits. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And right now he's got diamond already. Yeah. Look at him, he's just keeping it at bay, just throwing out hitboxes. That's all. 72 damage. I thought he was gonna up smash, honestly, right there. Put up a block and up smash, maybe he would have died. Look at him, he doesn't even have to touch the ground. Yeah, no. Doesn't have to land. Oh, uh, always getting hit out of hit stun right there. It seems like. Feels like comboing Steve is like almost like you're giving him a combo. Yep. Oh, is he dead? Wow, okay. No. Okay. I would have been shocked. This is scary. That's a good shot, though. Did you just see the way he yeah. got that gyro underneath the block? Yeah. I mean, it, it seems like everyone's going to thread the needle. Like when Ducks did it earlier with, like, the block, dude. Yup. Yup. That's death. Yup. And still only 84%. Here we go. That was the most insane anti-air I have ever seen. It was literally a 2D axe just beat this man. I cannot believe that. I think that was his nair, too. Uh oh, oh it's broken. Okay, okay. But he's still got the, uh, oh. still got the sword. Oh, he parries that. Okay, presence of mind. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. He's, yeah, he still has the, he just doesn't have up tilt anymore. He still has uh, pickaxe and sword. Right. Which that begs the question, did he just downgrade into wood? I think so. Oh, he's got diamond. Hmm. Because one diamond gives you, what, one diamond tool? Or is it all diamond? No, it gives you all diamond tools. Okay, so he still has so the, he, he has a wood axe, but... Diamond pickaxe. So I think he's gonna. Uh, and keep in mind, he's gonna depending, go for it. Yeah, he's gonna make it. Yeah. yeah, and keep in mind, depending on what the stage is made of, he uses a different tool. Since this is Smashville, the floor is primarily wood, so he was mining with a wooden axe. Yeah. If this is say FD, he would have been using the pickaxe. Yeah. Why did they make this character so intricate like that? That is crazy. It's that's literally how it works. Depends. Depending on the stage, you literally get different materials too. It's insane. Yeah, like you were. I think if you play a, a Northern Cave, you literally get like a percentage more of diamonds just because you're playing a Northern Cave. It's insane. Yeah, dude, he's just putting so much pressure on Boo Bear's shield. Like, if he shields, he gets mine carded, or he gets shield poking and dies. The amount of like shield stun and uh, hit stun those diamond tools do, it's insane. Nuts. And he gets it by literally waiting and obstructing stuff. He's way he's winning if you don't approach him. It's insane. Exactly. Onan is just making this look like a cakewalk right now, but I expect Boo Bear to kind of, you know, buckle down and yeah. do Show a little some bit signs better. Of life. I yeah. don't think, okay, yeah, there's, I do not, wow, geez, words. Do not, sir. Do not. I don't think he knows something the word quit. No, he doesn't. But I don't think Onan does either. So here we go, P PS2, potentially the last game of the tournament. Potentially, yeah. That's This has got to be big for Boo Bear's nerves right now because, I mean, you're literally going up against a guy who's just previously 2 0 you. You have yet to win a game. Having a history of, like, you know, having a bad matchup against this particular player, and now you're doing it for grants where, you know, you're playing for 200 bucks. Mm -hmm. That's a great deal. And also, like, dude, it just looks here so hard. Here we go. Yeah, yeah. I just had oh. a thought. If this so, is a melee tournament. This is the exact kind of tournament Hanky Panky would, uh, would show up Hanky to. Panky would make his way here. I mean, I don't like that because that's insinuating our tournaments are free and they're not good. Well, no, yeah, no, not necessarily. I think it was just the prize yeah. pool. Because Genesis prize is pool. happening right now. <laughs> well, it's also more saying on the prize pool. True. Big fish in a little pond, boys. Yep. I don't know. I feel like these two are just good regardless, though. Mm -hmm. But this is looking rough for Boo Bear. I feel like this is going to be so hard to come out of. I just feel like Steve, like... The word advantage state is used way too liberally in Smash, but in the case of this, where Steve is, can just put out hitboxes to either zone you out or just combo you, and you almost can't do anything about it, you either get shield poked, you get set up for minecart, you get set up for just, just die. Yeah. It's, it looks set oppressive. And Rob is usually the oppressive character. That's the important thing to note here. How did I, he know that? That is the presence of mind. This man How is a nerd. It, I swear. I, that happens every single time with a Steve player. They put down a random block, and then they immediately like just get fly into it. Like they know okay, what. Yes. That's a chase. That's this, a chase, this baby. Man, this man ran to the hills, dude. That's insane. The presence of my, oh, you literally almost killed him right there. He almost just evened it up. Is he gonna do it again? Yeah, trying to go for the spin yeah. cycle special. This is scary though. The zombie. Okay. Although I think zombie is more closer to the. Yeah. Zombie is just something crazy. Up air landed. Uh, look at this. Boo Bear's buckling down. This is what we want to see. He's going to throw him into it. Nope, he's going to up tilt up. He's going to up tilt up there. Big laser not going to land, but there's the gyro coming he's gonna out. He's going to try to hit him out down there, maybe? Yes, yes sir. Spike send to the shadow realm. Yes. This is going to get scary, though, because uh, 
I mean, Boo Bear's got rage to work with, but uh, Steve is Steve. Yeah, this is signs of life, though. That is signs of life. He is making a little bit of a comeback here. What? My gosh. Man just wafted him. Yeah. That was crazy. Killed him off the top with that. I'm really shocked that, that even worked. Someone's getting cheese right now. Yep. Is and this Boober's death? Is this Boober's death? Is, is he this dead? the end of the tournament? Yeah. I thought he was put another block down. He's just going to up smash him. Yeah. I don't think There's he has the material. Diamond. This is scary. Diamond on lock, man. He might get spiked. Up till, up till, up till. Uh, barely misses it. Boober's we got to pull something out here. This is getting scary. I feel like the more the game goes on, the more likely it is Steve wins. Even though, like, it's relatively close. It's just, I don't know. What is that situation? That. You don't want to be there, dude. This man is a wipeout. The big red balls. Wipeout. Oh, game. that dash away was so smart. Everybody else would have ran in right there and died. Okay. D okay, so, yep, using the That's block a, like it's his own gyro. Bro, we call that the MacGyver meat grinder right yeah. there. He just made it out of his own block. Come on, the adaptation. <gasps> Improvisation like a jazz musician back Whoa, here. Not just landing, saved his just life? Singed, the, singed Enderman's face. Throw it up, maybe? Oh. Gyro, okay. Does he drop? No. Okay, he wanted that to land. Back air, we, do we have, we wow. have more smash. Boo Bear coming back to life, boys. We got more smash. What did I say? Boo Bear will buckle down. It keeps happening. It is the gift that keeps on giving the 2-0 into the reverse 3-0. I Buckle in. I mean, we might be going to a second set here after that. I feel like Onan's going to be a little bit frustrated after that. That was insane for Boo Bear. The presence of mind. I don't even know if it was this game or the last one where he down threw him into his own block. Yeah, no, that was the last game. I just cannot him. believe. I'm sorry. I still can't get over that. I mean, in, yeah, just that's like shoot Todd down air in a Pikmin. <laughs> he down air in a Pikmin to recover, boys. He made his own meat grinder out that's of literally. his own block. Oh, that's scary. That's uh -oh. literally the funnel right there. Only way to go is down, and then you go back up. Man's building a dirt house. The green top. Oh, uh -oh. yeah. Uh-oh. Up tilt city. Up tilt city. If he had another block, I think that's too I, high. That's yeah, too high. Yeah, 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 he was too high to place one. Like where that block it was yeah, right there, I think the that's height. the cap. Yeah, yeah, There's a purple line on that thing, right? When it's at the apex. Yeah. So I think he could build it like one more. Yeah. yeah. But there. <laughs> yeah, you got to optimize those combos. But still, even so, never yeah, mind. Yeah, that's, that's just... But remember, this is how the first game started. He was at 58%. This exact situation basically happened right here. So mm -hmm. let's not count Boo Bear out. He literally made an insane comeback. A few down tilts in this game is literally even. Yeah, Gyro buzzing. Uh-oh, but don't want to get yeah. walked on. Free tech chase. Oh, my goodness gracious. And, uh, yeah, that's patience, too. That is patience. Yeah, there it is. City what I say? Down air? tilts. Come on. Uh-oh, and he's got diamond, though. Oh, beats it out, though. This is still scary. I feel like he could die at any second. It does. Yeah, it does. 72%. Onan is just, like, all over him, man. He's just not giving him a chance to breathe. That's what you want to see out of these players. He's making them work for it. Oh, this is scary for Onan. But die. Oh, Down throw? Yeah, why did he throw out? Onan threw out grab. Okay, on the platform. Very smart. Diamond tools. Oh, this is going to be scary. And the, and the stone and the walls. obstruction, yes, sir. Yep. That's a freebie. And yeah, that's, that's a stock. All right, Boomers. Buckle down again. Wait. Okay, okay. This, that's the Thunderdome, okay, baby. Okay, makeshift combos. Hell in a Cell. Through an announcer's table. <laughs> Mankind off the Hell in a Cell. 1997. By God, I swear. Oh, my oh, goodness. Oh, okay. Is he dead? Is he dead? I really thought he was going to get spiked. No. <gasps> oh, he, he missed, missed his own block. I think, was he trying to get the outsiders right there? I think he was. Oh, my. Walking the dog off stage. Here's the situation. Marley and Here's me. The laser. <laughs> Marmaduke, no. <laughs> oh no, he cut through the second jab, man. It's so fast. Back okay, here, nice. okay. He's he's almost lapping him in percent though. He's oh. got to get the zero to death. If he gets the stock, he has to go for the zero to death. There's like no other choice. That's something I haven't seen him doing a long time. Yeah, he oh, hasn't yeah. done that down there yet. He knew, dude. Okay. By God, is Promise my witness. Big. Oh. Oh. Okay, th that's the diamond pickaxe, that's though. The diamond pickaxe. Forward throw the piston. Oh, he didn't. Uh, he's he just didn't like, get, get out of here. I get. Oh, that roll. Oh, wait, no, he did. He did get the tools. Who's going to get the stock now? There's, he has no. By God, is my witness that man is broken in half. We just witnessed one of the craziest grants. Even though it looks like it wasn't close at all, that was like. It's that, that was insane. That was insane. And that, ladies and gentlemen, that's Crimson Clash that's 3. Crimson Clash 3. Congratulations to Onan. 
amazing showing out from Boo Bear too. Both of those high level players. It was a lot of fun. It was. Yeah, it was so, a great time. From Big Rapids, Michigan. Thank you for tuning in. Thank I appreciate you, you guys. I'm Maximus. I'm Jeremy. And that's not his Twitter. Somebody once said life moves pretty fast, and that's exactly how we like it. First day, first year, you're diving in, head first. Don't just find yourself, make yourself. Want to build something? Great, learn to melt metal with fire, start businesses, build bridges, raise a whole city. Future in fighting crime? Want to save lives? Care for eyes? Do it all here, and here too, side by side with the pros. But you've got to go forward fast. Why? No time to explain. Okay, fine. We'll explain. Because today is now, and tomorrow is soon. And to get ahead of the game, you got to get ahead of your time. See this guy? That's Woodbridge Ferris. He founded this place with purpose to help everyone move forward. Big Rapids? No, bigger. How about the whole state? The country? The world? Forward, not backwards, not sideways, forward. So get moving. Move your ideas. Move others' minds, too. This is your future, your opportunity. So take it and move all of us forward.